Hello everyone, my name is Dale, welcome back to Inception Gaming, and today I greet you with the satisfactory new game screen, because we're going to start a fresh series. I've got some stuff to talk about with the ARK stuff that I'll get into a little bit later, but right now, I want to get into ARK. Um, ARK. <laughs> oh my god, I'm out of practice, I'm so sorry. Jeez. H2O Gumblo, welcome to the stream, my bro, thank you very much for coming along. Um, this one's going to be a long stream. For anyone watching, uh, you'll probably know that the video is currently very long, um, but for anyone who is interested in this stream, this is going to be a long stream. So, without further ado, I want to jump straight into some satisfactory gameplay. Guys, this is the first stream, so if the audio is a little bit out, please let me know, um, and I can sort that out for the next live stream. Um, obviously, after the live stream, I can go ahead and check that out anyway, so it won't be too much of a problem post live stream. Uh, but currently, as it stands at the moment, if there are any problems, do let me know and I will sort them out as soon as I can. But Satisfactory is a factory building game for those that don't know and I absolutely love it. I've got, I don't know how many hours into it, what am I up to? 652 hours into Satisfactory at the moment. Um, I have done a world where I've done the grass fields, the rocky desert, the northern forest and the dune desert which is my favourite one because it's just got the most space and the most resources. Uh, but I want to do a different thing today. We're going to go rocky desert today, um, and the game states that this is a textbook example of a fix-it approved building location with balanced resources, space, and distances. Additionally, it's very close to the sea, making water an easy commodity. Now, water is super important because you use it for uh, early game power um, and even late game power as well. So water is uh, an absolute crucial key part to Satisfactory, so being close to the sea is going to be incredibly, incredibly helpful. Bluebell, good morning, good afternoon. Yes, it is just gone good afternoon for myself here in Britain. I hope you're doing well. Um, so we're going to need a session name. Now, this is going to be the name of the world, effectively. Um, and I'll be honest, I'm tempted to go with something along the lines of... Uh, premium... Uh, pre <laughs> premium tea factory because I love tea. I've actually got tea right here in my fix it approved mug. I do have a little bit of satisfactory merchandise. Don't call me sad, guys. Please don't judge me. I just love satisfactory a lot. It is a very good game. Um, so we're gonna go premium tea factory for this one in the rocky desert. So let's go ahead and select that. The grass fields, uh, for those that are interested, is like the very basic stuff going on. Um, that's what that is, pretty much. Ideal for first-time pioneers, literally as it states. Uh, suitable for first-time pioneers. This one is a good one. Um, for me, I just want a change of scenery. I've got another world at the moment uh, in the dune desert, so I don't really want to play there because that's where my other world is. Um, and the northern forest is probably the most beautiful biome in the game. Um, but it's, uh, it's 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 very difficult to build in. It's there's very it's very dense vegetation, so it's very difficult to build in. But the rocky desert is much flatter, um, a lot more open, uh, close to very standard resources. So very good in my opinion. So we're going to go there. Premium Tea Factory is going to be set up in the rocky desert, 
uh, for today. I'm not going to skip the intro because I want you guys to be able to experience the game from the very beginning as if you were starting it from the beginning yourself. So let's get into it. Let's go. Oh, I love Satisfactory. <laughs> Uh, I've never heard of this game. It is an amazing game. I own the game, but never played it. I have sadly long own it, never played it. Oh, right, yes. On a, on a, oh, you have a sadly long own it, never play it list. Yes, as do I, I'm afraid. So I've got a lot of good games in my playlist that I just, I just haven't got into for some reason. It's got some Minecraft and music vibes. This game, Gunplay, is extremely chill. Also, I checked out the video that you did um, on... Mm, I can't remember your name now. Basil, safe, Basil, is, it, is that right? Sorry, have I got that correct? Um, the review video that you did, I checked that out. Very good, man. Yeah, you've got scope to be a good YouTuber, dude. Jeez. The thing is, you never know what to expect. But when someone says they've started a YouTube channel, you never know what to expect. A lot of the times, and I mean a lot of the times, you get very young kids trying to make videos, and it's, it's really nice to see everyone starts somewhere, myself included. I I think my first video ever was, I was 15, perhaps, something like that. Um, and you learn from your mistakes, and you delete them, and then you start again, and then you delete them, and then you start again. But here comes the beginning of the game. I'm going to be quiet now, so you guys can enjoy this. Attention, Pioneer. The following instructional video is a summary of your impending duties as an exoplanetary pioneer for Fixit Incorporated. Fixit pioneers have three cyclical assigned pillars of work to ultimately accomplish projects. Love that little assembly. blue tick. So cute. Use provided blueprints to build the necessary buildings. Chart the planet and gather resources to provide desired results and improve your infrastructure. Make sure to report any unusual discoveries to R&D for analysis. Oh, Scythe? Sorry, my apologies. I shall pronounce it Scythe from now on. Expand your factories, outposts, and pipelines through automation and augmentation. That's it. Get to work and be effective. Warning, planet fall <laughs> Same, Bluebell. Please remain Same. seated during full procedure. Atmospheric entry in five. Oh, comfortable. We all need a better setup, dude. We're all in that boat, don't worry. My tea is amazing, by the way. So the detail here is absolutely fantastic, by the way. They've... Th there was a bug with the, the tassel on that gun that you see on the right-hand side there, where the tassel would be upward. And it's actually supposed to be downward because of gravity, because otherwise all the cables would be flying up as well. Because there's obviously... You're in a sealed vacuum. Devs actually forgot to make the tassel fall as opposed to be in the, uh, the raising position, if you like. And they changed it after the community kicked up a stink about it, which is really nice. Coffee State Studios are the developers, by the way, and they are the most engaged developers with their community I've ever seen. Subscribed, it was very easy to find. Yeah, I thought it was quite easy to find as well. I didn't even type in the name of the video, dude. I just typed in Basil Scythe and it just came up straight away. Very easy to Please find. Please ensure the integrity of your multi-purpose exploration suit is at 100%. Good quality for a channel to have, actually, is easy to find. Ah, oh, I love this Remember, game. Remember, efficiency first. <coughs> Godspeed. Godspeed. Efficiency. 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 So that thing, by the way, is the, um, the build gun. A lot of it is explained. Here we are. Where have we started? Welcome okay. to Planet Massage 2 ABB, your designated sector in the binary star system of Akija. Okay. I am Ada, also known as Artificial Directory and Assistant, Hello, tasked to support pioneers such as you in their mission. You are the third of your sector to survive planetfall. Congratulations. Third in the sector? Note, objective based introduction initialized. Welcome to onboarding. Gonna beat Dale. <laughs> Come at me, bro. Come on, we'll grow together. First objective. Please dismantle the drop pod. The resulting materials will be repurposed to construct a habitat and utility base from now on referred to as the hub. The hub. All right. Note. Fix it incorporated as cost effective and efficient. We do not waste. No, we do not. 
So, obviously on the left hand side there, it's going to give us a load of hints as we go through the tutorial stages of the game, guys. F to dismantle, bring out the build gun. Go ahead and left click that, and we've got it. All important fixit data and communication is recorded and stored in the codex. Hey, you don't know that, Gumpler. <laughs> People grow at different speeds. Look at Dream. He exploded in the space of a year. Okay, so... Um, this is a section of the game I very rarely use, so I'm going to go ahead and explain this very quickly. The codex is this little thing here. It's basically where you would get all of your notes and inbox tutorials and whatever else, and then you can look at recipes. Now, recipes I do tend to look at because it's handy for these uh, numbers, uh, which will make a lot more sense further down in the series, uh, but that is what that is for now. Second objective. Please ensure you have your Fixit Incorporated Xeno Zapper equipped before leaving the drop zone. Yeah, that's a must have. Um, so, according to Fixit regulations, every pioneer should have yeah. access to a means of defense against extra. Maybe back during lunch, you see it on Blue Belt. Definitely be checking out this game later on. All right, man. Enjoy your breakfast. Third objective please familiarize yourself with the resource breakfast. scanner to find iron. All right, resource scanner, no, so that's V. The acquisition of iron is considered essential in preparation for all future objectives. Looks like we got a limestone node there. Okay, so um, V is the object scanner. This wheel will actually expand and fill up uh, with loads of different materials further down the line, but we've only got iron for now, so let's go ahead and scan for that copy. And... Ooh, right ahead of us, right over there, you can see the little blue circle around it. I'll go ahead and do that again, you'll see it popping. See that right there? That right there is an iron node, everybody. Oh, it's got enemies by it, though. Okay, so we've got some iron nodes going on. These are barrel nuts, by the way. You can pick these up. These are how you heal yourself. Abe is going to tell us that now. This is one of multiple edibles we have detected in your vicinity, which are within approved nutritional and medical categories as established by R&D. A yeah. new research tree can now be accessed in the MAM. All right, so... I'm somewhat familiar of where we are. I just don't think I've ever started here, which is a really exciting thing, because uh, the map is absolutely enormous, by the way. There's four different starting locations that you can be in. Um, and amongst those starting locations, you... Uh, spawn in a, a, in a random location within the biome and each biome i mean it is enormous like it would take you minutes to get from one end of the biome to the other as you can see we can only see this one biome um to give you a bit of an idea on scale of the game and scale of the factories that you can actually create as well um so for now um find and collect iron ore that is our primary objective whilst we're in the tutorial stages of the game. So we need to head over to Iron Nodes. It looks like we've got two of them here. That thing right there, by the way, is a... Oh, I know exactly where we are. Um, this thing right here is a hatcher. When we go too close to it, it's going to actually spawn a load of little flies. Effectively, three little flies every time. Um, we need to kill the hatcher before we kill the flies, otherwise it's just going to keep spawning flies and it'll kill us. So we're going to go in and do that right now, get there as soon as possible. Come on, come on, come on. Yes, okay, so we've done that. These are the little flies that spawn out, and they kamikaze into you and take you out. Pretty much that is as simple as they are. So, I've got to run and take the kids to the bus. I'll try to put back in a bit later. All right then. Catch you later, Blue Bell. Have fun doing whatever you're doing today in between then. Oh, we've got a pure node here. So resource nodes. Got oh, two pure nodes. Holy shit. Uh, two, two pure resource nodes is actually excellent to start off with. So they come in varying stages of um, purity. So impure, normal, and pure. And the purer the node, the more resources you can harvest from it per minute, pretty much. But for now, we don't have the ability to do that. We just need to go ahead manually get some fourth objective build the hub just like so note to complete this objective the resources salvaged from the drop pod will be consumed Caution. that's the little box Ensure that we uh, hub is got built on spacious open terrain close to the presence of iron sources failure to do so will likely result in non-optimal progress 
Okay, so we've got a nice amount of water here. We've got some caterium down there. That'll be good for researching later on. All right, so we'll go ahead and build the hub then. So the nice quick way of doing that, press the Q key over to the hub. I'm going to put this in my hot bar, just like so. And I'm also going to put uh, these in the oh, whoops, uh, Q, and I'm going to put them in the hot bar as well. So you get 10 different hot bars at the bottom there. And the number is what indicates what hot bar number you're on. We're going to be filling that soon enough. The other thing we're going to go ahead and do is fill up number 10 with the emotes. Because... I'm going to be using these very quickly. Uh, five, six, and then seven, eight, nine. Look at that. Hey, there we go. Nice. Right, so we need to build the hub then. Uh, stop pressing tab. Press capture. Uh, oh, there's a little lizard doggo. So let's go ahead and build the hub. Let's go and smack this puppy down. Uh, so that's its full form when we've uh, fully unlocked it. Now we won't have fully unlocked it. Where's the iron? Iron is there. We'll put the hub up against here. Now, I reckon... Uh, and we'll just go like here. Perfect. There we go. Hub created. We just need to go ahead and interact with Congratulations. it. Congratulations. You have so. unlocked hub feature manual craft bench. Hub feature hub terminal. Fifth objective. Complete hub upgrade one. Note. The craft bench and hub terminal are essential for progression to the next objective. All right. So I'm just getting the iron that we've got and turning that into iron ingots. We don't have the ability to smelt just yet because we haven't got smelters unlocked. But for now, we'll just go ahead and do that. We've got 12 more to go. And then that will give us a good start on where we can be very quickly. All right, so this is the hub um, terminal. That's what it's called. So every tier, you can unlock more advanced things. Um, so complete the hub is how we unlock this one, and then we need to complete the hub to unlock this one as well. Uh, space elevator phase one is the 10. Select that. Go back to the crafting terminal. We can make 46. That's what that means. We just need 10 of these for now. And I'm also crafting just by pressing the space bar, by the way. Uh, I've also just realized we've got some buffering. Let me just double check the quality of the stream here, guys. Two seconds, if you don't mind. Stream health. Yeah, healthy, 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 healthy. Okay, fine. No, we're good. Possibly uh, something on my end there. We close that. All right, we're probably okay. Okay, fine. We just make sure all good. Okay, fine. So, resuming then. So we've got 10 of those. All we need to do then is go back to the hub terminal and put 10 of them into there. And it will upgrade the hub like so. We've got the framework now. Let's go. Uh, importantly as well, we've also got ourselves a little storage Congratulations. box. Congratulations. You have unlocked these things. building, workshop, equipment, portable miner, inventory, additional slots, hub feature, personal storage. Sixth objective, complete hub upgrade to note, portable miners require no power and will mine a node until their inventory is full. Note, multiple portable miners can be used on a single node. All right. So, uh, we need to get some portable miners up and running. We need to select hub upgrade 2. The sooner we can get into that, the better. So, we're going to select that. And we can actually go ahead and craft those up whenever, uh, because we've got them. But the first thing we want to get into is definitely, definitely, definitely making ourselves an equipment workshop. Um, like so. And for that, we need iron plates and iron rods. So, let's just make 10 each of those to get us some crafting bits. Iron plates and iron rods you're going to be using throughout the entire game, guys. So, always good to know. All right, so let's go ahead and pop down the equipment workshop then. And we'll go ahead and pop that relatively close to the hub. We're going to be in this thing quite often at the start. Can we just pick up that bush? So, portable miner. We can actually get one already, so let's just go ahead and do that. That is excellent. And we're going to go ahead and put that down straight away on the iron node over here. And watch how cute this thing is. I love it. <laughs> what an absolute legendary little creation. So he's already got 20 for us, so we can just he can just do this constantly. Uh, let's just go grab all, and we can go back to the other thing. And um, honestly, I'm just going to grab like 10 of these things and go and load it down onto that thing uh, very quickly. One thing I don't 
want to do this particular series is I don't want to get into the auto miners straight away um, because they take up power uh, that you don't really need to use because you've got the portable miners. Um, until you get coal power, I don't really believe that you need um, the likes of... Um, sorry, I want to craft these. Nine of these, please. Do I need that many plates, that many rods? Okay, so let's just get the rods to start with. Lovely stuff. Plates take a little bit longer. The rod you can craft, one hammer smack is one rod. The plates is a little bit more than that. It's three, two. Oh, we need more iron. Fortunately, this guy works in the background. And we can just come and grab another 83. Lovely job. Completely free of charge. And uh, what do we need? 18, so we need another 14 of these. So as soon as this is 14, we can go ahead and craft those up. And we can grab ourselves what we need. Oh, a cup of tea is amazing. Okay, 12, and that's 14. Let's go ahead and craft all those. Excellent. Right, so let's go ahead and craft these nine. It's going to take a little bit of time. Ten smacks for one. Shouldn't take too long. I don't think. Nearly done. Brilliant. Right, let's go ahead and just chuck ten of these puppies down over here. And we want to do it in a way where we can easily collect from them. Uh, and another one. And another one. And again, another one. And the last one. Excellent. Right, so that'll technically get us 800 iron ore per minute. Which anyone who knows how to play Satisfactory will know that that is a lot of iron per minute. Which is excellent, though. So the 800 per minute, which means that we can actually go over there every minute. No, not every minute. I think it'll be like every minute and 10 seconds. Um, and it'll have 100 iron stored up. As soon as that 100 iron is stored up, we can actually just go ahead and grab all of that iron. Look how fast we're getting iron now. That is the best thing ever. Excellent. Right, so that is our starter amount of iron. Next time we gather iron, we'll be put in a smelter, hopefully, so that'll be uh, another good thing to progress into. So the next thing we need to do, ideally, is going to be to make that hub upgrade number two, uh, which is this one here. And this will unlock copper production and smelters, most importantly. Now, unfortunately, we, we won't be able to produce power just yet until we get the uh, biomass burners. So for now, let's go ahead and craft up them 20 rods and 10 plates and get that hub upgrade unlocked. Craft the 10 of them that we need. We can put this stuff in the um, chest as well. And then 20 rods. Happy days. So I've been doing a lot of stuff on the world that I play on, uh, just like a personal world, so if I just fancy playing the game, I can just go ahead and play that, and you guys won't miss anything, because I'll just do this world on YouTube. Um, oh, we can make 20 of them, though. And I've been playing a lot with efficiency and using power effectively, uh, and we're going to be doing that in this run-through as well. You guys will see exactly how I personally do that. Um, let's just go ahead and put that back in our inventory. We can send that and that into there. Lovely job. It is a lot of manual crafting at the start. Uh, I think now, yes, we've got ourselves a biomass burner. Congratulations. Excellent. You have unlocked hub feature biomass burner. So now... Scanner feature copper. New buildings and recipes which can be found in the build menu and craft bench respectively. Thank you, Ada. Seventh objective. Oh, another Complete objective. hub upgrade three. Note: Connect buildings to a biomass burner for power. Note: Buildings such as the smelter require a recipe to be set. 
Okay. Advice. Automate the smelting process and use portable miners for optimal results. So she literally tells you how to play the game effectively. So we'll go ahead and select that milestone, so that's going to be the next one anyway. And we may as well go ahead and grab those 20 plates and 20 rods uh, nice and quick. The other thing that we could do is look at the resources we need to produce a smelter. Um, so let's go ahead. That's going to be one now. That's going to be two. That's going to be. That's just going to be two actually. Uh, so number one is actually wire and iron rods. So we don't actually have copper just yet. So we're going to go ahead and make some basic crafting resources. So the plates and the rods. And then we're going to go out and find some copper. We'll scan for some copper first. Clear the node up. Get some portable miners down. And see if we can go ahead and do that. We probably want 10, just the same as the other one, actually. So we'll go ahead and look at the amount of things that we need for that. That's going to be 20 plates, which we can make. Fantastic. And then 40 rods. We can't take any time at all. Lovely. The extra one doesn't really matter. And it's just a lot of crafting. <laughs> Similar to most other games that you're starting out in, it's very slow to start. As soon as you get into cold power in this game, you notice that things start to absolutely fly past and you can jump up tiers incredibly fast. Incredibly fast. Uh, 40 rods we need, 39 more. There we go, we'll go ahead and craft all of them. Take a drink of my tea, a drink of my tea, a sip of my tea. lovely right that's them we're going to go ahead and craft up the 10 portable miners that we need and then we're going to scan for copper uh, to see where exactly we need to go for that you can play a lot of the game but you need to play an unbelievable amount of the game to know where all the nodes are there is well over a hundred nodes of varying resources Right, so uh, all of them have finished now. So there's 800 iron sat right there, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, we now need to go ahead and grab some copper, 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 copper. You aren't streaming on a Tuesday midday? What is this? <laughs> uh, I have a day off today, and I have a day off Thursday. So today's stream and Thursday stream are going to be extra comfy and long. I'm very happy about it. Minimum six hours. Okay. Where, where did that ping? Oh, 200 meters this way? Oh, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Is going to be defended by something. The other ones are 900 meters and 1,000 meters, so we're not going to bother with them. This is good enough for me. There's not even anything defending it. What is it? Oh, it's pure. God, the luck of that. Right, let's just grab this basic amount of copper first. Nice and happy, like so. And we just literally want to place all of these puppies down uh, wherever we can access them relatively easy, I suppose. Oh, oh that one. We've got four right there. And then we'll just go around this way. Placing them down. And again, whenever we need to come back and get copper, we can literally pick up 800 of it at a time. Nice and easy. Similar to the iron. Nice, all right. We'll go ahead and just let these guys crack on for a little bit and we'll go ahead and take the iron uh, copper out of them. And... What one is this at? This one's at 50. When we'll get it to 70 and then we'll go ahead and start taking them all out and we'll get 70 for each one. That'll be 700. Copper. It'll be a thousand copper when it's fully stored up, actually. Not 800, I got that wrong. Maybe. Right, let's grab all of that. Uh, 70, we'll grab that. 70, grab that. Grab that. Nice. And then when we come back, there'll be a thousand more copper sat here waiting for processing. And hopefully by that point, we'll have smelter set up and a storage chest. And we can just dump all of the iron ore and the copper ore into storage chests and then just feed them through into smelters. Nice and easy. Right, so we've got a load of copper, we've got a load of iron. Let's get that hub upgrade complete. 
I want to get to coal power as soon as possible. Speed up the game massively. Oh, bugger. Right. Right, so we need 20 plates. Let's get the 20 plates first, because they're going to take the longest. The wire is going to take no time at all to get. The plates is going to take the longest. Then it'll be the rods, then it'll be the wire, I imagine. It's 10. As soon as we get smelter set up, oh man. Whoa. Be cooking on gas, I tell you. Right, that's 20 of them. And then we need 20 rods. Get them a little bit quicker than the plates, which is quite nice. So, 20 of them. And then 20 wires, which is the copper. And they go up really quick. And they craft really quick as well. Excellent. 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. Nice. Right, let's go ahead and finish hub upgrade 3. What does it actually unlock us? Yeah, power poles. That's the, that's the key part there. That's the one we need. Um, so, active milestone. Let's go ahead and load that in, load that in, load that in. Upgrade the hub. Da -da -da -da. We're getting there. Nice. Congratulations. Thank you, Ada. You have unlocked scanner feature, limestone. New buildings yes, and recipes, right there. which can be found in the build menu and craft bench, respectively. Eighth objective. Complete hub upgrade 4. Note. Use power poles to expand the power network for optimal results. There's a Rudolph nose and antlers. <laughs> Never noticed that before. Okay. So, complete hub upgrade 4. Let's go ahead and see what we need for that. So we're going to need plates. A lot of plates now. So we don't want to... We don't, definitely don't want to be crafting all of them. That is going to suck balls really big. Uh, 20 cable is absolutely not a problem to produce manually. And 10 concrete isn't a problem either. So, let's go ahead and grab some smelters and let's get some iron on the go uh so we all we need for that let's go ahead and grab two that'll give us 60 ingots per minute which is actually pretty decent um so we need that and then obviously for the copper as well we need four of them um and that'll be four eight 16 megawatts in total which actually isn't that much power at all but we do need concrete for the power poles so very quickly let's just go ahead and grab 10 of these puppies and we'll go and put that on the limestone i'm probably noticing a pattern with what i do with miners here 10 on every single one at the start and it'll just set you up you'll never need to go ahead and go mining for it manually we need 60 rods 32 wire and 20 plates and this will be hopefully the last uh, ingots that we are going to be crafting up hopefully now we only need 18 more of those let's grab them Grab my tea. Hmm. Lovely. Uh, and then we need how many rods? 60 rods. That might take a little bit of time, but we only need the amount for the smelters. Can we just edit that so quick? Uh, can we just take the smelters off this? Yeah, we only actually need 40. So we'll grab the 40. We'll go and get the limestone sorted out. That can go mining us uh, whilst we're making up what we need for these smelters. Uh, we can actually go ahead and put a crafting bench over by the limestone, so whilst it's drilling away, we can patch ourselves up. Uh, we're not going to need to do that. I just need to start freeing up some inventory space here. The limestone that we're going to carry back. Uh, oh, we can craft those now. Lovely. 40 of those puppies. I'm actually not going to have storage space for miners. Um, need one, two, three, that's seven, okay, eight, nine, ten, perfect. Let's go ahead and craft those up. It's never a problem throwing ore away if you need inventory space at the beginning, guys, because you can literally just go to your miners and grab more. Like, buy the stack, super easy stuff. Pardon me. 
All right. God, I love having a day off to just play games. So good. Right then, so let's go ahead. Uh, I'm pretty sure the limestone node closest one was that one right there, right? Yeah, that's just the one that's just pinged. Ooh. Five, 300 meters and 500 meters. They're quite close as well, actually. 800, that's quite far. Okay. That's tidy enough. Okay. This isn't defended by anything, which is lovely. It's a normal node, so we're not going to get them as quick, but it will still store 100 of them. So we'll just grab what we can for now. Which is 36, is it? Yeah. 42, 48. Ooh, 51. Nice amount. Uh, and limestone nodes are always a real pain to these guys on. Sometimes. Oh, by the way, you can put them down on the nodes um, as long as the, the text is there. So like, you can put them dead in the middle if you want to. Um, what I was showing you there is that the text goes if you go too far away. So even though I'm not on the limestone there, it will mine limestone. And instead of putting them dead in the middle, you can just go ahead and put them on the outside so that you don't have to keep clambering all over a load of rocks to get them. Uh, I might as well have some gaps here. Save me having to walk a million miles every time I want limestone. I can go there. I can go there. And that can go there. Right then. In the meantime... Oh, I didn't bring any plates. Cool. In the meantime then, we can go ahead and... Let me just grab some plates super quick. Long term, we'll have that node just producing concrete flat out. And the sooner the better, because you need so much concrete when you're starting up um, base foundations and stuff. So, uh, let me just grab some plates super quick. Is it three plates I needed? Something like that. Okay, let's just craft those. And I'm pretty sure... Yep, that allows us to place crafting benches. Let me just go ahead and back over here. And then whilst the miners are cracking on, I'll show you the different rates on the normal node miners as well. It should be half, I think. I think it goes to 40 per minute. And then when you put them on an impure node, it goes to 20 per minute, which is slightly slower than that of a normal actual miner. So these guys are pumping at 40 per minute, which is half the speed of a pure node. Just by having a normal and a pure node, that is the difference. Um, so I just want to pump that down there. Uh, we may as well start grabbing the stuff we need for smelters. Um, can we make... Yeah, we can make reinforced iron plates. Okay. Let's go ahead and make one of these. Because this is what's going to start making us the concrete, not the smelter. You don't smelt limestone, you craft it into concrete. Um, so for that, we need these resources here. So we need two reinforced iron plates. Pardon me, my voice just went then. Uh, which means we need 12 screws. Weiss, I think. That's another three of them. That's another 12 of them. And then we need some plates. The reinforced plates, we only need two of those. How many is it? I can't remember. Okay, let's just grab everything that we need there. That should be, that should be tidy enough. 12 iron plates. Uh, that should do us. Yeah, there you go. Two reinforced iron plates. Sort us out for two of them. That'll allow us to make the constructor shortly. Let's get that eight cable sorted out. That's what's next on the list. And that should do us for the cable. Eight of that. Uh, then we need 20 iron rods. We'll go ahead and grab those. A sip of my tea whilst we're doing that. Hope you guys have got yourself a crunchy beverage and a hot snack. Or whatever way around you're supposed to say. <laughs> crunchy snack hot beverage, sorry. <laughs> oh dear. It's been up since a very early o'clock. 20 plates. Oh, no, 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 20 rods. That was close. Whew. And then we just need some wire. Lewis. 
I oh, know it went 32. Sorry, I thought I needed 20. Cannot wait to get the smelters up and running. Bored of crafting already. <laughs> the faster we can stop this crafting shenanigans, the better. Jeez. Okay, so that's got us what we need. Now we're going to need the basic stuff to actually wire it all up. So we're going to need some amount of cable um, without using the cable and the wire that we need already. So let's craft 20 more wire. That'll get us 10 more cable. And that should be enough cable to get them all connected up and whatever else. Okay. Uh, we'll go ahead and leave that there for a very quick second. We're going to need to grab some limestone. Uh, so we'll just grab three stacks for now. And let's just make a very base amount of concrete. We're not going to make all 117. I'm not going to put you through that. We'll make maybe 20 or 30. Just so that we can put some power poles down. Connect it all up nicely. And then we're going to go on the scavenge for biomass. Um, and I want to progress then as fast as possible to get biomass, uh, solid biofuel, and a chainsaw. And then that will be our very early game power sorted until we get cold. Uh, so that's 40 of that. Right then, so right here is where we're going to want ourselves um, a constructor. Uh, let me sort my hot bars out here. Production. That's going to be one. That's going to be two. That's going to be three. We can go ahead and get rid of that. That now. Uh, power. Uh, one and two. Uh, special hasn't changed. Okay. So a constructor. This one can go literally right here. Or somewhere near. Okay, we haven't unlocked storage yet, and we haven't unlocked belts yet, I think. Um, no. Which is fine. It literally just means that we need to go ahead and... Oh, sorry, I want that one. That can just go ahead and go... Uh, the power can go as far away from that thing as possible right now, actually. Uh, on three cable. There. Perfect. So that is then going to be hooked up to the biomass burner where possible. Let's go ahead and jump this way. We want to get two smelters over here. Uh, something like... Uh, let's have them here. Something like that, I guess. That'll be fine. Let's go ahead and just hook these guys both up. Do the same thing. Got a Christmas wreath on there. That is then going to come to here. And let's go and get the two smelters down. I'm pretty sure I've still got enough stuff. Nope, do not. Copper ingots, let's get the wire. Nice and easy to get. Just grab another 20. 16, whatever. Lovely. And then some rods as well. Sorted, right, that should do us tidy, and then we just need to go ahead and head over to Copper. Where is it? Oh, it's all the way over here. Jeez. Okay, well, I'll tell you what, then. let's go ahead and put them down here. We don't want to be traveling too far. One there and one there. Uh, that is going to go to here. That's going to go to there, and then this is going to go all the way over here to go as far as we can with three cable. Perfect. That's fine. All right, then. So that's all. That's sorted all that out. We then just need to go ahead and grab some cable, uh, rods, and wire. Uh, so let's get some wire. Twenty wire. rods I would just grab 10 rods I think should be fine okay and then just some cable we'll just grab 10 cable and we're gonna have to grab some more wire as well nice And we should now be able to hook this all up to that one little biomass burner. Wicked. So we literally just want to grab. I may even move this constructor closer. In fact, I'm going to. For sure. Going on, what kind of sprint? There we go. Bring this guy nice and close. And 
So like, yeah, we'll be alright. Uh, put it on this flat bit, just like so. Okay, and then we'll just have this one here like so. Right, so then we're going to hook this one up to this one, that one up to that, that one up to that, that one up to that. Then, if we go ahead and grab ourselves the stuff that we've got here, uh, we'll get through the grass first. We're not going to be using flower petals for a long time, and they're actually quite an efficient fuel source uh, until you can get biomass. Just burn the grass down, and that will go ahead and open up those options there. So all of these have got red uh, red lights on at the minute, uh, which actually means that we just need to select the recipe. This is going to start burning away. It'll then get worse when we have got... Uh, whoops, that's supposed to be iron. Uh, when we've got these uh, machines actually working. So for now, we're just going to go ahead and select the recipes. Uh, that can go in there straight away. It's not going to grab us a load of stuff right away. Uh, that iron can go in there. That iron can go in there. And then we'll just hop down to the copper. In fact, these can come closer because I'm not running all the way down there every time I want to do something. Uh, let's put them here. Instead. Just going to put a power pole at the back here. Connect them both up like so. You're going to be copper. You're going to be copper. We can put a stack of copper in there. Stack of copper in there. And I imagine the grass is going to run out any second. Because it's super inefficient. Yeah, look how fast that's going to <laughs> Pardon me. So we are literally capping at exactly what we can do with this tiny little biomass burner, which is exactly the reason I've done it. That is going to now crash. Uh, if we go ahead and put the wood in, that burns 12 wood per minute. Uh, but this And this is 12 flowers per minute. We'll go ahead and burn through the flowers first. It's going to go ahead and grab us a base amount of stuff. Uh, and it'll also mean that we can go ahead and select the next hub upgrade, which is that stuff. I thought we had storage in this space, but apparently not. That's fine. So we've already got the concrete, so we can go ahead and transfer that. We may as well make the uh, cable that we need. Just 20 cable. And we'll already have had some stuff made up here. So the first thing we'll do is empty the ore in our inventory. Uh, let's go ahead and just chuck that into there. We'll grab the 25 out of that. Let's go ahead and grab the iron that we've got in here and top it up. Grab the iron out of there and top that up. We've now not got any need to make iron ingots, which is better. And then we've got the copper. Grab that, put that in there. Uh, grab that, put that in there. Nice, and now we've got some copper ingots. We're progressing, jeez. We're getting there. Right then, so let's go ahead and head up into here. We do need to, unfortunately, manually craft 62 of these puppies. Shouldn't take too long. They do craft two per. And we've got the iron ingots being made automatically anyway. So that shouldn't take too long at all. And we should be able to make the... Yeah, we can make 156 wire, which is like 78 cable. Which is perfect. Uh, and let's go ahead and grab the cable. We've already got 15, so we only need five. Just go ahead and grab 15 more. That'll give us some extras play with afterwards. Sip my tea. Lovely job. And iron plates. Ooh. Grab that, right there. Grab that. Uh, we may as well try to keep these popped up where possible. Nice. And then the extra plates. 75 plates. Perfect. All right. Scrap them into there. Upgrade the hub. All right. Milestone four. Ada's going to chat to us any second, I'm sure. Congratulations. There we go. You have unlocked building, conveyor belts, and poles. Inventory, additional slots. Nice. Ninth objective. Complete hub upgrade five. Note. 
Portable miners cannot be connected to conveyor belts. Advice. When planning the construction of buildings, note the placement of conveyor belts. All right, so we literally now can start progressing on unlocking things a lot quicker. So we literally just need to make some cable, some rods, and we've already got the concrete. So if we can go ahead and just grab that and grab that, we'll go ahead and fill up what we can. Oh, that one's not actually full. Lovely job. We've got loads of copper ingots right now. Uh, we'll go ahead and grab the iron as well. Uh, that and that. And then that and that. Lovely. And we'll go ahead and grab what concrete we can because it's actually finished. The yellow light is what tells me that it's already finished what we can. Go ahead and do that. The sooner we can get this one unlocked, the sooner we can get a thousand of each one into the storage right behind them. And then we can literally just focus on refueling. And we'll be producing things way faster. Let's grab the 40 cable to start with. Won't take long at all. Be nice. And then we can grab the 75 rods. We can already make nearly double that amount, which is brilliant. Literally just need 40 cable. Probably take us as long to make the cable as it will the rods. Grab all of that. Oh, look at that. We're flying. And then a rock of rods. 75. Absolutely flying. Ooh. Well, that was close. Nearly threw my mug everywhere. Okay. 75, job done. We can go ahead and dunk them into there. Like so. Upgrade the hub. Fantastic. Right. Uh, we've got miners. I'm not going to bother with them because they're just inefficient from the start of the game. Uh, we've got logistics and we've also got organization. We want three of these puppies straight away. Congratulations. <coughs> Pardon me. You have unlocked building miner mark one. Building storage container. Hub feature additional biomass burner. It can produce twice as much power. Hub objective complete hub upgrade six. Note there are no notes. Oh, oh I just used all the iron. Whoops. I'm paying attention to what I was doing there. Ah, we actually need more power. Let's go ahead and grab a load of these bushes. Super quick, just to grab some basic stuff. As soon as we can get biomass, oh, it's gonna be streaming with progress. Right, let's go ahead and just put that in there for now. Right, that's gonna sink through that super quick, but that's absolutely fine. Just need to keep it running as much as possible. Grab that. Uh, let's go ahead and grab a little bit of iron for these boys. Uh, we'll just grab 200 of that for now. You and you, you can be filled up. You and you can be filled up. Can I fill them up? Yep. Uh, the limestone. It's going to be worth just grabbing a stack of that stuff just to keep that coming in. There is a milestone coming up where we use a lot more concrete, I think. I think it's like 50 concrete or something. We'll just grab a stack of this stuff. Uh, I'll tell you what, we'll grab three stacks. That way I won't need to come back for a while. Happy days. Long old trek without the, uh, the boots that you can unlock in the game. Grabbing this on the way there and back is going to be handy as well. As soon as you get the chainsaw though, you can just mass dismantle trees and stuff. Oh, it's so good. Right, let's just go ahead and bang that in there. Oh, let's take the 15 concrete we've got. How much do we have of that? So 80. Oh, that's pretty good, actually. Okay. Uh, let's just grab the iron that we need. We're going to need to craft some stuff in a minute. Right, let's go ahead and grab what we need. We need 30 rods. That'll get us the input storages. Uh, 30 rods. Okay, I'm just going to keep going a little bit over on them and on the plates because we need to get some belts hooked up. I'm just going to make all of them actually. Okay. Right, can we get a storage behind no power? Ah, yeah, that's fair. 
Okay, let's just grab a storage behind these guys. Sort these out. So we've got them. Uh, that's number two minor in that slot, and that's going to go in that slot now. Number four. And you, and then number five for the storage. Nice. Okay. So, storage, which is going to hook this up perfectly behind that, like so. And perfectly behind that. Oh, no, 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 no. We'll just get the one for now. And then, can we just get a belt? up from there to there and we go and grab a load of iron sorry copper i'm grabbing this our machine's powered for as long as possible okay, we can actually grab all 10 stacks of this So nice. Okay, let's go and dump that in the storage chest. Be able to produce loads of stuff as long as we can keep them powered. And a fundamental setup right now. All right, drop all of that in there. That's then going to go into there at a rate of sixty per minute. We only need it at thirty per minute. So eventually, when we get a splitter, we can just put a splitter on that that up to this one and that one storage chest will hook up the whole system we're going to do the same thing with the iron uh, like so uh, we just need to leave a little bit of space for the splitter when that comes in one of these in there like so let's go ahead and chuck what iron we've got let's go ahead and grab all 10 stacks of these We're going to need to harvest this stuff for a while. After the first one. Lovely. I can just drop into there for now. And then we want to do the same thing with the limestone. Ooh, whoops. Uh, where we've got... Uh, this one isn't going to have a splitter. We're not going to be able to get... Uh, yeah, no, we might be able to get a spur on this later down the line. Obviously, it means we're going to need another machine. That's already full up already. Uh, we'll just go ahead and drop in what we've got. And then we'll go and get the 10 stacks from over here, and then we will be done collecting things for a while. Hallelujah. We've got a good area for the nodes that we've got to be there. Isn't too bad. 100 of all of these. There was a way to collect from every single one at the same time. I'll be the day. All right. Ooh, whoops. Ooh. Right, there we go. Right, okay, here we go. Go and dump this off in the chest, and then we just need to sort the power out, and then we'll be able to get loads of stuff coming in nice and quick. Right, that can go in there. Fantastic. Right, so that's booted up, ready to go. We just need to get some power to these puppies. And we'll be set. <laughs> Pardon me, guys. Sorry. Right, let's just disconnect that super quick. We're going to get another power pole set. Oh, we need wire. Hold that thought. 536 wire. Okay, that's fine. Uh, we're now going to grab you from this one to right outside these guys. I need cable. <laughs> I can't wait to get into coal power. Get these basic things set up. All right, a little bit of cable. Nice. And the only thing we need to do here is hook that one up to there, that one up to there. Both of these will now be hooked up to the system, which means that every time we put fuel in, we need to put fuel in both bits of work. So for now, let's just go ahead and churn down all of that. Happy days. Nice. Anyway, megawatts, we've got the capacity for 40, so we've doubled our capacity. Excellent. Right, what do we need for the next hub upgrade? Let's get onto that. Hub upgrade six. Yes, biomass. Woo, hallelujah. So the joy of it is an actual biomass burner can output 30 megawatts. One on the hub, two on the hub. They're the only two you'll ever get uh, that output 20. So as soon as we can get these other ones, they'll be able to output more power. Very important. So we need a hundred rods, a hundred plates, 
some wire and 50 concrete. Let's go ahead and put in what we've got, which is the 50 concrete. I knew there was one with 50 concrete coming up. Uh, the rods is probably going to be one of the quickest ones to get right away. Uh, let's grab that. And that. That will only get us 88, actually. The other thing that we could do with doing is keeping... Uh, in fact, I may as well top these guys up manually. And this one is just going to be the one that's always fed. We can just come up to it and take out of it. Just fantastic. Right, that's going to be the 100 rods. So let's go back and make those. This is our last little bit of auto-crafting, I'm afraid, guys. Of manually crafting, rather. So we'll grab 100 rods. Oh, we've actually already got 20. It's quite nice. Once we've done that, we can grab ourselves 50 plates. Sorry, 100 plates. And we will grab the wire, and then that will be power. Where we can then start getting constructors to do stuff for us instead of anything else. Let's just grab the extra ones. Okay, right, so that's the rods done. Let's grab more iron and get the plates. We've run out of power, as expected. Uh, I'll split the wood down and grab the wood to start with. So this isn't isn't less efficient, by the way, um, just because I'm using two. It's just spreading out the power across the two. So notice how long it takes for that one to go down. So it's just got to half of it. One, two, three, four, five seconds to get halfway. You'll notice that five seconds is normally the full bar. Because we've spread it across two, it just takes twice as long to get through the fuel. That's all it is. And when you've got more things set up that take up more than 20 megawatts of power, um, if one of them was to stop working, the other one won't be able to output the full amount of power needed for the factory, and so the system will completely collapse. Um, and a fuse will break inside the biomass burner. You've got to detach it from certain power. Uh, in fact, I'll simulate it um, by adding uh, a smelter. I need wire. Probably show you guys how this works. Grab some wire. Grab a hefty amount of wire, actually, because we need a hundred of it anyway. Might as well just craft that whilst I'm doing it. Since we have to wait for the iron anyway. When did we get that much copper? Jeez. Nearly there. We have 120. I'll have enough to craft the thing that I'm going to show you guys as well. And that'll do. Uh, oh, we'll just go ahead and put 100 in there. Nice. Uh, so if I was to make myself another one of these puppies right here, and if I was to hook that up oh, uh, to this and give it some beans, boom, fuse broken, one of your power grids has shut down. And all you've got to do is, obviously this one has got is, is a red light, which means it's not got any fuel and it isn't working. Yellow light means it's got fuel, but it isn't working. So this has got the fuel. If I turn this on, it'll instantly break because it's trying to power 24 megawatts when it can only power 20 megawatts itself. Whereas if I was to put the fuel in the other one then, capacity will actually change to from 20 to 40 since I flip the switch, and it'll be able to produce exactly what it's going, uh, what it's doing. But we don't need to do that right now because we've already got the two. That's how the fuse system works anyway. Uh, we can actually go ahead and pick all of this. Let's go ahead and top him up. Nice. And craft those plates, and then we are done. Oh, we've only got 82. The joy of the power system, though, is that once you get once you get into coal, you've got a set amount of resources coming in, and then you've got a set amount of power going out, and it never changes. Like, as long as you don't physically change anything or break anything within the factory that you create, um, you just get a fixed amount of power output um, for the entire duration. Hopefully, we'll get there today. It'll be quite nice if we can get to that point in the game today. That'd be pretty sweet. Oh, we've actually got 100, look. I crafted an extra earlier on. Fantastic. Upgrade the hub. Nice. There we go. Year zero complete. Congratulations. Oh, it's bugged. You have unlocked building space elevator. That's a shame. Building biomass burner part. Biomass. Motivational message. You guys can't see what's Congratulations. Coming down. You succeeded in every provided task. 
On behalf of Fixit Incorporated, I thank you for your current and future service. Can you rebuild it? Additional knowledge. The hub terminal has been converted okay. to give access to milestones there to Here ensure you progress along Fixit approved protocols. Note, future developments should be aimed at constructing the space yeah. elevator and as such initiating project assembly. Good luck. So cool. Sick animation, absolutely love it. Uh, so, uh, we just need to hook up our power again, so I'm just going to... I just wanted to show you guys what that animation was because it's bugged. All right. Oh, uh, are we done here? We've got no fuel. We've got any fuel? No, probably not because I've taken it out. But... Nice. Okay. That's going to break any sh any second as well because the wood will run out. But it now means we can make biomass with leaves and wood. And biomass burns extremely more efficient uh, than its counterpart. So, just chuck this, this, and this into there for now. We don't need those. Um, what we do need to do is take a very quick look at what it is we can unlock and what it is we want to unlock. So base building is going to be our fundamental for then creating permanent bases, um, which we are definitely going to have to get into today. It's a lot of concrete. Um, that's your problem there. Concrete takes a long time to craft if you're, do if you're doing it automatically. Um, but fine, we'll get into it either way. Uh, logistics is going to be a good one to get into because you get a productivity display. Um, which is quite handy. If I, in fact, if I show you what we can see, uh, you'll see what I mean. So this display down here is what you can unlock. You can't actually unlock it at the moment, unfortunately, um, but that productivity display will then show us exactly how efficiently the machine is running, uh, which is quite handy. Um, and obviously then we get splitters and mergers, which is a major one for getting the storage chests hooked up to the other smelters. Um, that we can use as well and we can get a second constructor for that as well which would be even better um and then field research is the ma'am um which is like literally just research stuff but the handy thing about this is a hand slot and the map which is quite helpful uh, and then tier two which is one we're going to need to get um part assembly which is how you make uh smart plating uh, but it's also the uh, fundamental machine the assembler is how you make rotors and reinforced iron plates and those two items are used quite well the rotors are substantially used in coal power so we're going to want to get that um and then obviously the assembler being able to make reinforced iron plates is how we make constructors so automating that is going to be very important as well this is going to be the one that we want to get into at uh, the utmost importance um because it's obstacle clearing genox solid biofuel which is twice as efficient as iron mass which itself is twice as efficient as normal stuff. So we definitely want to get into this uh, as a priority. So let's go ahead and select that. Then I'll go over the other ones. So jump pads, this is this is like always the last one that I unlock. It just allows you to vertically get places, uh, which is handy, but it takes power and in the early game, kind of unnecessary, because uh, you can just build ramps and stuff. So it's not really that um, useful. Uh, the resourcing program, which is this puppy, um, is how you can sync items that you're not using to get coupons for the awesome shop um, and you can unlock other buildables, decoration things and other bits like so uh, and then obviously the customizer is literally a customizer you can color things a certain way which is quite cool as well and then logistics mark 2 is just faster belts uh, faster conveyor lifts and a very helpful stackable conveyor pole so obstacle clearing we're going to want to get into that we need screws quite a lot of them actually uh, a little bit of cable and a little bit of concrete so let's go and see what we've got in the way of concrete because once we've got obstacle clearing power will, will be even less of a problem uh oh perfect that was nice all right 100 cable we can actually probably go ahead and craft up straight away let's keep these guys moving by emptying them and filling the other one back up let's keep him nice and full we've run out of power which is absolutely fine i've not got anything to power it with and now so let's go ahead and do a quick resource harvesting spree and turn it all into biomass and it should last way longer joys of the early game absolutely love the early game Ooh, nice 
I'm grabbing it all up. Da, da, da. Ooh, barrels. Why, thank you. I'll imagine that these trees can be chopped down for a very substantial amount of wood. Wood. Fingers crossed. Okay, we've got 400 leaves. That should do us soundly for a while with the amount of biomass I can get. 83 wood can actually get us a tidy amount of biomass as well. I believe. Uh, there's no point in using flowers anymore since we can craft biomass. Yeah, we can craft 610 biomass, which is perfect. Happy days. Let's go ahead and scran all that up in the inventory. And then we'll divide that in two. I think you can only get it in stacks of 200 with biomass. Um, so we'll go ahead and put 200 in each biomass burner and then we should just be set for a while. But then when we can turn all of this into solid biofuel, we'll automate that process and just get fucking loads of it made. That'll be ideal. Right. Uh, oh no, we could just put a stack of 200 in there, a stack of 200 in there. And that is going to burn one every four and a half seconds. Is that right? Six point six seven per minute. What does the wood do? Oh, twelve per minute. Oh yeah, burns. Okay, hang on a minute. Let me take this from out. Yeah, there we go. So that's. Oh, sorry. Yes, it'll take five seconds for it to burn. It won't. It won't burn for five seconds. Sorry. So it'll burn for five seconds. It'll produce energy for five seconds, but the biomass will burn for nine seconds. So slightly less than double. Yeah, slightly less than double. But look how much of it we can get. Absolutely amazing amounts. Good. Right. That's fine then. So we've got power for a while. Uh, something we're probably going to want to do is get the ones that are automated hooked up to storage. Um, so that that's constantly coming in. Uh, but for now, let's just focus on getting these. Screws don't take that long to craft either, guys. So don't be daunted by the 500. <laughs> it won't take us as long as you think. This is going to this is going to be what's taking the time. The hundred cable because we have to craft two hundred wire to then craft one hundred cable. But when we get the solid biofuel, though, we'll get some biomass burners set up. We'll probably get four of them set up, which will give us one hundred and twenty megawatts of power. Um, there's actually quite a lot of power, and then we'll go ahead and start automating the construction of stuff. So we'll automate plates being constructed, rods being constructed screws, wire, and cable, and concrete. We can get all of them automated, that'll be ideal. Nice, get a hundred more of that made. Just bin that, don't need that. We're on the verge of automating nice things. Cannot wait. We're going to need to find where coal is, actually. Something I think about. Okay, so that's the 100 cable. Uh, 500 screws, then. Already make 100. Every rod we make will make four screws. So we just make 100 rods, and then we can craft the 500 screws, and then that'll be done, and obstacle clearing will be unlocked. We'll grab ourselves a chainsaw, fuel it, Grab a load of stuff for power, put it in a chest, put it in a constructor, automate the crafting of the biomass into solid biofuel, and then we won't need to worry about that for a while. Okay, that does take longer than I remember. Three for four, and we're making 500. Didn't take too long. Um, I don't know why I did that. And I think the chainsaw needs. Remember what it needs, actually. Hundred and fifty already, though, so it's not going to take too long. 
as soon as we get through the basic processes of the game, we can automate stuff. Grand. Got a packet of crisps next to me. You can guess what it is before I reveal it. Bonus points. Three hundred. Two hundred to go. We're nearly there. Sensations? They're not sensations, no. <laughs> it's weird. Why is that? That's 500. Three days. Chuck them in there. Smash the button. <laughs> Obstacle clearing. I'll show you this, guys, as well. Milestone reached. Biofuel will ensure maximum efficiency of biomass burners. To aid in biofuel production, you are now capable of removing foliage that consists primarily of wood. Additionally, R&D inflated your pocket Ooh. dimension. Inflation of pocket dimension. Yes, we've got six more spaces now. That is fantastic. Going to be something random like Quavers knowing you? No, it is not Quavers. Would you like a packet, Russell? Would you like me to crinkle the packet so that it'll help you figure it out? Chuck the one copper. Okay. Right then, so that has given us the ability to make those. We need the chainsaw. We need it now. What do we need? Uh, <laughs> sorry, guys. 160 screws. Okay, we need plates for the reinforced iron plates. So let's just craft a bunch of those. And let's go ahead now and start making some rods. We need 25 of those anyway, I didn't realize. Screws on the go. Streaming for an hour and a half already. Man, it hasn't felt like an hour and a half. I'm hoping we craft all of those without losing the twenty five. Oh nope. Just short. Okay, more iron rods. Uh, cable. Nice reinforced iron plates. One, two, three, four, five. We need more screws now. Uh, and then we're going to need more rods. Nice. And then just some rods. Excellent. Right, let's go ahead and make the chainsaw. Ooh, drop pods coming back. Re-enter the atmosphere. So cool. Yep, yeah, that's awesome. Okay. Milestone exchange concluded. Fix it freighter re-entry complete. Nice. So what do we want next? Well, we're probably gonna want to go ahead and look at the tier one stuff. And honestly, probably feel research. We get the extra hand slot, which would be handy for putting the uh, chainsaw into. So we'll go ahead and grab that. Um, let's go ahead. Oh, sorry, lizard dogger. Uh, let's go ahead and just take out some more bits of these. Uh, we'll go ahead, uh, you know what, actually, can we in the 49, take a stack at a time perfectly. Nice. Okay, uh, we'll go ahead and take out some concrete from here, so that that doesn't fill up. They come in stacks of 500, which is ideal, so 
So I, that's quite nice, actually. Uh, we we'll may as well go ahead and grab the copper. We don't use as much of this, so I'm not going to bother refueling this one. If we don't need to use the power, it seems a bit daft. Um, in fact, speaking of power, let's go ahead and top up the biomass burners. 189. Look how slow it goes down. It's so nice. Uh, okay. So, we've got the chainsaw. Um... Can we turn... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Let me just get rid of that. It takes up so much space on the screen. Things are going to break in a minute. Can we turn all of this to solid biofuel? This is a recipe that takes way too long to craft, unfortunately. Um, this should only be the first part of what we need to use the power at the beginning and then hopefully I'll just be able to set up this automatically so I set this up automatically rather um, and then we should be fine in fact the sooner we set this up the better um, oh wait yeah no let's go to there can we get Two of those set up, and one of those. If I can grab those, we can set up this process. In fact, I'd rather set that up than craft it myself. Uh, table. We actually need more iron plates because we need to hook them up to belts. And we also gonna need a cable. So that we can wire it correctly. And then can we actually get some extra wire? Just in case we Okay, cool. Right, let's just put the barrel nuts in there. I need those at the minute. Right, uh, can this actually just go dead close to this thing? Um can we have the storage out literally right here and we have the constructor set up uh, here and rather ideally that can be hooked up to that this is going to be doing solid biofuel and then the next storage can literally just go here belt into there belt out of there and into there and off you go that will make 30 per minute oh there's no power Wait, what oh right yeah that's on me uh if we can just get half of that into there this burns for 22.5 seconds which is over double Fantastic. 2.67 per minute. Super efficient. Happy days. Okay. That's now cracking on with that. It's going to start shitting out solid biofuel. Fantastic stuff. So, fortunately, we can't change the over or underclocking of this. So, it's just going to run at 4 megawatts every... Like, it'll run, and then it'll stop the same time it runs, and then it'll start again. So, the power uh, meter... It'll do that basically. Which is kind of annoying. If you can have that that, that dark grey line um, and the orange line, which you can't see, that one, they're normally the exact same with the biomass setup. But the orange line, as as perfectly straight as possible, means you've got a nice, uh, steady outgoing of power, uh, which is just easier to maintain. So we're going to use that 20 fuel there. We're just going to go ahead and grab a load of this now. Um, and then we won't need to worry about it for a while. And then we can just go ahead and start doing other stuff being extra productive uh, and in fact I'm just going to head straight over to the trees that are just down here loads of them oh look at the wood the wood's the big one 
Fantastic. The mycelia within this fungus suggest strong molecular bonding features frequently observed in adhesives and medicine, both beneficial for field research. A new Don't research tree can from. now be accessed in the man. In the man? Okay. Okay, that is actually going to be loads of stuff. Uh, let's go ahead and take that out of that. Right, let's just make the biomass super quick and then we can just punch all of the biomass in that storage chest and we won't have to worry about crafting this boring ass solid biofuel because it takes way too long to do it and I don't want to do that. Oh no, no, he says. <laughs> cool, we use the mycelia for a little bit of research. That'll be ideal. The biomass is the only thing that I do prefer to craft. It seems pointless powering something to craft something to power something. Um, but the only one I do like to do that with is the solid biofuel, just because it takes so long to do it. But that is a beautiful amount of solid biofuel. Oh, look at it go. Four for 20. 792 solid biofuel that'll create us. It's stacks upon stacks of energy. Right, let's just bunch all of that in there. That is going to be cracking on for days. Lovely, and it has already, already made 64. Fantastic. Right, I'm not going to need this for a while now. Let's just go ahead, split that, put that in there, and put that in there. 70 lots of 22.5. That is how long that is going to run for. Uh, in fact, it's not going to run for that. So that's going to be 70 lots of 45. So whatever that is. 70 times 45 is 3150. 3150 divide 60. Yeah, so we've nearly got an hour's worth of fuel there, which means for the next 52 and a half minutes, we can do whatever the hell we like. So let's progress. We need to get some wire. We need to get some other bits set up. First things first, let's automate the production of basic stuff and things. So uh, we're going to want to get logistics. We're going to need splitters. To start making things a lot more efficient. Um, oh, I've done that for field research, haven't I? Uh, no, let's get logistics. Let's get logistics. 250 plates. You know what? That one takes so long. Can we grab um, one, two, three, four, five, six constructors? We need those resources first. Let's just grab them, and then we'll be away to go. Shooting, firing right now. Ooh. Oh, I need another one, actually. Uh, whoops. Yeah, I need that many. Right. I'm in the inventory. Ooh, a little bit more. Nice. And then we're going to need rods, plates, and screws for 14 of those. Hundred and sixty eight screws. Okay. Dun, dun, dun. It's going to take a lot more power, so I'm probably going to need some biomass this as well. Thinking about it. Seven lots of four. Or two. No, it's not. Seven. Forty. Twenty-eight. Oh, that's way too long. Jeez, my maths on screen is embarrassing. Uh, plates. Eighty-four plates. Ah, oh, exhausting. Can we keep the iron ones going, actually? How about it? There we go.
Nice, and 14 of those puppies. And 10 more. Nearly there. And lovely job. Right, so that is all of them. Then we just need some constructors. Park right outside where we want these. Um, so, first things first. We'll go ahead and put this outside of this one. Help them up. Right, let's go ahead and grab some plates for Lee conveyor belts. Uh, 30 will probably be enough. Nice. And that can go into there. And that can start making plates. 30 to 20. Lovely job. Uh, can we just grab... Oh, jeez. Can we swap them over? Because I keep pressing 2 for power. And that is why. That's supposed to be there. That's supposed to be there. That's supposed to be there. Lovely. Right. That can go... Uh, let's take it over here. Oh, I'm missing the wire. For real? Sorry, Miss Jackson. Uh, wire. Okay, let's go. Uh, let's just park that right there and then hook that up to there. That is now going to be able to do iron plates. Uh, then this one is what's going to be split in two. Uh, so let's just go ahead and shove that forward a little bit and then put another one next to it. Both of these are going to be doing rods, 15 per minute and 15 per minute. Um, and for now, we may as well grab them and put them in there. Hook him up to some power, hook him up to some power. Uh, you know what? Should have put this one. And then it can go here, and then to there. Okay, much better. That's going to start making rods for us. Happy days. We can just grab stacks of rods now instead. Uh, this one's going to be doing rods as well, guys, because right in front of it. I might just go the other way with this one. Uh, like so, uh, like that. Uh, this one's going to be doing screws. It only needs 10 rods per minute, which is rather ideal. Uh, and that'll craft us stacks of 500. Uh, ooh, there's a bacon there. Hello, Mr. Bacon. Uh, like so. And then we just need to power this puppy. In fact, he can just hook up to this one right here. We are going to need to be careful now because we've just hit max consumption. So if everything was to turn on at the same time, uh, well, we would encounter problems, I suppose. But these are going to now start crafting these for us. Fantastic. We haven't got splitters yet, so we can't quite use everything just yet. Uh, copper stuff actually doesn't take that long to craft. So to be honest, if we craft the copper stuff for now, instead of using the power to automatically craft them, then the plates and the rods can just stick along in the background from, from the constructors and bits and bobs. Um, and it is only 300, but why? isn't that much, to be fair. Just keep crafting, just keep crafting, crafting, crafting. Uh, can we just put some stuff away? Nice. Oh, the chainsaw can go. I need that for a while. We'll go ahead and check the solid biofuel situation shortly, since we finished making our wire. We're going to need to get some storage chests or output so that we can have stacks of stuff ready to go. 
So that'll be a thing. 300 of those uh, in the bank. Go ahead and see what plates and rods we've got at the minute. Yep, scram those up. Thank you very much. Scram those up. Plates, what are we up to? 78. Okay, we might as well use the ingots that we've now got on our inventory. Uh, let's go ahead and craft up the rods. Because they're only crafting at a rate of 15 per minute, whereas the plates are at 20 per minute, so they are crafting a little faster. 150 of these puppies. Let's get rid of that for now. Okay, uh, we might as well just craft 18 of those. Speed things up a little bit. Crafting things manually, by the way, guys, is always the faster way to do things, unless you've got multiple machines doing things at the same time. Oh, two? Oh, it's right. Iron. That's fair. Look, look how much is there! It's, it's only in the fifth stack. Or sixth stack, technically. Whoa! That'd be huge. Right, let's go ahead and pick up those. This is now going to be crafting away. Unfortunately, you know what? Actually, we might as well grab that and start crafting some plates manually. Whilst we're here. How many more do we need? 98, we need 150, so that is 52. Is that oh we're nearly there nearly there for logistics mark 2 <laughs> 10 left come on we're, we're, we're on the cusp of unlocking logistics <coughs> pardon me guys I want the splitters in my life let's go more. Might as well have that. Excellent. Excellent. Right, let's go back. Let's go. Just exit up. And do. Yes. Nice. All right. Milestone reached. Conveyor belts can now merge, split, and lift to increase the complexity and efficiency of your factory. We encourage you to consider more verticality when it comes to factory logistics to streamline short-range transportation. The productivity display will help you measure and improve the productivity of individual buildings to aid with optimization. Like so. Like so. We've got a small spaghetti junction going on here. That will give us even more rods, which will then just give us screws. Hmm. Lovely. Max consumption 40. Max capacity 40. So that's perfect, actually. So if everything was complete, we'll be all right. That's at 171. Holy crap, that's with... Oh, my God. Okay. Go ahead and get more of these puppies, because I did remember seeing something that took 200 concrete. Now let's pick up all of this. One, two... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Lovely. Or nuts. And back we go. Oh, we need blade runners. So badly. <laughs> Give me the Blade Runners now. Okay. Uh, okay, we need to choose our next milestone also. Um, base building could be a good start. No, probably field research. Yeah, yeah, probably field research. I also remember I've just ran straight past the storage chest for limestone. Congratulations. 
dump all of that in there. Fantastic, we're gonna get more concrete made. Uh, yeah, it takes 45 per minute. So splitting this line is somewhere near irrelevant. Um, nice, so that should now be splitting. But it's gonna be taking 30 out of there. And it's gonna put 15 of it into here, 15 of it into there, job done. It'll always fill this one first, so this one, that's not at 100, it's... No, actually, it'll still split it completely fairly, won't it? Yeah, of course it will. Silly me. Fine, my mistake. That's going to be 15 of them, which is going to make some screws. Don't need to make screws anymore. Don't need to make rods anymore. Oh, lights are coming in thick and fast as soon as... Oh, wait, no, can we get um, a splitter on this now as well? Let's keep this puppy filled. Uh, we might as well do an iron top up. Whilst we're here. And that'll run for a while. Could put a miner on this thing, but I just really don't see the point in using the power. And you can just use these. Boom, like so. That'll last us ages. Okay, so now we just need to do that, but for the copper situation. The problem is we need to sort out power. So we've got 256 of that set up. Let's just take a look at that. And let's look at power. Let's get uh, three of these set up. That'll be absolutely fine. Can't imagine we're going to need more than that. Uh, so let's just grab 75 wire. By the time we've done that, the extra plates have probably been crafted by the constructor. And we should be somewhere near good to go. Perfect. So, biomass burners, uh, we may as well go ahead and pop them just down here. Uh, so let's have one, uh, I don't know, like there. One there and one here. Hook him up to a power line. Him need wire. This is why we need power so we can automate copper stuff. Let's use the rest of those ingots to do it actually. Lovely job. Uh, you can have power and you can have power to there. Let's hook these three up to that. Uh, let's disconnect this, and let's hook that up to there. Let's take the solid biofuel out of these. This is another hundred, which is lovely. And we have oh, yes. awesome. Two hundred of it in there. Yeah, we know. Two hundred of it in there, and two hundred of it in there. Smack that on to go. Fantastic. We've now got a capacity of 90 megawatts. We're not going to be using these inefficient ones because they only have 20. Three of these output is 30. And our max consumption has now gone... Uh, yeah, no, no, that's right. We're at 40. We can take up to up to 90. Fine, so let's get a composite sort of So, uh, straight away, let's get a splitter on this. Uh, or splitter. We need some plates or some more conveyor belts. Lovely. I can just go to there. No point in moving anything for a second. So we just need two wire constructors. So they're going to be outputting 30. Constructor. Oh, it's that that's in the way. Hang on then. We'll move that for a very quick second. I can go there. Can't afford any cable for real. Now the tiniest amount of cable. That can go there. So wire. Oh, 15. Oh, okay. Hang on then. We're going to want to space these out a little bit more. Uh, let's just bend that off for a quick second. Let's take this one that way that way and then this one is outputting 30 as well so actually 
Oh, we need cable. What's with the cable? Eight in total. Like so. Uh, and then that can go there. And we're just going to want this one going into that with a splitter. I need cable. <laughs> oh, I love my life. Okay. Before, let's just leave this down because I'm obviously going to have to keep coming back to it. Okay. Inventory is practically empty. Oh, I don't want to do that anyway. I want this. That. And I want that going into there. You are going to be doing copper, good sir. At a rate of 15 per minute going in. 15 per minute going in. So that's 60 wire coming out. We don't actually need that one there. Um, and then we just need another one of these hooked up. Hook it up to this one. Like so. It's just going to go into there. You're doing the cable. So 60 wire per minute in. Um, okay, that one's going to be slightly inefficient. So that's 30 out. 60 in. So we're going to get 15 cable per minute and 30 wire per minute. That's fine. That's okay. Okay, we need to power these puppies. Uh, we may as well stick them both on the same side. And same side of the line. Uh, so you... I need wire now. Like that. <laughs> and oh, I still need wire. I'm just going to grab some of that. The irony of needing copper to make the copper work. Right, let's just grab 10 cable. Grab more wire. There we go. Alright. Let's go ahead and grab. Uh, from that to here, from this, there, I'll do this for that one, and from this to here, I'll do this for that one and that one, and then from that to here, then we can hook that up. Okay. Oh, nice! All right, so that's got us up to max consumption 52 megawatts. There is loads of copper left in here, which is excellent. Can go ahead and put that back in there, so that's going to go ahead and split a load of that. Perfect. That is now going to be making copper and wire for... Sorry, cable and wire. That's to come and grab whenever we need it. Lovely. And to be fair, because of how much we need, we may as well go ahead and make... Need iron plates. Just need iron plates. Ooh, 86 though. That's nice. So I'll we'll keep these guys empty. Get in there. Not bad. Two hours in and we're just automating things. Jeez. That's not too bad. them probably and let me just grab that there and if I'm honest can we just grab another one as well screw it cable <sighs> that's a nice feeling just come up and grab those nice and easy yeah, well in this case we actually might as well move the process um, both of these can just spit out. We fit a merger on that? Oh, we can. That's super quick. Might as well get that going into there. That here now instead. There we go, we're back up and running. So this is just going to spit out cable a lot faster now because it'll be fully efficient. At 76, we'll start to increase. Hopefully.
eventually. <laughs> it will go up, okay. Uh, but these two are now going to be what's going to craft us some basic wire. So we can just get wire quicker because we need 300 of it. Um, oh, we need power to these. And that'll do those. Happy days. And wire stacks in forms of 500, so we can come up to this point at any time and get a thousand of it, which is even better. Uh, the unfortunate part is that this only stacks in 200. The joy of cable is you don't actually use it that often. Unless you're powering something. Plates is what's going to probably slow us down the most. Uh, plates and concrete, to be honest. We've got a decent amount of concrete, though, to be fair. So what we could do, actually, is duplicate the setup we've got over here entirely for plates. Um, so let's hook that up to there and let's take it to there. Let's then grab you out of there, split that, take it this way as well. Some power to these. Send that that way. These have now got power. They're now set to take iron ingots. Uh, let's go ahead and grab a workshop. Let's just oh, fuck me, we can craft 36 of these beauties. Lovely job. We may as well craft. Oh, wait, no, what am I doing? Kind of pointless. Kind of no need, because I've got 10 here that I'm never going to use flat out. Let's grab another 10 of these. And stacks of iron ore. Okay. Uh, excellent. This can then just go straight into the chest, like so. That'll give us a thousand iron ingots. And if we just hook up, okay, four iron plates, reinforced iron plates, sorry. All for the sake of 60 iron plates per minute. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, four of those. Yeah, sorry. Cool. Then let's grab, uh, can we, oh yes, perfect, and then there and there, I think the plates, no, they can't line up there, that was stupid. Uh, can we maybe, like there then, there and there instead, these guys are 30 to 20 directly, that can go into that, that can go into that, power, there, power, there, Power that from there to there. We disconnect that. We connect that one to this one, that one to that one. Max consumption 76 megawatts. That's absolutely fine. Because these will now be able to make iron plates. Ah, good. We've just tripled our iron plate production. Let's make sure that our power is doing okay. Yeah, absolutely fine and dandy. Excellent. Good shit. All right. We are doing some work here. So let's just go and see how many uh, wires we've produced. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. And the cable. Oh, look at that. We need screws as well. Do we have those screws? Yeah, we do. Okay. It's just the plates that we really need. 100 plates. Um, grab those. May as well keep this operational. Grab that. How much is in there? 193. Okay, we're going to need to top that up pretty soon. Uh, top up the rods. Keep him working. Keep this guy working. That's 100 plates. That means we can progress. For the 18. For the 20. Let's go and fill up field research. Build the man. Oh, no, we need the wire. That's a sad. Just go and get that. It made another 100 between the two machines yet. It made another 48. We're nearly there for wire. It's making it quite quickly, so it's not too bad. Fixmas calendar. We'll get into that once we sort out the proper base. I'd like to do some Fixmas before it runs out. Uh, out of curiosity, do we have these back up? No, it is literally flat out on these. Ooh. We have it back up in here. No. We do have the iron, uh, the copper ore back up. Sorry, the copper ingots. Jeez, when I can English. 
Uh, so we could actually just very quickly craft that remaining amount. It does not take long to craft it. We'll just make 50. That'll be fine. Bung that in there. Spam the button. Nice. The Field unlocked. research unlocked. We've got the map. Here we go. This is where we are. Milestone reached. Nice. The molecular analysis machine, referred to as the MAM, will allow R&D to provide new technologies, items, and buildings based on samples collected in the field. Excellent. To ensure a greater chance of success during exploration, an upgraded tool belt has been provided, as well as an object nice. scanner and beacons. Note, the object scanner requires calibration via the MAM to enable detection of specific objects. Yeah, we'll go ahead and make it. Why not? Reinforced iron plates. Craft 80 of those puppies. Sorry, 8, not 80. Uh, we need a few more wires. And that gives us the object scanner. Which is quite cool. I don't really use this thing, but I might as well show you guys what it does. This thing, you can... I have nothing available yet because we haven't manned anything. So the MAM, let's get that on go. Um, let's get... I don't know why that's there, but let's get rid of those. Options number two. Yeah, they've not changed. It's not changed. Okay, I don't know why it's done that, but that's fine. Uh, can we... There we go. Okay. The MAM. We need five reinforced iron plates and 45 wires. Of course I can't make five. What do we need? Okay, 45 wires, we can do that nice and quick. Oh, screw that. Don't need to be doing that anymore. Go and grab some. Pop ourselves up. Grab some extra cable. In case 100 wasn't enough. Pop up some plates. We could create storages for all of these to go into. To be fair, so I could probably create one storage for plates, one storage for pods, one storage for screws, etc. Um, you know what? I am actually going to go ahead and top this up because that's dropping fast. Yeah, let's just do this now. It's gonna look really messy. It's a necessary evil. I'm just gonna absolutely load this one up. Uh, just because this one is processing limestone super quick. Let's just chuck that into here. Lovely. Oh yeah, they take a while, don't they? Because they're only on a normal mode. Okay, well that's fine. Um, we need fifth one of those. That should allow us to create a man. Just pop it here for now. We'll go into this mass shortly, so we can get the uh, we can get the mycelia into there. That will then allow us to create biomass from my from mycelia, and mycelia gives you a stupid amount of uh, biomass. That's definitely going to be worth doing. Nutrients, we'll be able to get that one researched, and we'll be able to get that one researched, which is quite cool, so we can scan for those. Um, and then we'll just need a berry, a pale berry. Uh, alien organisms, I think we've got the one that's here, possibly. Uh, oh no, here, sorry, I think this one's the hatcher. I think this one... That's the rat, the, the, the rhino thing. I don't know what it's called. The hog. Um, this is the stinger. That's the spider thing. Hate those things. Not a fan. And then that one is the blaster dudes. Whatever they're called. Um, we're going to need caterium for that one, I think. And the sooner the better. Crystalline, I've not even seen. Sulfur, I've not seen. And that's slugs, I think. And then hard drives. Okay, fine. Yeah, lots to do. Have we got a second running of these yet? 70? We're nearly there. Okay, let's dismantle that then. We can go ahead and up 
uh, that one over there. This is just going to pump that all the way over there for now. I'm wondering, is it worth getting 20 of these puppies on the limestone node just to make it easier? Or I could even do a miner, you know. It could be worth doing a miner for this one. Yeah, screw that. Let's just get a miner. Um, the other ones I don't mind doing the uh, whole fiasco with, but limestone's a bit of a ball lake. Yeah, we can only process so much at a time then, right? So it kind of makes sense to just belt it into storage. Let's just do that. Uh, that should output 60 per minute and still. It's going to reach a nice distance as well. And we'll just do that. To... Yeah, this one. Yeah, that should get the miner up and running. I think it's only 4 megawatts as well. 5 megawatts. Uh, that's okay. If it was on a pure node, I probably wouldn't do it because it would take 120, but it would be a waste of energy. It's only doing 60 per minute, and we're only using 45 per minute, I think. So this will run at 100% efficiency until both storages have filled, technically. Um, that should stop us from running out of limestone anyway. For now. And we could add limestone buffers like no problemo. I will also get a concrete chest set up. Um, just because we're going to need so much of it. Like, one chest is not enough. Excellent. Uh, I'll go ahead and chuck the 400 in there as well, actually. I don't need that right now. Cool. Nice, clean inventory. Right, actually, can we possibly... Uh... Yeah, 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 yeah. Go on, let's just, let's just get the storage done. Okay, that can just go to there. We're only going to out, but we might as well take that because we can have a stack of 500 in us. Ooh, this is actually finished. Only got 136. Yeah, that's actually not a bad amount to be fair. Um, we can get a storage here for the rods. Uh, if I can leave a good enough gap for me to jump through. Right there. Just jump through this gap to get around. That's absolutely fine. I'll take the rods out of there for now. Wicked. Um, we may as well grab ourselves one storage chest for these as well. Uh, let's put that here. That's going to go there. Let's get a merger on that for a quick second. Uh, because these will be able... Uh, this can actually merge onto that line. And then this can just merge into there, and that'll be 60 uh, plates per minute coming into here. We've only got to go to one place to do that. Um, and then... Oh, this is getting messy. Uh, literally just in between the two. But it's efficient. There. Uh, and in fact, if I put the merger down first... Oh, I can't afford it, I need plates. That is okay. Take those. And a merger. Right there. That going into there, that going into there, that going into there. And... Ah, we've run out of copper ore. Here. Should start pumping that out there. 182, that's not too bad. Right, let's just go and grab a load more of this stuff. Yeah, we've got the space. Loads of space in the inventory. Okay. Grab. Grab, grab, grab. Uh, 
Nice. We'll just go and chuck that in the storage, and that'll be another thousand iron ingots process uh, copper ingots processed into stuff. Nice. Okay, let's get the man built. Got some research on the go. Whilst we're processing stuff. The joy of it is that we don't actually have to jump into things really quickly because we're going to be producing stuff anyway. Uh, it could be worth just getting into that thing to be fair. Um, these should be emptying. No way. Oh my goodness. Grab more of these. Nice. Dump them in there. Okay. Yeah, all of these are now emptying into that. Can we just take what we've got in them already? It is. Might as well grab what we've got in there. We've got rocks of plates, rocks of rods, and concrete. We can actually finish off this one nice and easy. Nice. Okay, so the next Milestone one then, we've reached. completed tier Level 1, let's go to tier 2. Aim to provide the first uh, to build that could be handy. I might just go to fire assembly to be honest. Overview. Building these will provide a grid for more advanced organizing and sectioning of your factory. So can you tame gigas in this game? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Gumpler, welcome back, bro. <laughs> uh, you cannot tame things in this game, unfortunately, no. No, I didn't. I didn't keep to my word about the Giga there, actually, did I? <laughs> I didn't. I didn't get far enough in Arg. I actually haven't even spoke about Arg. Um, effectively, thank you for the reminder. Actually, uh, effectively, guys, I played Arc for six months, and I think I've just burnt out. I fully think I've just burnt out of playing Arc. So uh, the likelihood is there's not going to be much Arc content going on on the channel anytime soon. Um, I'm gonna go through like like anybody I suppose you go through phases of what you want to play I'm not one of them people that can sit down and play the same thing for six months uh, evidently uh, it's come to near about the six month mark and uh, I'm worn out by it so unfortunately um, Ark is very very likely going to be put on hold uh, just because I don't want to be playing something I don't enjoy because I'm not going to be happy playing it and it just seems completely pointless playing something I'm not happy to play um, I have no interest in spending my time being miserable. <laughs> so, new yes, Satisfactory is the current, on this new current game. Uh, I'm sure it will change to something completely different again. Electronics. Uh, uh, new well, research tree can now at be some point. In the no mail. idea when. So, yes, just to give you guys a heads up on that front. Uh, we need to get the MAM down. And we'll go ahead and just pop that. Um, I guess... Right here. We'll be fine. Uh, okay, Kateria, can we just get that unlocked? That's understandable, and I'd prefer YouTube YouTubers I watch actually enjoy the game uh, they play, and not just for the views. Yeah, honestly, man, I... Like, I've started YouTube again, um, because I enjoy creating content, but I love gaming. Like, I... I regularly game like outside of what i do on youtube chances are i'm hang on again <laughs> other, obviously other than my full-time job um it's full-time job and then it's a juggle but like not a juggle but like it's a it's, it's like a steady mixture of gaming and spending time with my partner like i love gaming so my my thought process was i may as well do something else whilst i'm gaming um and that is great content so like if it goes somewhere, great. If it doesn't, great. I'm not that bothered, but I love playing the game. I love playing games, so it seems to have to not doing stuff whilst playing games. Honestly, after playing Ark and being able to tame dinos, no other survival game really does it for me. I've, yeah, I kind of have the same thing. Um, Ark is, is an, uh, an elite tier survival game, to be honest, in my opinion. Um, the other survival game that's really up there for me is Minecraft. Uh, it's, it's just too classic. It's just too classy. So, yeah, it's... 
A Satis Factory is not a survival game, which is a nice mixture. It's a factory building game. Um, and I remember talking about it on another live stream in the past. I love building games. Uh, you can build in Minecraft, you can build in Ark, you can build in Satis Factory. Um, City Skylines, love that one as well. There's oh, so many out there that I do enjoy uh, playing. So uh, we need to get Crystal. What do I do for work? Um, I operate heavy machinery. <laughs> I don't want to delve too into it, um, because there's a level of um, privacy that I'd like to maintain, I guess. Uh, but I, I, I'm a warehouseman, I just operate heavy machinery. It's, it's a very bog standard job, it pays the bills, honestly. Um, yeah, pretty much that is that. Uh, he's got to play Minecraft too. Yeah, I love, I love <laughs> the hours I've put into Minecraft. Woohoo! Boy. Anyway. Back to what we're doing on this. So, part assembly is what we're doing next. Uh, we need cable. At this point, we're in the stage of the game where we're just unlocking things now. Um, oh, hallelujah. Uh, the sooner we can get coal power, the better. Um, I want to get an assembler set up as soon as possible. And then as soon as I've done that, I'd like to get um, smart plating made can't manually make that stuff. Um, I'm looking for screws in this jungle of, of buildings. They're over here. All right, let me just scran all of them into the inventory and I think then it's just rods. Just take all of them and we should be able to unlock that straight away. Oh, base. Spam! Oh, we didn't get the emotes. Okay, parts assembly. Whoop, whoop. Let's go. Milestone reached. More complex assembly of Two hours and twenty minutes, and we are at part assembly. assembly parts can now the rest be of this now is like via the space elevator. Doesn't really Note, matter. Project too much. parts are too complex to produce by hand. Okay. Um. At this point, we just want to be focusing on making smart plating. What does the factory do? Like, does it serve a purpose? Oh, hang on a minute, I missed a thing. Oh, nice, before where I work now, I operated heavy machinery when I did construction. Yeah, it's, um, don't get me wrong, I, 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 I enjoy the job, I've got it best. It's actually quite cushy. Um, do I want to do it for the rest of my life? Uh, absolutely not. Do I want to do anything for the rest of my life? Not particularly, not unless I enjoy it. <laughs> so, oh, I'm gonna need to get more solid biofuel. I've only got 200 left. <laughs> It could be worth doing that first. Um, let my chainsaw, let me grab that. Oh, can we research that and that and that, actually? As well. Guys, I'm so sorry, I've got the hiccups, believe it. Operating machinery is very mentally draining. Um, yeah, I. On that instance, I'm gonna have to say depends the machine. Um, I wouldn't say, in the position I'm in, I can program the machine I operate. So the programming of the machine is mentally draining. It's like, it can be a mind boggle sometimes. Operating the machine is just plugging a memory card in and it in play. So for me, it's actually not too complicated on the operating side of things. Um, but the programming side of things can be absolutely mind boggling. So I'm semi on board with what that what, what you said there, to be fair. Uh, going back to what does the factory do, or like does it serve a purpose? Um, do you mean uh, the factory I work in, or do you mean this particular factory inside this factory? Because right now, there are kind of several other factories going on in the game. At the Mo. Uh, right, I either want to find Crystal, or I want to... Oh wait, can we research? Unlock this tree to access the node. But I have Hatcher remains. I should be able to. Do I need to find something? Is it because I killed it way too early in the game? For it to recognize that I've got it? Is it that I need to pick it up again? Nope. I didn't do it. Oh, <laughs> construction machines have like four different levels and buttons and switches and all that lot. Oh, right, yeah, okay, that's fair enough then, yeah. Do you mean, um, 
Uh, do, do you mean like a vehicle kind of machine? Do you? Mine's mine's like a stationary. It's an indoor machine, so it doesn't doesn't move anywhere. It doesn't go anywhere. But it is a lot easier to operate as such. It's just press play, get out of the way, sort of thing. Kind of a machine. Ooh, can we go and kill that guy? I'm not going to collect any of these just yet. I just want to kill this dude. Ah. Die fool. Nice. Bit of remains. That's what we want. The remains of this creature might shed Ooh. light on how to increase chances of survival. You mean it's satisfactory? Okay, I'll go back can and now be accessed in um, the map. give you the brief. Brief rundown. We've got more iron up here. No, no, no. Oh, oh, it popped it. Okay, sweet. That's actually not too bad. Uh, where did it go? There it is. Okay, sweet. What is this node? Pure. Oh my god, the iron in this area is incredible. I want to grab more bacons. I mean, the bacons. Here are all the bacon. Uh, I'm keeping an eye out for crystal as well. Do you have like excavators and track loaders and, do and dozers? Oh my god, no, I've not done anything like that. It reminds me of No Man's Sky in a way. Yeah, it, yeah, I, I know what you mean. <laughs> no explanation needed. I know what you mean. I've not even played it and I know what you mean. It's very spacey. Space exploratory. Exploratory, rather. Um, I just want some crystal. I'm not going to be able to unlock exactly what I want, but I just want to get the basics of the tree unlocked. I'm not majorly familiar with the area, so I don't know where there's an interesting mode or anything. Annoyingly. We can't scan for it yet because I haven't unlocked it. There's a big bull thing up there. I don't want to close to that guy. I can help it. Um, okay, I'll head back to the factory and explain it. I'm just I'm just circling the um this thing. Oh, no way! <coughs> This mineral shows purity levels Perfect. akin to synthetic quartz manufactured oh God, on and can be used to improve communication and exploration technologies. This is a, a late game material. Tree can now be accessed in the MAM. There's not even any research with bauxite. I'm just, I'm just taking it because why not? Um, okay, I also saw that there was a thing up here. Crash site. What's defending it is the question. Oh, two hatches. That's grim. Um, okay, let's have this. Yes. I want to get in and destroy the one as soon as possible. Yeah, of course. And the second one. Nice. Okay, we did take a lot of damage there. Uh, the joy of the crash sites is they have resources on the ground sometimes. Ooh, sometimes some really expensive resources. Nice. Ooh, circuit boards again. 190 wire. And then the drop pod needs power. So right now... Oh, wait, no. We can just craft a doohickey. Power it. Cut up to power. Unlock it. Yes! And a hard drive is ours, just like so. Data on the hard drive has been uh, I also understood when you said about feeling burnt out playing art. Between my job and trying Salvaging YouTube, I'm already feeling burnt out. <laughs> I had to slow down. Recipes. Yeah. Yeah. When... Okay, look at it this way. I like to upload something as frequently as possible. And that tends to be a short. When you are doing... But when you've got the aspirations of... Um, trying to be successful on YouTube, you want to grow quick and you want to grow easy. That's, I mean, why wouldn't you? If you could grow quick and easy, that's like happy days. That's, that'd be every YouTuber's dream, I'm sure. And I realized that uploading, there's another bacon there. Uploading a short every day um, was bringing me subscribers fairly quick. I've I like, I went from having just under 500 subscribers to nearly a thousand subscribers in six months. And when you're at the very early stages of having a channel like the pre-1000, them first thousand subscribers, I'm sure, are going to be the hardest subscribers I would have ever got. 
because it's a snowball effect from there. The content that you upload is always there. People that see the content later on down the line, like, you're then just getting free subscribers and free views and free watch time, blah, blah, blah. And it's not been easy. Like, up, getting up every day in the morning before I go to work, recording, editing, uploading, and then doing the same thing the next day, and then the next day, and then the next day, and then the next day. Like, I uploaded, I don't even know how many arc shorts in the space of two months, but, like, it was, it was one a day. And then I was doing a video every day as well. And then I was doing three live streams a week. And that's a lot of arc. <laughs> you know, like, holy moly. But what, what people don't see is the time it takes to get thumbnails, the time it takes to prep things, to, you know? And, and, and that's what, like, and then you're, you're playing the game for that time as well. You're not just playing the game for the time that it's on YouTube, you're doing all the background stuff. Like, I can probably guarantee that for the, for the time that I have content on arc, I've got the same amount of time on arc outside of recording. It's like, it's crazy how much you actually do play a game. Satisfactory for me is going to be very different because what you see on stream is entirely what I see as well. Like this world, this, in fact, I should probably save. Um, free, oh, I've got the lock on. Premium tea factory, <laughs> right? Um, what you see of the premium tea factory world, this number right here, that is going to be what you see. That's going to be what I see. The only time that, that I'll be on that you guys won't see is purely when I'm taking a screenshot, and that'll be it. I don't want to be on this world unless I'm, unless I'm streaming. So that's my way of going, I need to pull back here. I need to slow down slightly because I don't want to get burnt out this time. You know? I'm making, I'm making a little short. Uh, in fact, I'm making a short of this emote, the clap emote. There's a chance that the clap emote will do something different when you use it. I'm not going to spend too much time doing it now. We'll do a couple more. Just on the rare chance that it does do it. It's not going to, because it's a super rare chance. Um, but I'm just doing a daily clap emote, and it's just something for people to come back to and just go, oh, did he do it? Did he do it? You know? And, and that is it. I'm not playing that much Satisfactory. The only other Satisfactory I'm going to be playing is if I want to play it outside of the streams. And that is going to be on a completely different world. That's going to be on my um, Ultimate Ham Factory world. I'm currently 40 hours into that. Um, yeah. And that's it. That's, that's literally it. But otherwise, I, oh, like I play a little, a little bit of League of Legends with my friends, quite like my actual mates, the mates I was in school with. Um, and otherwise, I'm probably watching series on Netflix and doing other bits like that. So I don't want to be, I don't want to be on it flat out, you know? Because you do get burnt out, just like you said. Uh, right, very quickly before I forget, I'll give you a rundown on what these factories do, right? Uh, because I'm kept you waiting long enough for that. So let me just get up somewhere high. Uh, have I got the... Oh, I do. Okay, let me just build this. A lookout tower. This is going to make it a lot easier. Okay, this is my copper factory. So copper node is all the way over there, and I take the copper ore, put it into the storage chest. I get smelted down in these two uh, smelters. Um, and every single one of these constructors is making copper wire, okay? This constructor is taking the copper wire from these two and is making cable. And then these two are just making copper wire and just storing it so that I can have copper wire, okay? That's the copper factory, if you will, right? And over here, we've got an iron plate factory. So iron ore from the, uh, the little guys into the storage, into the smelters to get the ingots into the constructors to get the iron plates, and then that goes into the storage for iron plates over there. Uh, this one over here is iron ore again. Smelters getting the ingots. I've got one constructor doing uh, iron plates, and I've got two constructors making iron rods, which are those things that you see right there. Those dudes. <coughs> Pardon me. And then in that iron... Uh, that constructor is just making iron rods into storage, so that I've got iron rods. The other one is making iron rods into screws, which you can just see above the reticle there. And then those screws are just going into storage, so that I've got screws. And then the last one is way over there. Uh, the miner is mining up the limestone. Limestone's going into storage. Way into this storage, into that constructor, making the concrete. And then the concrete is going into that storage chest that I've got concrete. 
And that is basically the setup that we've got. So if you had a list version of that, you're making iron plates, iron rods, wire, cable, concrete, and screws. So our next job is going to be to make the reinforced iron plates and the rotors, and then we're going to use those to make the smart plating. And smart plating is what we need to progress further in the game. That is the goal. So I hope that makes sense. Um, that was pretty much a crash course on what we've done so far. And yeah, pretty much, my dude. Uh, right, catch up on chat super quick and then we'll crack on. So, you were crashing so hard uh, at night, I was late to work two days in a row. Is that because of the stuff that you were doing on YouTube? Something that helped me feel better was watching some of my favorite YouTubers' early content. Those early vids were as bad as my videos now. Then I look at them now and it gives me hope. Yeah, 100%. You're absolutely right. I've got... Inception Gaming is uh, the channel I've got currently. Before I rebranded it, it was um, something called GG Munchies. And that was primarily a Minecraft channel. And that was the channel that I used to get my first 500 subscribers. Um, then I stopped doing YouTube uh, because I like my, my living condition changed drastically in life. Um, was never made homeless, so it's nothing to be concerned about. Uh, it was I, I was between houses quite frequently. Um, I was trying to sort of move away from parents, um, and then I got my own place. Um, had the ability to save up some nice amount of money, get a new system, and then start up a new channel dedicated to. Uh, just whatever I enjoy playing, pretty much. And that is now Inception Gaming. Um, when I was making the videos for GG Munchies... Sorry, I've, I've like, stopped playing. <laughs> uh, when I was making the videos for GG Munchies, um, I was doing it purely for views, I was doing it purely for watch time, purely for growth, and I was constantly burning out, constantly stressing myself out, and I just thought, screw that. <laughs> um, and then it happened that living conditions changed, and I had to stop doing it anyway, so it worked out for the better. Um, for my mental health, really. Um, I was stressing myself out trying to get things done unnecessarily. Um, and I, I didn't just take a minute to go, hang on a minute, let me just stop and think about what I'm doing here and think about it and plan. And now I'm doing Inception Gaming and I've planned it and it's so stress-free, it's literally unreal. Like, it's, it's unreal how stress-free um, I feel doing YouTube this time around. Um, I've got an Excel spreadsheet with a schedule that I've got. I stick to the schedule and I just do what's on the schedule. I don't burn myself out and it gives me time to spend time with my partner. It gives me time to spend time with my partner. Just, just like alone time, I guess. Um, and it works out. It works out well. I'm stress-free and happy days, pretty much. Uh, it makes sense because people play games for fun, but when you start doing it, uh, trying to make a job the games lose just a little bit of fun because now it's almost like yeah you're absolutely right with that as well you know i don't play i don't play satisfactory because i think it'll be successful on youtube i just so happen to think it could be successful on youtube um otherwise i sort of wouldn't necessarily do oh yeah researching other stuff that was stupid i should have done a hard drive last um i don't for a minute think it was it's, it's ever going to be unsuccessful uh, but at the same time, if, if this is what I enjoy playing at the moment, why wouldn't I play it, you know? So, yeah, it does seem a little bit you have to play something you don't enjoy just for the sake of doing it on YouTube. I, uh, if you don't enjoy it, how can you expect other people to enjoy what you're doing, you know? It's, so, that's my mentality on it anyway. I should make a schedule to be able to give myself some free time. Uh, I've been trying to get back into model kit building and origami. Nice! Oh man, I don't know the last time I did any origami. Probably when I was in high school. Which is years and years ago. But that's quite cool actually. And model building, I think I've only ever done that maybe a handful of times when I was a lot younger. Probably before high school. Quite like that kind of stuff when I was like a little kid. But um yeah, I know but I know people that do it like properly, like properly, properly, like hardcore model builders and stuff like that. Um I guess like model model. Um, oh. Um, oh, in fact, diggers and excavators. Um, my, my grandfather actually loves model excavators, uh, but like the, the proper, proper nasty expensive ones, you know, like the four and a half grand, five grand jobbies, where they've got like proper working hydro, uh, pneumatics, sorry. 
loves that sort of thing. Has some for donkeys, actually. Right, we need to progress. Um, so we need to get three assemblers built, um, ideally, and we need to sort out powering those and getting them sorted. The last thing I made for origami was an origami lotus for my wife on our anniversary. Oh, dude! <coughs> That's a nice thing to do. Let me just take a drink here, guys, two seconds. Oh, that's better. So we need three assemblers. One for making the smart plating, and then one for making reinforced iron plates, and one for making rotors. Now, we need 50 rotors and 50 reinforced iron plates to... Um... We need one of them as well. Um... 50 of each of those resources to make 50 smart plates. So we'll go ahead and probably make those manually uh, to start off with. Other thing I need to make sure... Okay, I can make 13 of those at the moment. 53 of these, actually. That's quite good. Uh, but we need 24 to begin with. I might actually... You know what? Can we ditch those two? Can we just make literally what we need to get this smart plate in them? When was this game released? Uh, 2019 was when it... Uh, was released for playing. Still in early access. Still hasn't even finished. We still haven't even finished making the game. There's, um, there's supposed to be a storyline to Satisfactory. Still being implemented four years later. Coming up five years. You just build Gundam? I don't even know what that is. What is that, man? I have literally the, uh, the first time I've heard of that word, let alone what it is okay oh that's nice i was hoping we'd have plenty of that plenty of those we're gonna need to get more iron ore on the go that is not many plates um what have we got over here yeah and oh no uh, we want the storage screws let's grab those concrete Yes, we've got lots of concrete and of rods. Oh, we've just collected those. We don't have much of those. Okay, that's interesting. Um, okay, fine. Let's grab some of these. Pop up our storages for crafting bits and bobs. Won't take long for them to fill back up, which is nice. Get that on the go. And as soon as they fill back up, we'll be able to carry on. So, very quickly, guys, I'm just going to take a very quick 10, 10 minute break. No, one minute break. Um, and I'll be back very shortly. We've got to wait for these to fill up anyway. So, give us a minute and I'll be back.
All right, let's carry on, shall we? So let's go ahead and grab up the last couple of bits of these. Thank you for putting up with me there in that little minute, guys. I'm going to do a little posture check, stretch out a little bit. Sit down for a couple of hours, you got to sort out your knees and whatever else. Right, let's go ahead and pop these ones in here then. And that should be them up and running. I like Japanese Transformers based off of anime. Uh, just giant robots, really. Oh, okay, fine, fine, fine. It's actually my first foray into content creation. Okay. It's a model, model kit TikTok. Sick, man. Now, that's the thing. Like, if that's what you enjoy doing, why wouldn't you make content on it? If you enjoy doing both things, seems daft not doing both. Right. Assembler. These things are hefty to run on power, unfortunately. Um, fortunately, we don't need to really care about that right now. Smart plating. So, two per minute is what we can do. We need 50 for our good friend, the space elevator. Um, where are we going to put that? I have no idea. But let me show you. Oh, right here by the look of it. Let me show you guys the coolest animation of a placed building in any game ever. This thing is mint. Comes. That's awesome. <laughs> Absolutely fantastic. Beautiful. Okay, your lunch is over now. All right, man. Well, I'm glad you hung out today and your lunch. That's awesome. Nice talking with you, man. I'll probably be on later. Yeah, I'll be streaming for a long time today, dude. But more than like me, uh, more than likely catch me later on. I would not worry about missing too much. Oh, I love the space elevator. It's so cool. So. The space elevator, guys, by the way, is where we put our smart plating. And then this will unlock tier 3 and 4 on the game. So we have been in tiers 1 and 2, which is, in my opinion, very, very early game. And three uh, space elevator phase 1 is officially early game, in my opinion. And the space elevator is what unlocks that for us. So we need two smart plating per minute or at one smart plating um, 50 times. So if you were automating this and you were to have two reinforced iron plates and two rotors coming in per minute, then the two per minute is exactly what it would craft. We haven't automated reinforced iron plates and rotors just yet. So instead, what we're going to do is we're going to take uh, the resources that we need to craft those things. Uh, and then we're, for now, we're just going to have to manually craft them. Um, need 50 of those and 50 of those so we need plates a sugar ton of screws and yeah that's a plate done that was easy uh rods we need loads of rods um rods that seem to be the thing that are coming in the slowest at the moment which is fine to be fair have we got any no, we don't actually have any of the above mentioned things at the moment so can we um okay we can actually make 90 reinforced plates with what we've got so far it's the rotors that are the problem so can we start crafting them they don't require rods so if we make these reinforced iron plates aren't actually going to go down 
if we can make 10 like so and then 10 of these we can get 10 smart plating started at least and then whilst the factory is making more stuff we'll go ahead and go ahead and we'll go ahead and go ahead that made sense we'll go ahead and collect more um biomass so that we can keep the factory operational to keep the, these guys crafting got 10 of them on that oh shit 96 max consumption and that'll be why that happened I need rods ah oh, rods right now man what's going on I'm out here just get another one of these set up this is why we need extra power what's too steep let me just put it in here somewhere yeah that'll do Okay, since we've got to split things down anyway, what do we have total power wise? Uh, total fire fuel. Okay, let's split that once, split that once, and then split this one four times. We want 147, 148, 148, 148, like so. A. Oh, I've not hooked it up this way. My bad. Alright. That's better. And can we... We need the smallest amount of stuff here. We just make 40 of that. That's not too bad. And that's just, it's just going to power the uh, chainsaw so that we can get more. a nice glass of orange juice. Two more. Nice. Grab the chainsaw. Put that in our inventory. Along with that. And what are we up to? We've done one. Excellent. That's... F what is that? Two per minute? We've got ten. So it's five minutes worth of stuff. Not too bad to be fair. Uh, let's go ahead and grab everything from up here, I reckon. I'm guessing the cactus are probably in my cellar, right? Oh no, wood, okay. Fair enough. The berries. Uh, oh, there, there are a lot of wood. Oh, no, it's six wood, sorry, that's actually not much wood. <laughs> right, keep grabbing all this stuff. Biomass, and then we can just automate the solid biofuel. should be enough for now. Nice and easy. Oh, I'll tell you what, while I'm here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Go into there. Let's keep those running. It's the rods that we seem to be running out of more frequently now. Right, we just need to very quickly craft up into the biomass. Hopefully I've got enough inventory space for this. That's ten stacks right there. I don't know if we can have enough space. I'm not grumbling about it because the more we have the better. It's not going to take that long to craft, to be fair. 
for halfway through now, that's actually quite ideal. We can get the rods. Be able to make a load of rotors as well. Oh, the inventory's looking a bit tight. We can get rid of that. Oh, we've done it though. Yes! Nice! Alright, let's go ahead and put that in this chest over here. And in fact, if we go ahead and just put the first stack in, it'll make it nice and quick. Then all of that can go in there. Lovely job. Have our berries. Right, uh, how much of that we got in there? 202? Okay. Right, let's grab some screws. Days, we've actually nearly got enough screws. 75 more of those. That's tidy. That's 15 rotors. Okay, what have we got in here? We've got nine already. Okay, you know what? Let's get another 10 each of these then. And that'll be another five minutes worth of crafting done. Lovely, and 10 of these. We've got a nice amount of plates. I feel good about the amount of plates that we've got at the moment. That is one with 20. We might have to make them again on the next rotor run then. Lovely. The joy of it is the to-do list basically keeps track of exactly what we need all the time, which is so handy. Super mega handy. Okay, we need to wait for rods to be made. Um, I tell you what, we don't, because there's 200 right here. Oh, I bet we can go and pick up the rest of the screws we need as well. <laughs> Let's go! Happy days. We can get them 10 up and running. Nice, let's go and put them in this. We nine and a half minutes. Nice. I wish you could queue what you wanted to craft. That'd be really handy. Can make the rest of these. I might just make all of those reinforced iron plates. Oh, we're actually running out of screws. Oh no, it's okay because the total is what. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Eight more of these, and then we're done on the rotors. Getting these automated is going to be super handy as well. Nice, and then just these left. Nearly there. Ten to go. Uh, well, we might as well make the last two. If any screws that we're going to be out of, that's fine. Excellent. Right. That. Uh, sure, there is a way to ah, that. That's what I want to do. Okay. Stack of twenty can go in. Brilliant. Thirty-five to go. Job done. Right. Whilst that is crafting away, jump up here. I'm going to go make a cup of tea, so for anyone that joins, making a cup of tea.
I'll be five minutes. Lovely. Oh wait. Interesting. We'll put the D. Yes. Big smile. All right. Back in a second, then, guys. Let me go make a brew, and we'll carry on with more progress stuff and deals.
All right, we are back. How has the assembler got on? Okay, we're up to 34. We've got eight minutes left. All right. Got myself a cup of tea. Thank you very much for being patient with me, guys. I really appreciate that. All right, we need to go ahead. We need to get some copper on the go. The other thing that I'd like to get into is a to-do list. So. Top up. Uh, actually, okay, let's have... Um, regular um jobs okay regular jobs so we need uh, to top up top up uh biomass burners okay so we need to do that regularly we need to refill or storages relatively regularly and I think that's going to be it for now and then separately unlock exit cut I don't know what that is you will uh, I also want to um, I also want to get into Unlock whole power. Complete tier two in hub. Okay. Excellent. So we've got those things that we need to do. So first things first, let's go ahead, top up biomass burners. Let's get back on that. Let's refill these puppies. Bill. Yes, it did. Excellent. All right, job number one done. Let's go ahead and refill the four storages. And you know what? How long it takes to do this? It's probably going to be worth getting some miners set up at this point. Um, and that way we could actually just remove that as a regular job. We, we probably want to keep those regular jobs at a minimum uh, wherever possible. So let's get three miners set up. It's going to be another 15 megawatts, so we are going to be burning through things much quicker, unfortunately. But it will mean... Oh, we can't. There we go. It will mean that we won't have to do things as often. Get that set up. Let's get a power line first. Get it started. Lovely. That gets that on the go. Uh, where does that take our power to? Max consumption 101. We've got up to 120, so that's fine. We're going to need a belt coming out of this. Going this way. This way, and then up to there. That will keep us topped up on copper stuff. It is. That's that done. Then... We need to just get these two up and running as well. This will give us the plates flat out. Uh, three for a miner there. That will plate into the, sorry, that will convey into there. And then from that one to that one. Lovely. And this is going to be the weird one. Because we're going to need this to come back on itself a little bit. Dodge the other miners. And then it can just go straight to there, and the power can come straight from where that makes sense there. Perfect. Okay, so this is going to mine 120 per minute technically, uh, but for now 160. So that's going to be that done. So that is going to be that job eradicated. Excellent. Up at biomass bonus is the only one we need to do. As soon as we get into coal power. We won't need to worry about it. So, can we, in the meantime, complete tier two of the hub? We need concrete, so let's go and get what concrete we have. Lovely. We need wire, so we'll go and grab that. Oh, rods, we need rods. 
plates. Oh my goodness. Excellent. And wire. How are these looking? Six to go. Three minutes and we'll be done there. Take all of that. And I don't know if we've got enough rods to finish that off. But we do. That. 200 of them and 200 of them. That unlocks the resource sync program. Fantastic. Milestone reached. You have been given early Logistics access mark two. to the anti-waste effort for stress testing of materials on exoplanets bonus program. Hmm. Funneling parts into the awesome resource sink, depending on their amount and complexity, will grant you coupons in the awesome store, which can be exchanged for bonus rewards. Examples of bonus content are parts, walls, factory attachments, and cosmetics. Fixit is working hard to develop additional options, which will be added to the awesome store in the future. Nice. Go that extra kilometer. Go oh, awesome. awesome. <laughs> okay, thank you, Raider, for that. So the Logistics Mark II is 50 reinforced iron plates. Uh, truthfully, not a major priority right now. I'd rather get phase elevator uh, one done. It's so close. <laughs> We're at 47. Three more. We're literally a minute and a half away. So, in the meantime, we can't do another pod for the next four minutes, so there is absolutely no point in trying to sort out one of those. What can we get research-wise? Oh, of course. Oh, cast screw. That's an easy one. So you just take iron ingots straight into screws. No messing about. That is actually massive because it will technically mean that we don't need rods to make screws. Now, I'm curious. How many screws do we have in here? That many. Okay. Already making extra rods, so let's just go ahead and take those, actually. That technically means we're making 20 per minute, which is fantastic. Keep topped up on those. We've got another 156 of that to go, and there's still another 1,000 biomass in there, so we're doing well on that. This is literally on the last one now. 30 seconds away. I've got cocktail sausages, so I'm just going to eat one of those very quickly. It's so good. And 80%. 90 and it's done joy of it is this is taking 15 megawatts so where i was saying that we don't need to worry about miners because it's taking up megawatts we've now just saved 15 megawatts which means that everything's going to be working a little bit more efficiently so we don't need that right now which is fantastic we've got some rotors and some reinforced iron plates back Let's go ahead and complete space elevator phase one here we go. And send. That's awesome. I love it. Okay. So that has unlocked phase two, which is 500 smart plating, 500 versatile framework, and 100 automated wiring. Right now, not a concern of mine at the moment, because we have now unlocked the ability to see tier three and four. So, tier three, First stage is coal power, an absolute must-have. The unfortunate side of this is 150 reinforced plates and 50 rotors. But the coal generator itself actually takes rotors to make anyway, so our next stages is definitely going to be automating reinforced iron plates and rotors to some extent. Um, the alternative is to just try to dive as fast as possible into coal generator power which I'm kind of tempted to do. Um, it'll be way quicker for us to manually create these anyway. 
um, as opposed to automating it, and we can't really do a great deal until we've done that anyway. We've got vehicle transport, basic steel production. Yeah, improved melee combat. This is a handy one, to be fair. Uh, and this is um, upgraded version of the Dino Basher. Sorry, the Dino Zapper. And then after that, it's advanced steel production, expanded power infrastructure, hyper tubes, logistics mark three, and fix it blueprints as well. So, coal power. We're going to select that. And what do we need to make 150 of these puppies? Uh, so that's going to be. Just unlock those. In fact, let me put them in the hot part as well. Uh, four and five, four and five, five. Uh, we don't have anything else there. Put in. Power has stayed the same. Logistics have stayed the same. Organization, yeah, can we have that in one, that in two, that in three? Foundations we've now got, which is really nice. Unfortunately, they take both plates and concrete uh, to actually unlock those. So the sooner that we can get into the concrete foundations, the better, because then it won't take plates. And we'll be able to start saving some serious dollar on those. And then we've got some walls as well, but they are plates. So, go away. Um, so, for now, what I want to very quickly check is in here. We need 200 screws to do that. Which I know that I've got. Over here. Let's just take those. Set that up. This is the awesome shop. Where we can buy some stuff and things. We're doing more things. So, these are going to be massively used. These are going to be massively used. Uh, but the ones that I want first is... Concrete foundation material. And we can very quickly unlock that. We do need to place this down first. So to place that down, we need reinforced plates. So let's go ahead and grab them. Um, reinforced plates, we need 15 in total. Lovely. And that is going to be number five. Just pop that there for a quick second. Power this, we need 30 megawatts. Right up there. Um, and right now, we don't have the power to do that. So we're going to make another one of these. And we're going to go and get more solid biofuel. May as well top these up whilst we're here. We're going to be rinsing through this stuff very quickly unless we can get to coal power ASAP. Okay, let's go ahead and hook that up here. It's just increased our capacity to 150, which is ridiculous. Um, and then can we just grab ourselves the awesome sink? Uh, it could just go here for now, I suppose. And we hook it up to storage. As close as possible. You have to feed this thing with a belt to be able to put things into it. And we just grab the shop right next to it. And I literally just want to unlock these, because these you only need two concrete to make the one. It's just a lot cheaper. You just save up on uh, plates massively. So uh, can we then grab these circuit boards that we have? I'm going to take all of that because I want to do a load of research as well. Okay. Let's hook that up very quickly. Put these circuit boards in. And that should start pumping away at getting us some components. <coughs> Pardon me. Brilliant. That's got us three already. We might as well just wait for how many we get. In fact, we don't need the box out. Right, as well. I don't know how much that's going to get us to. Eight per ore. Good. That's the 
seventh one. It's not going to get us that one, but we'll go ahead and let it run for now. Seven of those, customizer, metal foundation, that's a cart. And we've got four left. A fix it coffee cup. Put that in. That's good. That's four. So we've got three left after that. Um, we could go for the concrete wall. It'll save on resources. Uh, yeah, you know what? Let's do that. That's the smart move. Excellent. We just gotta wait for this to finish up. Coffee cup complete. Job done. Unlock the fix it coffee cup. Cool. That can just be dismantled because it's taken 30 megawatts to run that thing. Absolutely ludicrous amounts of power. Brilliant. Right, let's go ahead and dismantle that. Let's go ahead and dismantle that. And we can now walk around with our coffee cup. Ah, perfect. Right then, so we can now progress with our next job, which is unlocking coal power. We need 150 reinforced plates. So first things first, let's get out of photo mode. Parts, reinforced iron plates. 150 of those puppies, uh, 50 rotors. Which is like so, and 300 cable. Now we'll have 300 cable right here. Plenty of that. I've actually got it in my inventory, so I'm not even going to take any. And we can put that straight in, like so. Excellent. Let's do a little bit of research, actually, because we need to wait for screws to manufacture anyway. So we can research this one, and we can research this one. Thank you very much. That unlocks the alien capsules, and. Oh yeah, when we can get to that, that's six inventory slots, that'll be quite helpful as well. And we can unlock this one also. Fantastic. Uh, we don't really have anything else to do in that one. Mycetaria, mycelia, we don't really have nutrients. We don't have that just yet, and we can't do that because it's steel and modular frames. Quartz, we can unlock those, so let's do that, and now we can scan it, which would be super helpful. Fantastic, and we want these. Now it is modular frames, which is a bit of a sad. Uh, but it's also silica as well, so we need 20 of that to unlock silica. It's going to be worth the walk. It's just going to be worth the walk. Have we got the ability to make one of these? We do. Do we have any? Yes, we do. Okay. Oh my god, a thousand kilometers? Or a thousand meters, rather? Not a thousand kilometers. Jeez. Okay. Okay. What have we got iron plate wise? Oh, actually enough. Okay, that's quite cool. Uh, can we just put some stuff away that we get there? Like you, 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 and you. We don't need the caterium. We don't need the Not right now. And then the screws is the only other thing we need. We have ooh, nowhere near enough. How many can we make with the rods we have in our inventory? Two thousand? Oh, that's a shame. I really want to have to craft all them though. How long would it take? Long enough. That's an extremely slow progress bar, and we need two hundred and fifty rods anyway. Okay. Hmm, okay. Tell you what, let's go ahead, <clears throat> let's find the quartz. We need to let this all craft up, anywho. Uh, let's just double check. Oh no, no, we're hooked up to a miner now, aren't we, actually? So that should be fine. Yeah, no, 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 we should never actually run out of that, should we? Okay, fine, right, let's go ahead and find some quartz. Now, uh, where was it again? Slug. I'm absolutely going to want to grab that and do the research for it. This semi-slug seems to emit unfamiliar energy readings which could potentially be retrofitted into Fixit technology. A new research tree can now be accessed in the map. In the map? Okay, 
Uh, speaking of the ma'am. Oh, yes, we do have the ability to craft lasers. Let's quick. Power slugs. Let's do it. Excellent. We need this as soon as possible, which means we need one more slug. Because we can start saving some serious amounts of power with that thing. We are going to need to frequently scan to know which way to go. Yeah. Oh, wrong way. Shouldn't take us too long to get there. And who doesn't like a little bit of exploring? Oh, there's one of these guys. Where'd the other one go? He's there. Hello, bro. Have I misunderstood something here? Why was he not attacking me? Have I got something wrong going on there again? Is that to retaliate? Yeah, that's right. Huh. Maybe they're just not retaliating? Huh. Jeez. Okay. I don't want to collect nothing anyway, so... I do want the little guts that they give me there. Where am I going? Ooh, 500 meters this way. Oh, it's a slug. I can't get it though. What? Oh, I bet you need to explode that thing, don't you? That's annoying. <coughs> Pardon me, guys. Sorry. Ooh, nuts. Ooh, quartz right here. Ooh, more nuts. Grab that. Oh, let me have a sip of my tea in two seconds. Hmm. Lovely. All right. Those here. Come on. Yes. Oh wait. Fuck me. There's three iron nodes right here. Normal. Normal. Right. Normal. Come here. Just jump up there. Where am I going? Was it up there? It would be. What's here as well? Might as well grab that. Since that's what we need. Ooh, I think it's 30 that we need as well, isn't it? Oh, no, it's 20. Sweet. Okay, and then we need... 50... Silica, unlock it, and modular frames. Um, that's an interesting material to need. What is modular frames? Oh, I can make six. Oh, because it's reinforced plates. Hang on a minute. I can make ten of these. That would be ideal. Perfect. Let's just make ten of those. Screw around a cocktail sausage. We can do that one now. Nice. And we can start compiling all of them into hog protein. Right, silica is three for five, so we don't actually need that much crystal. Or quartz, rather. To be able to do this. Uh, can we not ditch that? Come in handy. Okay, where was the node? It's literally up there, isn't it? 
position for foundations. One and two. And the walls. One and two. Oh, at the back. Wait, can I just go around? Yeah, I can just go up the hill here. Happy days. Grab the nuts whilst we're here. Oh, well, if the creatures are on retaliate, which is, of course, a very handy feature. I'll safely walk past the fart rock. Nice. Okay, now where am I going? Okay, I should be going more this way, I think. Wait, what? It's down? Tell me there's a cave network here somewhere? There's one there. There's a normal one here. Where's that one, then? Oh man, have I been completely ruined by... Oh, please don't tell me it's in there. I think it's past there, actually. If we go this way... Ow! I want to get out of that. I do not want to be in that. It's definitely not here. It's it's beneath me. It's beneath me, but how do I get there? Um. Oh, whack. I don't know what that's texting. Right all the way down the hill. Let's go. Yes. Yes. Okay. Is there a cave entrance? No. Hmm. There's nothing here. Okay, maybe it's the other way. It's got to be the other way. Got this yellow slug. Way too handy to just leave. Power slugs. Yellow slug. Oh, no, 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 no. We can't research that yet. Okay, never mind. At least we've got one, though. Handy. We have the blue ones so that we can unlock the overclocking. What I'm realizing... We need a cave entrance. What is this? It looked promising. It's not a cave entrance. How the hell did you get there, then? What? There is allegedly... Yeah, they shouldn't attack me if they're on retaliate. I didn't realize. That's incredibly unclear as to how you get to those quartz nodes. And there's nothing down there, because that's where I went. And there's nothing down there. Are they bugged? <coughs> Pardon me. They've got to be bugged, right? What was that? This is apparently exactly where it is. Right here.
What's the worst that's falling here for? That's weird. What? Okay. Uh, let's try something here. Not enough space in inventory. Are you kidding? Not enough space in inventory. Two wood. Okay. Okay, we can get that now. Excellent. That's massive. Nice. We can now make one of these puppies. Right here. Oh, it makes no sense. Where is that node? Am I fully being a muppet right here? Is it part of a very long cave system, perhaps? Because otherwise, we're going all the way over here just for crystal. No, surely not. Surely not, right? How did you get those two nodes? Raw quartz, rocky desert. Be a Google job. How do we get to those nodes? What's going on? Okay. Um, right. Rocky desert, uh, raw quartz. Two pings fairly close to my base for quartz nodes in a rocky desert biome, and it seems that they're underground. Yeah, that's exactly the problem I'm having. Okay. It's such poor game design, given the standards of this game. Cave entrance is halfway across the map, where you would never think to search. It introduces a concept that doesn't flow at all from anything before it, and hard gates the player's progress on the beginner map. <laughs> Waste hours and hours of new players' time to no purpose. There's dozens of threads on this. Why is it still in the game? Oh, okay, so it actually seems to be a very known issue. But where is it? Ah, if you guys are where I think you are, then just around the corner from the coal that is nearby, entrance is covered by plants that have been taken down by the chainsaw. Okay. Um, in that case, let's have a look at where those... Oh, my Alexa's being silly. Um, because it seems very silly that there's a cave in the area that we can't seem to access, if that makes sense. Because there's no knowledge on where it is. Um, well, the cold is miles away. Okay, so for where the quartz is, there's actually no... That is incredible. Right, okay, so there's absolutely no point in getting the quartz from there. Basically, there's two nodes. I'll show you. There are two nodes. There's one here. This is a normal node, and this one right here is a pure node. Okay. And in a minute, they're going to ping over here somewhere. Any second. There. Right here, there are two pure quartz nodes. Okay. There's this one here, pure, and there's this one here, just pure. Okay. It's like. Here-ish, there's some coal, and apparently by that coal, there is the cave entrance that takes you all the way back to, to these to these two nodes. Now, I'm very curious to explore. But not right now. So we're just going to go over to the other quartz nodes that are way down here instead. And we'll go and we'll grab the quartz from those. Um... 
and in the process we'll have a look to see if we can see any cave entrances in the area very strange very very strange the only quartz that's in the rocky desert and it seems that you'd have to go almost to an entirely different biome just to get to very strange just drop down here I just want to double make sure that there isn't like the entrance down here or something stupid oh dear because this would be a logical place to put the cave entrance if we scan for those nodes again this would be a logical place to put the cave entrance you can go up this way you can go up that way you can do some bits there that would be fine but they're saying that the cave entrance is by the closest coal which works out to be by a completely different oh there's a thing here okay well this is going to be helpful oh wait can we take that out there oh we're not going to be able to that no, okay. not actually going to be able to pick a lot of this up it's screws i need so if i'm going to pick anything up right now it's going to be bloody screws oh oh 33 of them we're not like them I don't want to use them. Oh, wait, no, we can just... Mm. Okay, I've actually got the capacity to make 24. So I'm going to do that. Back to the man. What's too steep? Scanneroo the hardy drive. Oh, look at that. No word of a lie. We've just used nine of them. How many are here? Twelve. Profits. <coughs> Pardon me, guys. Oh, that's class. Oh, wait. There's more. Oh, there's the nines. We just made twelve profit. Oh, my God. Computers? Holy shit. That's massive for, for tokens. Uh, um, things. Not tokens what are they called tickets awesome shop tickets all right sweet happy days well we've got a pretty cool amount of stuff there um where are we going again this away there we go yeah definitely this way oh there's a spider thing here guys i'm so sorry if you're arachnophobic see how this would make sense Ah, yeah, like I'm going down there. Whatever. I mean, to be fair, all the other creatures... Uh, I don't know, because if there's fart gas down there, I can't survive, so I'll be dead, and then I'll lose everything in the inventory, and I don't want to do that, so... I'm not going to risk it. I'm not risking it for the biscuit. And there's no way that that's the entrance, because there's no way you're getting a belt out of that. So the coal is just down here right here it is right we've got four normal coal nodes i'm pretty sure oh that's an interesting game feature um so we've got normal node there normal node here load of dudes and then way down here we have two more oh you know what that entrance that we just found is probably the, uh, the cave entrance tell you what when slash if we go into that cave I won't take anything with me and if we die at least we'll come back with our um, stuff so I think we've got it set to um, oh no that is actually a advanced game setting feature which I don't have at the moment. I don't like it. Cheaty. Cheaty cheaty. Right, um I think they're up there on the cliff, aren't they? Oh yeah, of course they are. Okay, so we actually need to go this way. See the space elevator from here. Awesome. Okay. So let's go back. Let's go and get what we need. Oh, big spider. Oh, sorry guys. Oh 
Oh, that's horrible. Oh, look at the size of that thing. That's disgusting. And why is it there? What is it possibly defending right there? I don't know. I'm just glad that there's such a thing called retaliate mode. I like factory building. If I wanted to, to, to be involved in combat, I would play Call of Duty. Okay, there's coal there as well. I think what we want is up here. Oh yes, there it is. There's a yellow dude in there. That's cool. We want... Yes! Here we go. Now we're talking. Right, can we just get a little dude on this? Super quick. Nice. Can we get a crafting bench set up? Like so. And can we get the man? Awesome. This guy is going to start drilling away already. We get a rule of three, like so. Let's go ahead and start crafting up some silica. It'll be the 50 that we need. We've got the modular frames already. I don't know what it's going to take to craft the blade runners. That is why I haven't yet. That should get us the... Oh, I've got to wait five minutes until we can... Oh, bugger. Okay. Um, okay, well, I'm not going to wait and do nothing, so we might as well craft some screws since that's what we need for coal power. All right. 50 rotors, 150 reinforced plates. We can actually nearly make the reinforced plates. In fact, we might as well start doing that. So we've got screws back at the base. Don't have reinforced plates automated yet. Nice. This coffee cup, right here, is the exact cup I'm drinking my tea from. Fully, fully rate the cup, by the way. Equality. You can go on Coffee Stain's website to get that. It's really, really nice. Really good quality mug. And why would you have any other mug when you're playing Satisfactory than the Fix-It Cup? Oh, actually. Let's sync those. Let's sync those computers. We've got the ability to make uh, a hefty amount of power here. Let's put that and that next to each other. Let's put 100 into there. Uh, 100 to 24 into there. Okay, yeah, sure. Uh, no, 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 no. Hundred into there. Okay. Uh, let's hook that up to there and that up to there. Let's get the awesome sink. Like so. Let's get a storage thing. A storage thing. Yep. That's what they're called now. Get a belt. Let's put the computers into there. Oh my goodness. 21 computers. Oh, no power. Yeah, that's my bad. How fast that goes up. <laughs> Coupons for days. 21 computers. I love computers. They're so advanced. They're so above my pay grade right now. 17 coupons, guys. We don't need to do anything boring. We can just go shopping. Oh, Christmas has come early. Here we Oh, that's a sad. Oh, that's so sad. <laughs> oh, can we not get the 21? Um, okay. Okay, well, let's just disconnect that. I don't want it to scram up all my power. You know what? I don't really want that guy to retaliate. <laughs> He'll eat me alive. Um, we may as well grab the limits. Uh, I don't really want to sink any of that. I, I, like, I could do some modular frames. We only... I don't know how many I need, though. 
I'd rather not. Okay, let's just disconnect it for now. We might be able to sink some more. We can print the 20 coupons and we can shop for the 20. The organization. Signs are going to be a must, by the way. Eventually, anyway. Conveyor lift floor hole. A million percent. Uh, Mark 1 wall outlets. A million percent. Okay. Foundations. <sighs> right now, not a necessity. Um, the likes of doors, conveyor walls are way more important than anything else right now. Uh, windows, not massively. Ramp wall. How many are we spending at the moment? 11. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Um, oh, the ladder. Yeah, 18, 19, 20. Yeah, the ladder is way too helpful for so many things. Okay. That's pretty cool. So we got some very cool stuff unlocked there. Uh, the one is actually not going to be something that we're going to bother with, I don't think. We don't need to worry about that, but that is mega helpful, having those builds. That's good. Um, I think the next stage is going to be to unlock concrete walls. I don't think I did that. Oh, no, I did. Oh, brilliant. Okay, fine. That's massive. Does it mean we don't need to use plates to build things? Like, if I go to concrete here, these only cost four concrete, as opposed to two concrete, two plates. Like, we can just produce so much concrete. It's unreal. As soon as we get coal power, anyway. Ooh, the man is done. Um, I've got nuts in my inventory. Where's my mug? My mug and my chainsaw. I want my mug and my chainsaw. Okay. Okay, right. Man. Uh, no. No. Cheap silica is actually not bad, to be fair. Uh, oh, I don't know, actually. Yeah, you definitely don't want to use copper to make iron stuff. So, yeah, we'll go limestone into cheap silica. That's actually not bad for that for a quick second. Make sure the stream is doing okay, because I've got... B -b 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 buffering. Okay, there we go. Yeah, we're okay. Okay. Um, that's that. Uh, 200 silica. Oh, you know what? Six inventory slots. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, did I bin the. I'll have those back as well. By the way. Uh, can we craft this back up? 200 silica? That's not going to take any time at all. Oh, might take some. Okay, I'd rather have it. The six inventory slots is way too handy. Ah, that's a good cup of tea. So we need 200. That's not taking that long. Yeah, that's not taking that long at all. Halfway there. That's not too bad at all. I'm gonna enjoy my tea whilst we craft these up. Oh, we'll have coal power done by today. Easily. Three quarters of the way there. One eighty, ninety, two hundred. Nice. Quartz. Here's about quartz because we, because it doesn't take that long to make the stuff that you need. Oh look at that! Boosh! Six more inventory slots. Fantastic. Um, yeah, we might as well grab quartz crystals. And I think at this point is where you get. Crystal oscillators. We could actually unlock that. We're gonna need. Are we actually going to need that when we get the blade? Okay. Yeah, I'll be honest. I'm not actually that fussed. I'm going past this because this is just like radar towers and 
other bits like that. Um, it's good that we've got that unlocked. That's huge. Fabric, yeah, parachutes. Somewhat helpful. And this is... Yeah, Caterium is going to be one we're going to want to get into relatively soon, I'd imagine. Um, but not right now. Let's grab this. <coughs> Pardon me. We'll let this get to 40 just to finish off that second step. Um, to save us coming back for a while. Having... Oh, wait, 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 wait. We need to make the... What's it? These puppies. What do we need? Oh, a little bit of silica. One, two, three, four. No, not that one. Nice, and that should be laid on us. Let's go! That is a massive step. For traveling. Oh, yes. Things just got better. Okay, I don't think there's anything particularly that interesting left in this area. So let's shoot off back home, let's get them screws done, and let's get some stuff crafted up, and let's get a coal power plant online. That'll be huge. Well, you know what? Uh, it's going to be worth doing. Ow. Oh yeah, they're definitely retaliating though. Thank you. Nice. Let me have them. I can chase you now, bitch. Yes. Hog remains. Okay, now we just very quickly craft up these. Nice. Is it five that I need for the research, or is it four? Five. Okay. See another one. I'll go ahead and grab him as well. Not this guy. I think he's the big one, right? He's the big one. We don't want to tackle him just yet. Uh, this way. Oh, there's a little guy down there. Oh, shit. There we go. Excellent. Three. Four. Um, hog protein. Alien organisms. Capsules. Start research. Yes. Quick way to get into this. Now we need three more to get six more slots. And that's a hand slot, but that's steel, so not getting that anytime soon. If we can get three more, and then we, when we get back to getting the cable, we'll be able to unlock six more inventory slots. Which is going to be super handy for building the coal power plant. If we can kill these four, that'll work out well. Unfortunately, they only retaliate to the one you attack. Very handy feature. Thank you. And one more and we'll be sorted. Oh, it's too easy. Too easy, man. We don't even have the good Xenobasher. Oh, shit. Attack me. Oh, nice stuff. Four down. Hog proteins. Uh, wait, what was the research? Ah, it's, uh, it is actually the proteins. Okay. Of course, we'll just leave it as that then. Oh, we can grab this. Uh, nutrients? Oh, I need two. I think I saw one over here, right? Oh yeah, there. Uh, typical now of four. Okay, that's fine. Nutrients, you, start research. 
And we can scan for these, which is going to be helpful. Okay, and then that's just steel and stuff that we don't have. Cool. Right, let's get back to the base. Fortunately, we never lose the base because the space elevator is huge. Yep, there. There's a quarter there. Okay. Ah, oh, we get we get by so much faster now with the Blade Runners. Ooh. I don't think I've ever really been in here. Is that a Sam Ore node? It is. Very cool. I'm surprised nothing defends this. Oh, wait, never mind. There it is. <laughs> want me to pick up? Oh. You can pick up my cellia? Oh, wait. I need that research. Ah. Oh, handy. You need a hundred biomass as well. Uh... Like so. Nice. It's just fabric. Oh, it's a hand slot as well. That's even better than equipment slot. Okay. Right, sorry, then inventory space. Uh, that's polymerism. We don't have that. We can make that. The 50 fabric and 100 rotors. Okay. That's a job for when we unlock. Uh, rotor automation. I'm not too worried about that right now. But at least we can make fabric. Uh, where am I going? Boy. Oh, I know where I am. Ooh, what's this way? And yo, I'm in school right now. LMAO, also a new profile. Oh, nice, man. Okay, I'm just gonna kill this. I don't actually have stingers yet. And since they're on retaliate mode, I'm going to make the most of that. There's so many. I'm not actually retaliating correctly, though. I think they're bugged out, and I'm just kind of okay. Because they're gross and horrible creatures. I'm not going to grab it yet, to be honest. I'm going to have this world for an extremely long time, and if I can have that when they bring in the story mode, that'll be ideal. I'll grab that, though. Yes. I hope your day at school's going okay, dude. I'm just playing some Satisfactory today. A little change from the normal. I have this. We're going to definitely need to pop, pop these up. we we'll put 100 in each for now. I'll do. Okay. Probably going to need to harvest some more of those as well. Um, just pop some of this in here. Uh, oh, we can actually do the stinger stuff in alien organisms. That is that done. Oh, I have to go. All right, man. No worries. <laughs> yeah, have a nice day. And let's go ahead. Stinger protein then. Nice. I think I put some of these away. Let's have this, this, this. Okay. Let's make those into DNA capsules. I need three of these left. Lovely. Let's go and grab some cable. Like so. That will give us extra slots. Uh, where was it? Alien organisms? This one. Nice. 
gives us six more inventory slots again. Oh, here we go. Making progress. Uh, Criterion, I'm not doing anything with. Mycelia, uh, I've not done anything with. Can we make a load more of these? And one with that one as well. And then we can just make DNA capsules with those. Nice. What I should actually do I should leave this set up here. Put this next to it. Like so. Put that up to there. This up there. Grab that in there. Pop those into there. A little bit like that. It's going to use a little bit more, but we'll get a load of coupons for this. Hopefully six, I think. Oh no, five. Nope, six. Yeah, I thought so. Sweet. Uh, we're now going to turn that off. We're going to print that. As soon as we want to use this, we can. We can just turn it off when we don't need to use it. Which is quite handy, actually. Uh, so that's six more coupons. So with that, we should hopefully be able to... Would it be worth grabbing some asphalt? Probably not. Probably not that important. Architectural walls. Uh, could grab windows. No, I think I'd rather start getting these. Um, so can we grab... Double ramp and inverted ramp. And... And we'll keep the other coupon for now. Okay, we'll just put that in the chest for now. It's kind of okay. Uh, we can put that in the chest for now as well. Right, what have we got on screws then? Oh, look how fast we can get around. Ooh, boy! Let's go! Oh, perfect. We have enough. That is fantastic. Okay, now we've just got the long and tedious process of making a load of bits and bobs. Uh, reinforced time. Okay, should we do the rotors first, actually? There's only 50 of those. 113 more plates to make. So I'm going to sit back and I'll wait for these to craft up. And I'm going to enjoy my cup of tea. And I'm also going to refresh my phone. Basically, when I stream, guys, I leave my phone playing the stream in the background so that I can see if the quality is dipping out in and out or anything like that. And every now and then, for some reason, it just stops updating the chat. It's very annoying. There we go. That's better. Nice. 14 rotors to go, and then we're on the reinforced plates. One. Nice. And 13 of these, and then we've got coal power. Happy days. Then things are going to seriously start changing and getting organized. God, I cannot wait. process of manually crafting things. Things are going to seriously take a take an upward turn after after coal power is set up, guys. I promise. 
We've been playing for four hours and 13 minutes now, or, or, or probably near enough four hours with breaks and things like that and intro and whatever else. It's, um... It's mad how fast things change after you've got coal power. It's actually a little stupid. You seriously just start progressing through things. You, like, you don't need to spend time topping up fuel or anything like that. You're looking at your first factory being power. And then as soon as you've got that, like, like what I'm going to set up will give us 600 megawatts of power. And the world that I've got at the moment, sort of like outside of this one, um, I've managed to go the 40 hours in game with just that 600 megawatts, just underclocking things, overclocking things correctly and using the power, like stupidly efficient. Um, and you've literally, you've just got to start with picking a node, setting it out to produce like 60 plates per minute, 60 rods per minute. And you, 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 didn't, you never need to wait for anything sort of thing. Like you can just go up to your storage, top up what you need and then come back, job done. 23 left of these and we are good to go. It is just a lot more of a nicer process once you've got coal power. And the joy of it is we shouldn't need to get solid biofuel again. What we've got now should set us up nicely to just have coal power ready to go. Um, and then once that coal power plant is up and running, goodbye biomass forever. Um, and then the only other time you actually use biomass is when you're out exploring, trying to find hard drives. So we've actually got enough, but for some reason I've decided to make extra. So that's fun. Right, there we go. Unlock it, shall we? Goodbye. Milestone reached. Coal is an improved alternative power source to biomass and can be fully automated if provided water with the new pipeline buildings and power throughout the initial setup. Coal has been added to the resource scanner. Note, ensure the close proximity of water to the coal production line. Note, oh, I love that it flies up really close to the space anyway. through well. pipes. Note, throughput and volume indicators are added to each pipe section automatically. Alright, so we have now got some serious, serious things to be doing. First things first. Self-pat on the back. We have unlocked coal power. We've got an enormous X in that box. But it still does the same thing. Excellent. Okay, so I've cut. So, complete tier two of the hub. Okay. I'm not going to worry about this, and I'm not going to worry about this until we've got coal power. I want to start automating things, and I want to start getting into things really quickly. Um, if I'm going to get anything next, it's truthfully probably going to be the improved uh, melee combat. Um, and then after that, <sighs> advanced steel production would be really nice because you get the tier two miners. Um, but, that's like tier 4, and we've not even finished tier 2. This is why I want to finish tier 2, because it'll give us logistics mark 2, and it'll make tier 4 mark 2 miners feasible, effectively. And, and like, it, it would make sense to run it sort of thing. So these have got 152 biofuel in left, okay? Uh, they will take... Well, that's telling you saying it's at 100%. It's going to run through 4 per minute by the look of it at the moment. So it's going to last 15 seconds. So 170 times 15, 170 multiplied by 15 is 2550. 2550 divide 60 is 42.5 minutes. That's how long I'm giving us to get coal power up and running. 42.5 minutes. So, production. We've now got water extractors on this list as well. So let's add that. Now, so we've got miners in number three, water extractor then this power we've now got coal generators and these lovely little bits here uh whoops no that's one that's two that's three that's four that's five uh two and three uh logistics we've now got conveyor 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 four holes um so that is one two three 
That's now four. This is five. This is now six. Organization, we've got fluid buffer, that's fine. Foundations. Yeah, let's update this as well. That's one, that's two. This is now three. This is four. And walls, we have now got uh, three, four, five, door, six with the conveyor wall holes. And architecture. Number eight, the ladder. Excellent. Right, so we need to get some stuff sorted out. So, first things first, power, coal generators, we need eight. Okay, we're also going to need to go to production because we're going to need three, six water extractors as well. That is an unfortunate amount of crafting that we have to do. Could be worth automating those. Uh, okay, two assemblers, please. I don't want to be crafting those anymore. We need rotors. I think it's four per, is it? If we get eight of these. I know that we've got enough reinforced iron plates for them. Okay, nice. Uh, secondly, let's make sure that everything is running efficiently. Um, so can this run at 50% please? That's going to save us a lot of power. Can this make sure it's running at 50%? Lovely. How's power looking? It's looking good. Um, these should all be running at 100% any use. Uh, truthfully, uh, we're actually nearly done. So that's not a bad thing. Um, you only actually need to run 10 per minute which means it only needs 10 ingots per minute, which means that this can technically go... ...10 ingots per minute, 15 ingots per minute, that's only 25. This technically only needs to output 25, like so. Which technically means this one only needs to run 55. Parts per minute. Just saving even more power. You'll notice that by looking at this. Blue line's coming down. Technically, actually, back down to. Um, I don't think of the word. <laughs> yeah, screws are a major issue. You never have enough screws. This is running at 100%. Of course, it is. This only needs 45 per minute though. Means this miner could actually come back down to 45 per minute. That's actually full. Jeez. I think it was anyway. Um you only need to be outputting 45 per minute. That's saving 1.6 megawatts there. The longer we give ourselves, the better, because we need to craft an extortionately large amount of things. This is obviously also only ever going to run at 50%. So that's a thing. Uh, and can we just grab enough things to make some biomass right now? Just to show that that drops. That I've got enough. Excellent, let's just do that. Okay. And as soon as this has got it in its inventory, it'll update the power. Lovely, and that takes it down to 1.6. Now we're noticing we're only at 113. Uh, the copper situation, I think everything over here is actually running at 100%, to be fair. Um, truthfully, do we need that much wire? Probably not. Um, cable is also running quite nicely. Truthfully, we could probably just put these to 50%. Like we're never going to use that much cable. Let's put this to 50%, which means that only needs half. Just using 30 as well. This could also go to 50%. Using 15, so now we're at 45. Let's halve this. Just halving everything, basically. 
we're saving over half the power, but only making half as much stuff. That's at 50%. Which means we only need 30 in per minute. Which means that technically this can also go down to 50% as well. Oh, and that's a oh geez, okay, that can go to 25%. That's going to save us 3.8 megawatts. Sorry, 3.2 megawatts. Yeah, look at that. That's craziness. 92 max consumption. Ooh, saving some hella amounts of power here. Okay. So, what are we at over here now? <coughs> Pardon me. Technically, we only need four of these things, and one of them is only just running. There's only actually two of these things running at any one time. We could just do very quickly with testing exactly how long this takes. Go down, and let me just get a timer up on my on my phone to quick stopwatch. As soon as that goes. Okay. The so halfway is like here-ish, is it? Something like that? Something is still dipping in and out though, can you see that? We don't really want that. Halfway point. 18 seconds, give or take. Holy moly, we're gonna be saving some power. We're probably, we've probably actually just doubled how much time we have. Which is madness. I'm getting ready to stop the timer. There, okay. So 37 seconds, give or take, okay? So, so if we, even if we called it 35, 135 times 35, 55 times 35, 154, 154, 154, okay. Okay, can we just get them all up to 154? Can we just give this guy, uh, like, 19 more? Perfect. Okay, so 154 times 37, so 100... 154 multiplied by we'll, we'll just do 35 is 5390. Holy moly. 5390 divide 60. We've given ourselves Yeah, an hour and a half. <laughs> holy moly. Okay, that's that's fantastic. So we don't need to worry about that anymore. So we're gonna be able to still produce a lot of the main stuff fairly quick. Um whilst saving an in incredible amount of power and I guess that's the difference that's that's a classic example of how you can efficiently run the exact same stuff like yes we've lost cable production and wire production oh but honestly you don't use it that often you just don't use it that often and what we've now actually been able to do though is been able to make ourselves uh, we've got space over here to do this so we'll do it over here um, two of these to make iron plates five per minute we just need screws and iron plates and rotors again rods and screws so if we can grab ourselves screws and rods we'll just take all of those and right now can we just come off this one Hello, Mr. Bean. Ooh, bouncy, bouncy. <laughs> uh, they can just go there. I can go there. I can go there. Lovely. These guys have now got power. Uh, five per minute, and we need 220. So 220 divide five. It's going to take 44 minutes even still. Okay. Uh, but we need iron plates. We can just give it a full stack of iron plates and a full stack of screws. And that's gonna make what we can with that and then we need rods in this one and some screws in that one can we just top up the screws possibly we've got to make screws we've got to make screws it's gonna be what we run out of the most we've got so many plates right now it's unreal I'm wondering if it's even worth uh, adding in another line for what you call it um, rods in 
fact, we wouldn't need to. Because we can make the cast screw. Let's do that. 12.5 per minute. This is output in 30. 12.5. Um, 30 minus 12.5, what's that, 17.5? Coming out of a storage, anywho's. We can take this down to, um, the 50, 40, 2.5. Saving even more power. And the only other thing we need to do is connect that. Select the screw. Uh, grab this here. And just belt straight into there. And that'll give us 50 screws per minute, which is actually more than we're getting from the other machine. But we've actually just so slightly over doubled screws. Pretty much. Which is tidy. We've got. Both of these making those. They're going to use 25 every time they use a rotor. Like, you, you just need so many screws. It's not even funny. Actually, chaotic. Something we're going to do is make copper sheets. Um, we have enough wires, actually. 7.5 copper sheets, 10. Uh, let's just max this. 10 per minute is not much. That's using 20 per minute there. Um, you copper sheets, that's another 10 per minute. So we're making 20 per minute, which isn't exactly a great amount. We need 40. Uh, yeah, can't do that. I need to take that 75% that it's using 15 per minute. 75% 15 per minute. So we're actually only making 15 per minute. So this is going to go back to 100%. I think we need another 15 of these per minute coming in. So 45. Lovely job. For now, just to help with the buffer. And we just take two stacks of that, put it in the chest. So we are outputting 60 per minute instead, just to help fill up those spells. I'll be sound. Okay, that's gonna start us making copper sheets. Uh, we need cable, so we might as well just grab that, because we've got it already, like so. Uh, let's go and see what concrete we have available to us. Oh, whoops. Thousand. Um, yeah, that's a pretty good amount, to be fair. I don't know if it's going to be enough, but it is still a pretty good amount. Uh, the other thing I want to do as well, foundations, is can we change these to concrete variations? Like so. Now we want one, two, three. Perfect. Now when we make a foundation... Look, look at this. Excellent. And wait, have we unlocked the customizer? Oh, we have. Okay. Let's take this. We want the. Fascinating. There's normally a concrete there. Oh, it's there now. There we go. That's weird. Concrete foundation. I was white by default. I do that as well. Change it. Concrete primary. Concrete primary. Ha! Huh. So can you not make it even whiter? That'll be a no. Oh, that in white looks pretty sick. All right, that's pretty sweet. Okay, uh, that's fine then. That's that's as white as it gets. That's absolutely grand. 
Cool. Right. Fix it factory swatch. We leave it. Do we leave it orange or do we go a different color? I don't want to go a different color. I don't want to go. On brand. Zero zero six four nine six. Oh yes. And then can we go white? As the second. Mm -mm -mm, that is delicious. Yes, we have a blue and white factory. It is on brand with Inception Gaming. I love it. Uh, what if? Just um, I can't remember what the other hex code was. Three two something. Three two a f f f. Hmm, the light blue. Oh no, I kind of like the white. Or well, what if we had the dark blue on the bottom? And white on the top. Uh, I don't know. I don't think that's enough blue, is it? Okay. I'm going to reset it for now. I think we need to, to, to build some stuff and then decide what we want to do color-wise. I think that's definitely going to be the plan. So, uh, we were crafting some bits and bobs. What are we getting on? We ran out of plates. Fill it up. Keep it stocked up with the plates. Keep the screws coming in. Those coming in. The rods. Keep those coming in. Screws. Back to where we were. Nice. Yeah, I thought we'd be out of screws on this one. Pop up the rods of what we need here. We are going to need so many things. Get the screws going. <coughs> we just got to keep the screws coming in. Stay hydrated. Very important. It's me, 4.30. Where has the day gone? Plug that into... Okay, 200 screws. 25, 185, get in there. Keep them coming in. What's the expensive part here? Oh, that's, are they only used 10 reinforced plates each? They use 10 rotors, 20 plates. Oh, and that's where all the cable is as well. Yeah, okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, complete tier 2 in hub. Uh, before that, uh, we are very obviously set up coal power plant. Can be added to the list. 296, 337, 300. Oh, nice. Get in there as it spares. That top it up in there. Ten more there. Eight of those. I think the rotors are probably going to be the easier thing to make, aren't they? Of the two things. Sure. And three. 
Rods are dropping, screws are dropping again. Oh, jeez. Twenty-five screws for one rotor. The thing is, we could go exploring to try and find more of these things. This is definitely the quicker way to do it. I could set it up and let it crack on, or I could just help it make it uh, help it be made and make it manually. No, I don't need them. I don't. Screws there. 160 screws there. Ooh, eh, eh, eh. Put on rods. Yep, take those. Plates. Uh, yeah, we can take two stacks of them. There, nice. Didn't we can get the rotors made? And the faster the reinforced plates will be able to be made, because the rotors take more screws. And if we can dedicate more assemblers to making reinforced plates, better. So if we help it make rotors first, then it won't be too bad. We are dwindling in the number of things that we can currently make. This got the copper sheets. Yeah, nice. We've actually finished making copper sheets. Feels very quick. Six more of those. Five more of those. Just need screws. You just need screws. Probably put the quartz away. Really need that in our inventory right now. A lot of manual crafting, guys. The early game stages of Satisfactory. There's a lot of manual crafting. If you choose to. Like, we, we could just automate it and let it be and let it run. But then you've still got to wait for the time it takes to process all of these things. When you get, like, full-time factory set up, you obviously don't realize how much time you put into other factories and then obviously you're making more and more things much faster there that in there this one oh, man i'm crafting screws as fast as it's using them like that's mad we're nearly halfway on rotors I get to 200 and then I'll probably put these ones in the rotors first. Yeah, it's gonna take every single one of them and it needs more. <laughs> Good times. Feeding my machines with resources. Bring the mic closer. We've got this. That's another hundred. Okay, we're catching up. This one needs it now as well. Another ten. <coughs> Problem is, is that we're running out of rods to make more screws. Oh, it's just craziness. Okay, let's go. 
gonna take time. Uh, we don't actually need plates. We do need rods. And I know that we can go over to here. Yeah, it is still only making 10 per minute. It's only outputting 10 per minute. Might as well take the M63 and these 200. After that, we're pretty much finished on how many rods we can collect with, within the machines. Okay. Five of them, another four of those. We're just over halfway on the rotors. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Okay. Make eight? Yeah, let's do it. We can always start setting things up uh, cold power plant wise, but the problem is, is that I've not got anything to feed these machines. screws per minute. I'm not even making 100 screws per minute. We are genuinely in a deficit of screw production trying to make these these things. I need to be putting everything into rotors right now. Needs whatever that is. 59 rotors. Extremely long process, but when it's done, it is worth it. One hundred percent worth it. Yeah, okay, that's nine more. It leaves us with fifty left to get. It's nearly a third of a third left. Let's go and get what screws we've got. All of those. Ooh, hello. Don't know why we're doing that. Very inefficient way of doing things. Uh, this is going to look really messy, guys. I'm super, super sorry about this. It actually isn't messy. Why? Wow, that's quite surprising. Okay. This is now going to be cast screw. 12.5 per minute. Meaning... This one being set to 15 and this one... Okay, so this one actually only needs to be at 27. 7.5 per minute. I split it perfectly there. Screw it, let's put that to 30 per minute. The extra 2.5 so that this thing is running at full capacity, and that will be 100 per minute. Then. Let's go. And output 20 screws a time. Screws. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. We have made a substantially large amount of rotors now, though. I'm just going to make these to put them inside the assembler. them in there. 35 to go. Not long. Not long at all. Ooh. 
rather unfortunately, I think the nearest car was far away. It's gonna be up here, isn't it? Oh, there's actually a somewhere there. Oh. So it's not the stuff that's up there. Your, your, your. I'm sorry. Where's that? Six hundred meters. Oh. I don't think that's where I want to be. I am definitely going to check it out there. Let's get these rotors made. And then I might have to go and check out where those coal nodes are. Three pure nodes, that's a lot of power on three pure nodes. That's a lot of power on three pure nodes, holy moly. Yeah, these guys are doing okay. Three more. Three more. Check out what we've got over here. Yeah, it's going to be at 200 in there. 200 in here. 120. Take it. Rods. 93. Happy days. That was a roundabout way of getting back in. Yeah, let's top that up. Oh, we're so close. I, I'm sure I can taste the rotors at this point. I'm gonna make three. And then we'll be 20 away. Seventeen away. Oh, they're up there. Mm hmm. Fascinating. Seems daft not having a ramp up here. Okay. I'll have this, thank you very much. Okay. Oh. Difficult is it exactly going to be? To get up here. And to be fair, it could be made extremely pointless if there's no water up there. Thankfully, these guys are on retaliate because I could not be bothered to deal with these right now. Is that going to get us there? Oh, I don't think so. I think it's just short, isn't it?
Okay, so this is where it is. There's all kinds of... Oh... Oh, that's a nice amount of water. We could have a power plant up here. I see it happening. Yes, 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 indeed. Um, okay. Fascinating. I'm now curious. Are there any drop pods in the area? <gasps> there is! Oh, screws! What? That was not the image for computers. Motors, that's right. High speed connectors, that's not the image for those either. What? This game is bugged. Okay, very strange. Wire, okay, that's correct. Okay. It's fair enough. Open drop pod, it's 50 megawatts. <laughs> Doable. Power, please. Yes, I know it's not enough. Oh, yeah. Excellent. Uh, and we may as well get that in the mail. Hard drive, go. Okay. I was sort of hoping for other things. Oh, we're up here. Yeah, okay. Well, I can't, can't slide and jump here, I guess. Ooh, oh, no. Okay. I'm not seeing anything in uh, this area. It is definitely going to be worth getting um, power plant up here. Yeah, especially if there are three nodes. Where are they again? One... Oh, wait, what? Okay, I don't care about that one. That one? Oh. Oh, no, that's up there. We're not going to be able to get to that one. Pink forest area. Screw that! But three pure nodes all over there. Oh, shit. That is quite fascinating. There's a thing to explode there. Looking for more drop pods. Whilst we're over here this far. Uh, because... We get some rather advanced resources. Ooh! Look at that! Songs of Conquest boombox tape. Ha! <laughs> That's wicked! No way! we got anything drop pod wise down this way oh right there look at that get over there oh, there's a big dude right there a lot of big dudes right there there's a lot of hatches here but this is the joy of having the game on retaliate because I cannot be asked for dealing with things there's a lot of a lot of problems over here, isn't there? Seven steel pipes. Okay, we can't open it, but we can certainly see there is nothing in the area to loot either. Literally nothing. That's very sad. Okay, kind of okay to be fair. I don't want to go into the pink forest area because I think that will be a little bit cheaty like you can get some seriously high level stuff there and I just think there is a line with how much you should explore without using the game settings on default okay let's get back up here we need to go down and sort out what we have reinforced plate wise and motor wise sorry rotor wise not motor wise um, I do want to see if I can find one more drop pod. What's this? Oh, there's a cave right here. I'll oh, screw that. I feel there's going to be something 
stupendous in there. The yellow dude there. Don't really need, don't really need slug right now. To be Definitely don't want to drop down there. Not seeing anything. Oh wait, we can walk down there? Okay. Where does it take us out? Oh, it just takes us all the way down. Okay, yeah, we can't be asking to do that. Don't need to worry about that right now. Okay, I definitely think I'm gonna get my power plant up here though. For sure. Uh, we just need to run through here as fast as possible. Okay, we're sweet. Happy days. Okay, where am I? Okay, yeah, we're exploring in the right place. Excellent. We don't need the mesosphere. Okay. So the area that we're going to be building is around here somewhere, right? Okay, so right ahead of us are where them three nodes are. Oh my goodness, they're so close as well. And pure. Oh, man. The scope of expansion up in here. Jeez. Three pure nodes right close to each other like that. That is excellent. Okay. I haven't really gone over here, have I? Don't even know what's over here. A waterfall? Okay. Jump over here. Just a road. Oh, it's probably the official way up here. I would hazard a guess. A lot of aggro. Oh, it's... Literally just like a road up here. Okay. That's the way we came up just then. It's two limestone nodes. Three limestone nodes right there. What, um... Purity are we working with here? Normal. 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 Okay, that's quite good. That would allow us to get an extra 45 concrete per minute, something like that. Should open the gate for 60 per minute, which is quite cool. Alright, can utilize that. Concrete factory right there by the look of it. Okay. Okay, okay. Let's head back up here then. And yeah, there's a slug there. I'll take the blue one. It's not too bad. Okay, fine. So if that's where, uh, so this is where the bulk of the water is, but the coal is sort of pretty much all over there. Okay. So. F I think four. Um, I'm pretty sure it's four. Oh, we may as well go and get this blue slug as well. Uh, oh no, we can't get him. He's in an explodey, bloody thing. Uh, that's broken. You can still pick him up there. Uh -huh. Yep, fair. Grab that then. Maybe it's exploding that later on. Uh, oh, sulfur. It's the first glimpse of sulfur we've had. shows this as a mix of sulfide and sulfate minerals. It could be an indication of recent volcanic activity. A new research tree exploring volatile self-defense applications can now be accessed in the MAM. Jeez. Nice. Get the MAM down. Sulfur. Oh, we've got a minute 43 on that. Okay, fine. Okay, that kind of works out well to be fair. So there is actually a road that just comes up here. 
uh, which we could utilize quite nicely, I believe. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and start dismantling all of this when we're off it, not on it. Sliding on down. Okay. Because this is not the original way that we're going to be going up. Because that's super messy. There's another iron node there. No nodes up here, because I think this is all geothermal stuff. Uh, so... Go ahead and slide down here. Go ahead and sort out the rotors, and then we'll get these copper plant, uh, copper plant, uh, coal plant up and running. Get rid of that jankiness. And get rid of all of this as well. I just wanted to check what purity this was. As well. Pure. Flipping egg. This is a good place to start. Okay. Fine. Where are we up to? Uh, I'm guessing they've probably run out of screws knowing the assemblers. We've got 17. Oh, that puts us perfectly done on them puppies. Reinforced plates, please. You can have that and that. The man is done. Let's go and grab that and bolted frame or fine concrete. We don't want fine concrete, it's a waste. Uh, the bolted frame is probably going to be... Allows us to make five per minute. The 140 screws though, jeez. Yeah, we'll go with that. Uh, because I'm pretty sure it's better than the other recipe. Let's go frame. Yeah, that's two per minute and that's five per minute. One rod makes five screws, if I'm right. Four. Five into 20, and that's a one for one. So this is a one for one, but it skips the rods. So, 56 divide 12. Um, 56 divide 12. Oh, it is actually slightly more expensive on the screws. But it does allow you to make them faster. The same amount of these, you just need more per minute. Okay, okay. If we wanted to make 60 of these per minute, we would literally need 30 assemblers. But to make 60 of these per minute... We only need 12. I'd have to, I'd have to get my uh, spreadsheet out to have a look at which one of these is better. I don't actually remember which one is the better of the two. Because I think there's a third modular frame recipe that is better again, if I'm not mistaken. Um, right, that's when our screws. Let's see what we've got screws-wise. Oh, lovely. Plenty of them. Grab those as well. Let's grab some plates, since we're making a load of reinforced plates. Uh, we've actually got quite a lot on, on hand. If we can ditch... Um, computers, high-speed connectors, motors, and I think that is it for that. Uh, well, we just need to turn it on, I think. As soon as the computers go in. Oh, high-speed connectors are going in. High-speed connectors are pretty good. Yeah, there we go. Here come the computers. There we go. <laughs> That's ridiculous. <laughs> oh man, that is nuts. Cool, it's got us another four coupons, which is pretty sweet. And we can ditch them as well. Uh, power. 
nice. And uh, these have still got oh, only 61. Yeah, these uh, assemblers have absolutely railed our power consumption. Uh, plates and screws. And plates and screws. Lovely. That should make another load. Those. We've still got 70 odd of them. 63 to make, I think. That's what that is. And we need to do some research. Because we've got sulfur. We've got scannable resource sulfur. Nice. And it's black powder. Uh, but we need 50 sulfur, which we don't have. So. <coughs> Pardon me. And out of curiosity, where is the nearest sulfur node? Is it anywhere near us? Any, anywhere remotely close? No. <laughs> Where is it going to be? Is it going to be this one down here? Oh, it's... Oh, yeah, I know. I know what them two are. Yeah, okay. And the other one is way down here. Okay, fine. Nowhere near close, then. In that case, um, we, we just need to get these reinforced plates made, pretty much. And then we can start making our... Factory. Get cracking, shall we? We take it to 190. And then we'll see what the assemblers have got. And then at that point, we'll probably just stop them from making them, because it's an unnecessary amount of power. These reinforced iron plates and the screws, plates, the rods, just all of that really is sort of what the time consuming part of it is is just getting the resources you need to make it actually building it doesn't actually take that much time it's just a case of matching it up or just just marrying up everything nicely placing the foundations down getting everything sorted out getting the water extractors in etc right that's got us 10 there it's got us 11 so let's just disassemble this, disassemble this. Don't really need those anymore. Just don't need the power consumption going out, really. And reinforced iron plates. Oh, we've actually got enough. Well, that works well. Okay. Well, we can make more of these later on down the line. We're probably just going to use the one node because it'll save using the power for two lines. 260 lines, I mean. So if we can use one 120 line, that'll be literally ideal. But we just need 120 in. So we could actually get 1800 megawatts with those three pure nodes, and that's with a Mark 1 miner. We could then look to getting 3600 megawatts of power with Mark 2 miners, as long as we've got the space for the water extractors. As long as we can place them relatively efficiently, we're pretty much set. be fair and that's without them overclocked <laughs> okay so we've now got everything we need to make what we want now we just need to go and place it so we need some foundations which means we need an ungodly amount of concrete there's another 600 in here as well that is brilliant okay can't guarantee it's gonna be enough but we'll see so uh, I believe there's a road that just takes us literally perfectly up there I think it's off this, isn't it? It's up there. We can we? Yes, it is absolutely up there. It's this here, look. Can we get these? Uh, okay, let's come back a little bit more. We go there instead. Where is it? There it is. Let's just get ourselves up here. Like so. Uh, and then we'll just do this. We'll do this. We'll do this. And then we can just grab these like this or something. That'll be fine. Awesome stuff. So this is effectively our starter factory, guys. And let's go and get our first proper 
thing set up, I guess, which is just going to be up here. Pretty nice. And if we can have the main entrance off this road, that'll be even better, I think. Because we can use this to get up and down. We can get a, an explorer or something to get up and down a little bit quicker as well. There is a big smelly dude, but that's fine. We should just be able to walk up. No, no questions asked. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, sweet. We are going to need to probably go back and get some more copper sheets. Actually, I probably should have come with more. Um, and that is just for the pipes and everything else. Um. So where do we want the like actual entrance to be? Oh, it could run off this perfectly, couldn't it? Or probably. No, because we want it to go that way, really, don't we? Okay, I think the first thing I need to do is figure out exactly where I want things to be. Uh, oh, that's perfect. Okay. There, can we just put this there for a second? Okay. Okay, we might just need to go up quite harshly to start off with. Just grab these bushes out of the way. And then effectively that's just going to come over to here. Okay, we don't have to stick to the world grid either, by the way. A major problem if we don't. I might not. I kind of. Mm, we need the foundation to sort of really nicely run off of this. Like, that'll be tidy. That'll be alright. Okay. Uh, that's kind of in the way. If we're going to be coming up. Going to come up over this way. Yeah, okay. And then we're just going to head that way pretty much. Sound. And... Can actually make this work with the world grid. It's just going to be there instead. Then it's going out that way. Yeah. It's actually, a, it's actually a really nice smooth transition. Okay. So then, all we want to do is effectively go down. I like the, um, the four meter ones, personally. And if we can just go down like this, and then we need to get rid of this little iron thing. <coughs> Pardon me. Nice. Just chuck that. And. We go down again. Is that in the water? Oh, no, it's perfect. And this can just be two meter foundations uh, for this. So, okay, cool. And then effectively, we're just going to have this coming down here like so. If we was to have um, just like a road going out this way, like so, that out of the way. Cool. Here comes the moment of truth. Mm -mm -mm. Yes, we can. 
Okay, cool. In theory, uh, the first one is going to be... Crikey, let me think about how I want to do this. Uh... We've got this coming down there. Like so. That's going to go there. Now we're going to have this. Like so. Okay, nice. Uh, oh, you need to move. Get out of it, Bean! I don't want to have to kill you! Stop me from building, though, bro. It's gonna flop in a minute. I'm so sorry, man. You've got to die. How long does it take for you to die? Oh, what? Come on, surely. Surely. Oh, there we go. The flopping mechanics. No! Bounce. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's go ahead and... Uh, just default that to there for two seconds. There's every possibility that we'll use this as a walkway. And this as a walkway. Oh, for real, another one. Oh, for real, these damn beans, I tell you what. I'm trying to help you. Oh my goodness. <sighs> Guess we're killing another one. Jeez. Joys of live streaming. A video, I could just cut out this bullshit. <laughs> These dies quickly. Anytime. There we go. Okay. It's gonna go there. Uh, that's gonna go there. Lovely. And this is likely to expand all the way down for now. Uh, then, what we're probably gonna want to do. We don't really wanna take up too much water space here, actually, thinking about it. So. On the side ones, let's get rid of those. And them. Because we can probably quite genuinely afford to can you snap these up to this? I'm sure you can. Mm, apparently not. Is it these that you can snap them to? I know you can snap them to some these. Of course it's not deep enough? Oh, is it just there? Oh, it's because of that rock. Okay. Okay. So on this side then, I guess. Uh, and we can actually afford to go on this side, can't we? But let's get some of these puppies down. Okay, so go right up to here. Uh, or on this. 
like so. That'll be that one. And then there's this one. Uh, actually, after that, it won't really matter. Or that can go. That'll be okay. As long as we can reach it from the land. Yep, we can. Happy days and drop into place. Perfect. Lovely. Okay, so then there's this. This one will be able to go next to that. Uh, this one next to that. Source is not deep enough. Okay. Okay, fine. Whatever. We're going to run into this problem a lot today, do you reckon? Source not being deep enough. How much space do they need? Three by three? One, two, three. So then it'll be this one. Gonna be there and there. Okay. Is that in the middle of this? Oh yeah, okay, it is. Okay, the thing is, these ones can come over there. Um, so can we line it up with this? And can we get number four in there? Another one of these. Like there. Number five, if that was to be there. Oh yeah, that's never going to there, is it? Oh, auto 2D it works. Noodle. Okay, yeah, we can noodle it to there. Genuinely not that bad. Yeah, that's that's fine. Okay. Then we can get another one of these. Out uh, there. Uh, this is going to be in the way. I imagine. One, two, three. Money on it. Something's going to be in the way here. Wait, do you need three? Wait. Yeah, definitely. Oh, it's not in the way. Nice. Okay, so we get three of these set up. They can all just come down this main central column here. Uh, wait a minute. Actually, we don't want to do that. We don't want those to go there. They're going to go there. Like so. When we have more of these. Which means that actually, it is going to go here. And in that case... Straight up there. One's gonna go there. We do need this one lining up here. for where that goes there uh, well, as far as possible it'll actually mean we'll just be able to mount straight onto it from the rear <laughs> that's what she said okay so what that means is that when we do these oh whoops let me see that like so and we go from there to there but not the noodle, and we get the horizontal to vertical. <coughs> nice. Absolutely fantastic. Just curious. Yeah, okay, no, that's fine. I'm not bothered about that. Okay. So that is that then. Um, then we just need to get another one of these next door. I'm assuming we can't get one. Yeah, I don't think so. Get this set up. It's there. This is obviously going to go down to there. Lovely job. We can do the same thing here then. And in fact, what we can do is line it up 
there. Mm, nice. Always just jump onto the back of them like so. Get another one of these next door to that. Pipe. From there. I'd shape button. What? What? How does it have an invalid shape? Let's these down again. That's what the problem is. How does the pipe have an invalid shape? There's literally nothing wrong with what I've done with it. I'm very confused. How can it work over there, but it can't work over here? Infuriating. Auto, you, and the noodle setting. Unless we just noodle them all out. I just want them to be the same. I'm going to, use, I'm going to be using horizontal to 2D for literally the rest of it, so I might just noodle them out of these. And it does look better noodled, to be honest. So strange. Okay, cool. That's kind of fine. So that's those going to be done, and then we literally just need this one. Uh, we are stuck here though, resource not deep enough. How far do we have to go? There. Okay. Okay, we can go back on this one. I'd rather line it up with it without whatever. Oh, it's super duper close. Ooh. That is slightly a problem. There is no way on this green earth that we are getting that up to there. I just can't. I just can't do it like that. If I had three of these going into the one pipe, it would make a lot more sense. No way, I can't do that, can I? No, I didn't think so. Um, I've got to do it in twos, basically. Can I not just take these and extend them out this way? Oh, of course we can't do the fourth one, though. Oh, that's so annoying. Uh, okay. Right, what I'm learning is there is actually a very limited amount of space here. The only other alternative is... Hmm, that could work. Hang on then. Let's just not deselect. You crap. What was I doing? Because if it's super finicky on where we're doing stuff, I don't really want to be doing it. Um, okay. Oh, that one can go back. If we want to be utilizing as much of this space as physically possible, we are going to want to build away from the water where we can. If this has got the ability to go here, Nice and close. Building cannot be nudged. Of course, this building cannot be nudged. Okay. The 
Let's bring it as forward as we can then. That is as forward as we can do it. Okay. Get rid of that. Because what we can do further down the line is we can get um, pipe floor holes and we can just pump into to the, to the floor. Effectively. Uh, we can just line everything up with this one. And it's just going to mean floor actually is going to start here. Okay. One higher. So here. We're actually not dropping that much at all. Okay. Yeah, see this works okay. I can get by with this. Don't want to go there though, we would like to go here probably. And on the front, we would actually come here. And then that would actually come around it like so. But then I'd kind of rather it be centered around this as opposed to being so closely around that. So can we... Um, not entirely what I was thinking. Oh no, hang on. It's gonna go there. It's gonna go there. Let's delete that for a second. And can we have that there? Number four. Object clearance, something's clipping. Our player is in the way. Oh my bad. Go forward, can we bring it? Just there, as long as it doesn't come over the front of that. Ooh, okay, we could probably take it back a bit then, in that case. Yeah, let's take it back a bit. Let's take it back a bit. We don't really need it that close up, to be honest. Uh, like there. Yeah, see, that's quite cool. Okay, sweet. Nice, let's get rid of that. Uh, we can get rid of those now as well. And then effectively, we're just going to have this coming through the floor um, instead of coming up anywhere else. So all of this then, and all of this disappear. Quick. And can we have two meter? Like so. If we can't do anything with these anywhos. Oh, that's a shame. <coughs> so if the front is then going to be here. Uh, no reason why we don't bring that in closer. Bring this up. And go to there. This would effectively go here. It's going to effectively come down this way up here. And that is also the back of this section. So, can we position this one closer? Then, effectively, we're going to have it on these two. Possible. 
Ya. Yeah, that's better. Okay. Then we can take this over here. Go there. Clipping, but it's only soft clip, so it's not too bad. Uh, and effectively, actually, this wouldn't be there. So we'd have another one here next to that. Can we fit another one? <gasps> oh, we can. that up to here all right now we're talking so then hopefully what we can do is the exact same thing on the other side player is in the way of course there's a player in the way uh let me have a look at how close that one is actually that's relatively close okay Right there, is it? Something like that. So then the back of this one would actually go this way. Next to that. Oh, and another one next to that. Yes, let's go. This is coming together nicely. Where the frick did he come from? Oh, you can bugger off. Okay. Okay, this is a good sign. So, in theory... Wait, I've got tokens, right? <gasps> One. Oh, wait. Should we just do this whilst we're doing pipes? Kind of makes sense to me. Okay. So then in theory, all we need to do... Uh, floor hole. Right here. Right here. Here and here. Here and here. Okay, so then if I just jump down here super quick. Uh, can we have... Uh, can we actually get... Some foundations down here just so I can just work. Okay. And in theory, we should just be able to have these running in strips. Like so. And where it goes from here, I don't really care. Okay, so, in theory, these can just be clean pipes. They don't need to be any particular pipe. Can we... Okay, is there a cost difference? Uh, not that one, that one? No, I don't think there is. Okay, we'll just use clean pipes. Noodle. Horizontal to vertical. Auto and whatever that is. Kinda like noodle. It's just a nicer curve. It's just a much nicer curve. Excellent. Okay, so that should sort them. Okay. Then all we need to do is pipe these where they need to be. And th oh, you know what the hard part is going to be is having six of these pipes going in the correct direction. Because at the moment, I don't know where I'm sending them because I don't know where the power plant's going to be. I feel like the power plant needs to be above this. Right. Surely. So if this is just going to be at this level, why not 
uh, do it in a way where we can make like a garage or something. And this is the downstairs area. Get rid of this rubbish. Lovely. And let's just put that one Okay. So. Let's say that is going to be there. What if this. went this way. Be comfortably above them. <coughs> Pardon me, guys. Does that work? It works perfectly. Okay. Good stuff. So if we're going to do that, uh, we can go ahead and fill these in. Oh no, actually, we don't know where the next set of power is. But oh, that's fine. We ran out of power on the other thing. That's okay. We're currently still figuring out this power plant. So then in theory, we're then going to need the coal to come up here at some point. Um, so let's just zoop this over this way. This is where the zooping comes in handy. Excellent. was just there. Okay, so we always work from the entrance. So, where is the entrance? Yeah. Okay. Um, that is where the entrance is going to be. We're going to want to know exactly where the edge of it is going to be. Lovely. And then effectively, if that is going to be the edge of what we're after, and the water is only ever going to go back this way. If that's the case, if we can have the back of these lined up on this line here. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, oh yes. Eight. Okay, so like that. Now I like the spacing them out to be honest. It's just my opinion. They look really nice when they're spaced out. Okay. So then we've technically just got to line everything up and marry up the water to the coal. This will effectively allow me to continue replicating as needed. So this would then go here, meaning that there is a lovely amount of space at the front here for our second row. So if we wanted to take it to 16, then we can. We wanted to take it to 32, we just extend over and carry on going, basically. We just take out trees as and when needed. So, let's go ahead. These are going to be coming through the floor. Can it go as steep as that? Oh, yeah, we can just noodle it. Straight in, perfectly 90 degrees. So that's the way we're doing it. So, 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 like so. Perfect. 
no indicator. All the pipe work can be done anywhere else. Not my problem. Lovely. And in fact, oh my god, we can literally just have it like that. That's so clean. Okay, so let's do that for the items as well then. is so smart okay sweet um then i guess what we want to do here is put it to wherever it's central mark is which on these is going to be like so So, and then we can just join these up. Okay. No production, no consumption. So everything else we need to do now is pretty much done on the lower floor. All done right here. Uh, thought. Oh, we got... Ah, oh, yeah, we can just do it like that. <coughs> How much space do we have uh, above these things? Like, could I take... Uh, sorry, that. Uh, not really. Okay, but we can go in and out in between them. Okay. So, we've got... Oh, all of these are running at 50% um, below. Oh, you can't copy and paste water configurations? Okay, fair enough. Okay. And then... Set there. Set here. Just to help with the power consumption. Wait, do we have... Oh, we don't have belt things on the ceiling. Yeah. Thought we did. No, we don't. We need literally a single ticket for that, though. Not out of the realms of possibility. Um, let's go ahead and... Okay. Let's leave it there for a second. I'm going to go ahead and grab myself a little five-minute uh, break here, guys. Uh, stretch my legs stand up for a little bit and um we will be back to sort out the rest of this power plant so uh don't go anywhere we'll be back very quickly leave a little note for anyone who wants to join in actually um uh stretching legs the rb all right nice one all right guys catch you in a second
Right, and we are back. Thank you very much for that, guys. A very well-needed stretch of the legs. Hmm. Got myself a fresh drink as well. So, second break done, third part of the stream, let's go. Right, so I've had a very quick think whilst I was on my break. I think I might raise the floor. I think it's going to be too helpful to raise the floor. Um, let's just very quickly look at something, right? So if this was to go from here, straight up, let's get a line up for where we need to be actually on this. Uh, wall support, I think it's that one, is it? Yeah, okay. So right above this is this space here. We would have to go to this way for it to line up well, okay? Horizontal to vertical at this stage. Actually, it's not that bad. How are we going to get more of them? Like, it needs to be able to be a fairly tight-knit system. And... I think without the likes of um, the stackable conveyors, it's going to be relatively difficult to do. So, that's as close as they can get, like so. And that's three of them next to each other. We would need the other three to disappear off a different direction, because these don't stack. We can get four, five. So unless we did it where we've got six of these puppies, I mean, literally next to each other. The last one would have to go here. And the thing is, we've got all of those to account for as well. Yeah, it's just going to be a nightmare, isn't it? Unless what we do, the first thing that we do, is bring these down and um, onto the floor. That's there, we don't need it. Um, so, as illustrated, uh, where would we have to take it down to? Literally right there. Oh, shoot. Uh, if that was in line there, it would be here, I think. Oh no, one more forwards. My bad. So it would be there. Then that's coming down to here, horizontal to vertical, it's got a nice little thing on it. Uh, I don't know about the gauge on that. Actually, it could be helpful because it's going to be telling us how high the headlift is going. We can also extend this out. I don't know why I haven't done that. That's going to be space that's too handy for the likes of like, balancing. So we could actually do that. That's genuinely not a bad idea so let's do that to start with so the next one is going to be here uh, and I think it's there right yep then here here and That's where all of these pipes are going to have to come to. So, that is... Okay, that's not too bad because... Oh no, because we need to balance the pipes before we actually... ...do anything with the pipes properly, unless all the pipes go the other way. So unless all the pipes come towards the center... ...which would be okay. And then they've just got to come up over this way. And then they can just come behind wherever they're supposed to go. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at this out. Let's take this one down to this one. Oh, any copper sheets. Okay, yeah, I knew I was going to need those, actually. So let's go and grab those. That's on me. To grab 
two stacks. 400 copper sheets. Yeah, that'll be plenty, won't it? We don't actually have that many to put in, really. Sweet. Back to the old base, then. The OG base. It's gonna look really cool up there, though, once we've got it sorted. Let's scooch past this dude. Never know that we've been past him. Nice. And then hopefully we can just take the power that we're going to produce from up there, which is going to be 600 megawatts, and just take it all the way down here. And then we can hopefully power the entire base off this and then start automating things permanently. We've run out of power here, which is kind of okay because we don't really have the need for it. Uh, we'll take the 177 as well, why not? Um, we've got a half decent amount of plates there, to be honest. I don't think I'll need much of anything else. Uh, concrete, actually. I've only got 52. I imagine I'm 100% going to need more of that. Okay, that's literally all we've got. Okay, fine. Um, we could... I don't think I've got anything in there. No, eight. Yeah, we'll leave it. We're literally about to set up coal power. Can't imagine we're going to need much more of anything else. I don't even think we're going to need that much more concrete, to be honest, so we should be fine. Even on that. Even on that front. Okay. We'll get there eventually. All power will be set up. like slide and jump obviously we'll have like foundations and things set up for that so we'll get probably popped up on pillars I imagine somehow we'll make it look tidy tidying up and the beautification process is just probably going to come much much later in the in the series oh come on I should have totally been able to slide there You know what? It is mega close, though, isn't it? Mm. Like, we can't utilize the space above these because the door is too low. That is that is literally our problem. Oh, I moved it. I'm going to move it, guys. It's shifting. Of all of those. Whole floor has got to move. All going. Oh, it got rid of them as well. That's somewhat handy. Okay. I think they can go as well, to be completely honest with you. And that one. And that one. Okay. this Ooh. and all of that and we'll only build the spaces that we need I guess um, let's just take this off let's build this up again we'll just go up literally this space here literally the only thing that's moving one two meter gap higher In fact, you know what? We're probably worth better off checking. If I was to bring this out to wherever this is. Ah, yeah, it's just as well we're moving up as well then. Okay, sweet. Well, that's going to work out well. Okay. And... Two meter foundations. Zoop. 
And let's just go that way. And let's just go that way so we know where the end is. Nice. Okay. So this is actually the end of the that one. I feel like it's going to be much more helpful. Build up all of this. Oh, whoops. Okay, sweet. And we'll just bring this out as well. Just a little bit. Okay. Um, so we're going to be coming in is going to be here this this is what i want completely spare and then in theory we should be able to have one of these oh, no not that way um yeah on the halfway point i think should be fine or alternatively uh oh my god no way that's actually perfect isn't it that goes there doesn't it and if that's it's not clicking it would actually be like that but I don't like that as much oh yeah it does click okay that would be there which would mean that when we get the railings in yes that's going to be perfect okay so that's going to be, be where we want that, which means that this is going to be the next walkway then. Which means that I would then want that one there. This one can now go. Just put in this. Ah, yes, perfect. Okay. And then we just want to line it up with these. And there, so it's two, three, four, five. Six, seven, nope, eight. Lovely. These are then going to go in here, here. Right, yeah, yeah that's right. Like so. Floor holes. Okay, and then we get the pipes in. Clicking. Wait, oh, yeah, I know it's definitely lined up. I'm not gonna have any problems. Excellent. Okay, so that is perfect. That's nothing to worry about anymore. Any other thing we need to get set up here now is these little bits. Set up on all of these. Like so, and then the power lines. So, excellent. We don't actually need these last two in, do we? Let's check. Or inevitably. 
Let's get rid of them. Nice. Um, and technically, I don't need anything past these for a while. So I'll save the concrete just in case I need the concrete for something else. All of that can go. And okay, cool. Right, so that is the upstairs technically done for the coal power. Let's go back downstairs and see if we can sort out the logistics. Of it. And this area here, I'm probably going to change the entrance and everything else. Uh, we'll get to that later on. The, power, the, uh, the space above that now is way better. And what it means is we'll be able to load balance things. We've got these ones set to come up here. Is it not going to make more sense to just line up the six of these with those a little bit easier? Probably. Or we'll have to... Uh, yeah, we'll always have the space. Mm -hmm. Okay. I suppose the other thing to remember that these are going to be encased, right? So, like, if this is going to come to there, that's on the outside of it, though, so that doesn't really make a difference edgewise. To... Okay, so we need... just don't know how to do the logistics of this with it being on the ceiling. Um, we need to sort out these pipes. They're basically married up in twos, right? So there's 100% there, 100% there, 100% there. But all we actually... Oh my god, I'm an absolute idiot. There's only going to be three pipes coming out of this. One there, one there, and one there, because um, one. you're effectively going to have this here, this here. Here. Each of these is only pumping out 60, which is technically 120. That's just going to do that. Or actually, is it? And we're not going to want it to do... Oh, we can't do that. That's sort of kind of a shame. Noodle that. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. okay. I've got a plan. I have a plan, guys. I've got this. Got this in the bag. So let's have the same thing. So we just need to make sure... These three items here merge. I'm sorry, what? Into three pipes. Okay, just nice clean pipes. Nothing fancy going on just yet, right? I mean, the ideal world is we would just have these merged into two and then we just divide them into two nice and easily. But unfortunately, 6, 12, 18. Wait, can we actually do that? 6, 12, 18. 
these pipes can carry three hunt. Oh my god, I'm an absolute idiot. I don't even need a middle one. I am an absolute child. Where you can literally. Oh my goodness. Um, can I get onto these pipes? Ah, nice. Absolute idiot. I'm an absolute idiot. We're only outputting 60 each. Which means that I can just have two pipes like this. And they can just join into the pipe. that do we get a marker on that no we don't okay that's fine can we put a pump on that oh shut up we actually can and if that can be facing yeah that way <coughs> okay where we're going to have headlift problems, I have no idea just yet. I'll just run up into these. Totally forgot that we could just merge pipes. I was, I was thinking of bringing six lines of 60 this whole time. I'm an idiot. So if we can just do that, that's going to run up perfectly like so. And actually... We could then run this on the ceiling. We could actually just get rid of this, get rid of that, get rid of this, get rid of that. Let's just get rid of this and that, and then this and that, this and that. Because this can just come to like there, this can just come to like there. Okay. No indicators for now, until I know where I want them. You, 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 and you can go. You, 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 you can go. I'm this entirely on purpose because I want to be able to just have these. These corner pieces. Ah, clean. Perfect. Oh, oh dear. Okay, let's just pop that on there like that. Okay. Then... With this going up like so, that's just going to come up like that, right? Yeah, perfect. That's going to come up like that, and then that is just going to come up like that. Now, can we get markers on these ones? No. Okay. Even blank. And we've got one, two, three, four that the first one is going to service, and then we've got the other however many that the other one's going to serve us, okay? So then this one's going to run in parallel to these, effectively. And I need this last one to be here. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, that works fine, okay? And then pretty much um, there is where we get to have uh, that's where it's coming from we can have it there and then we just need it there and that is where that splits off this just needs to join to that one this just needs to join to that one this just needs to join to that one okay like so i don't know why it's done that No indicators on any of those, just for a moment. So then, making sure that the other one can run down nicely, we're just going to have this here. And we're going to have this here. Because these next few are going to be one here. Uh, it doesn't even have to be there. To be there. So, and like so. 
that's just going to come up to there. That's just going to go to there. That one's there. Uh, can we then... Oh no, that's just going to run in a straight line to there. Get rid of all the markers. Get it nice and clean. Okay. It's going to run to here. Uh, we don't actually need that one in there. In fairness. That can literally just run all the way down to that one. Uh, although I do want something before that. So let's have that go into there instead, and then that one to there. Then we just need to take this. That to there-ish. Like there-ish. And like there, I think. Somewhere near there. Yeah, that should be fine. Grab that, take it into that, grab that, take it into that, grab that, take it into that. Oh, this is going to look so nice. Okay, uh, we've then just got the same thing up here. Ooh. Oh, wait, can we do that anyway? Oh, no, we're too close anyway. Ah, oh, frick. Okay, okay. Oops. Uh, well, that's going to have to move then. And we're going to need to line it up with... Okay, I, I know what I'll do, I know what I'll do. Okay. All of this has just got to go, though. That's sad. I'll restart all of that again and line it back up properly. Uh, then can we just grab these? All of them. And then all of these. They can go. And then these. Okay. Right, try that again. An idiot. Uh, we want the wall support. Okay, so we'll line it up with this one. This will be the first one we line up. So we'll go and grab that one there. And the rest of them need to line up with that for the first four. So then there's going to be this one going there. And this one's going to go the other way. And then that one's going to go there as well. And then the remaining amount need to go on that line there. We're going to have one here, one here one here and one here then that can come up to there uh, no, that one no, what's going on oh, there we go, I had the wrong thing selected that's on me there there then on the other side that one to there that into that one, that into that one, that up to there, then junction, there, this is then going to go into here, and that feeds first four, like so, this, what, what is, what is colliding there? Oh, I bet it's this. I bet it's on the water extractor, isn't it? I don't want to do that, though. That looks terrible. Oh, you're kidding, man. Oh, you are having a laugh. I bet it absolutely is that as well. It's all okay until it gets to here. Got to be these. Oh, you're mad right now. Yeah, it is that. Okay, can we put it in now? No. Ah, ah yeah, kidding. <coughs> Why does it not like those? Mm, okay. That kind of stinks. Oh, wait, hang on a minute. Let's just try that one more time. Oh, yeah, it's definitely not because I'm in the way. I am now in the way. I'm now not in the way. Oh, that's so sad. Oh, 
How can we get around it? I mean, I suppose we can just pipe that to there. Like, not the end of the world. And if there's a junction piece in there, in reality, that would probably be what you would do anyway. Okay, let's put that back in there then. And then let's grab you. Uh, do we, I think I noodled them up to there, right? Yeah. Yeah, I did, yeah. Okay, fine. So that's, okay, that's, that's okay. But that's only three. Hang on a minute. Am I fucked up here? Yeah, I have been. But I did. That's got to go to there. That's got to go to there. Oh, no. Oh, no, we've got the same problem. Ah! Oh, it's all sad. It was okay before because we were further forwards. If we were literally one clip over. Right, hang on a minute. Let me just test something here. Oh, sugar. Oh, I can just jump up. That's fine. If I was literally one clip over, would it work? No. I'm an idiot. I can just come on the other side of the bloody pipe. I'm making this work. I don't care what happens. I'm making this damn thing work. Or I want it to. It kind of makes sense to not be above them anyway, right? I've got all of this space here to just mess around with however I like. And I could get it completely perfect. And I've just neglected that I've got the space. I'm an idiot. Right. Third time lucky. We're going to come all the way out. To wherever the pipe is, I suppose. Let's get this side sorted first. You have to be more than two away for it to work. So if we just naturally go four away to start off with, it's going to go to there, and that's going to go to there. And then this one is going to go to here. The joy of these is that they can literally just come down right there because it's, oh, it's going to be perfect. Long term, they're going to be on the roof, um, just probably slightly lower than the pipes because they don't really have the option to do it any other way, I don't think. Um, that can go... Oh, wait. Uh, okay, we're doing it. Go around. I'm not noodling it, though. What the hell? Organize. Jeez. Oh, okay. It's just... Being weird on me at the minute. Okay, there we go. Then that one. What? No. Thank you. Perhaps are being very uncooperative. One into there. That one into there. That one into there. Oh, you can fuck yourself. Why is this not working? Are you kidding? Neither one of them is working. to contact with? Am I being an absolute idiot? Right, hang on a minute. What is the problem? Is it the extractors or is it something else? I'm literally, I'm just going to plonk this right here. I'm going to plonk that right there. Right, that doesn't like it because I'll imagine it's going to be the, the oh yeah 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 red frame around the bottom of the extractor. There. Okay, we need to figure out where that red frame is when we're trying to do it up here. Oh, it is the extractors. Oh hello, you had a good day. Oh so oh dear. <laughs> I put a tea bag in. So oh, you got a gin. Okay, fair enough. That's one of them days. <laughs> yeah, uh, something I've totally forgotten about is that that is actually coming to the edge of that. So where we are, it will never work. Okay, at least we know what the problem is. Am I hungry? Um, oh, I'll eat whenever, I don't, I don't really think I'm in a rush. You just pop it on whenever you want to pop it on if you want. 
Right, so... Okay. Grab our wall supports. So now that we know that we have to come past this point... Just gotta start in the middle. <laughs> we'll get there. That one can go there. That one can go there. That one there. That one there. Pipe. There. This one. There. This one. There. This one to the last one. This one into there. Ha <laughs> ha! Yes! We've done it. Bloody time. And then this one up here. So the problem was we were still in the box because because obviously these squares aren't the edge of it. Then them down there is the edge of it. So that was actually just me having an absolute bell end moment. That can go to there comfortably. That can go to there comfortably, and everybody is happy. Look at that. This can come up to. Oh, whoops! Hang on. Uh, let's get that in there. And then that one down to there. Ah, and we're plumbing. Plumbing is plugged in. Good. Now we just need to get part two of this entire fiasco there. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. Oh. Fog it. That one would have to go... past there, but then out to the exact same place. Okay, no, no, no. It's fine. What I've done is okay. That can go there. That can go there. That can go there. And that can go there. Okay, and then slightly rinse and repeat. I'm just going to take that to there. That one's going to go to there. That one to there. That one to there. We're just going to take these. Rotate. Plonk it there. Plonk it there. Plonk it there. That into that one. That into that one. Nice and easy. That into that one. Right, then we just need to grab this. Uh, and we need to figure out exactly where that's going to be running. Technically, it can run here. Is that from there to there? It's absolutely fine. Lovely. Then this is going to come all the way across. We just have that. There we go. Uh, where are we? On the line. That's going to come all the way across past all of these intakes to here. It will then turn. Wait. Oh shit, I've gone too far. Uh, we want to go to this one. How about there? It will then come to here, turn, come up this way, turn, to there. Oh my god, we are so close. And he's done it! All right, let's go. Oh my god, that was way too complicated to work from what it needed to be. But how nice does it look? Oh, it's satisfying. Satisfying, satisfactory. This is what we've done. Awesome, and it's all nicely in a line. It's all grouped up together perfectly. Now we just need to get the items in. So, coal. This is where it gets fun. It's going to come in from over there. And... Effectively, we don't really need these four, uh, to be honest. It's long term, it's going to be on the roof. Um, it's going to be at that height. I think that's the height we would need it at. Long term, it's going to be there. Question. Oh, it's just out, look. I don't know if we'd be able to get it around that, so we'll have to figure that out when we get to it, I think. For now, these are literally just going to come down here. It's going to look a little bit messy on the item front, just because I haven't actually got the correct things to build what I need to build. So these are just going to come down like so. These can soft clear. It's absolutely fine. And these are just going to come down like this for now. Then we're basically going to have one... 120 line running perpendicular to all of this. I'm 
I'm pretty sure we're going to need a belt in between all of this. In fact, you know what? Just to make sure that we can see what the crack is and we get rid of these. Let's start from down here. If we can, I would much prefer... Firstly, that they broke up into groups of 40 lines, uh, 60 lines. If this was going to be here, that would be there. You're then technically going to have... Um, wrong resources stuck to these. Get rid of all the new notifications. Like so. Okay, right. Um, one, two, three, four, five, and six. And that number six is going to be right there. We're then going to have... Oh, I've not even unlocked. I haven't unlocked lock Mark II belts. What an absolute wanker. So, this is going to be a 60 line coming out of here. Right there. And then the 30 line going to go right there and then that is going to be a line of 15 and this is going to be a line of 15 okay then so that's 30 going into that there's 30 then coming this way where it will run into this like so that'll be a 15 line this will be a 15 line temporarily all of this will be on the ceiling uh, somewhere. I don't know where, <laughs> but it'll be up there somewhere. Uh, we're obviously going to need a belt in between that, and this is going to be a 60 line here as well. We're then going to have a 60 line running way over here. Uh, and that needs to be level with this, so that I don't forget where everything is. There's then going to be a splitter coming into that, and a splitter coming into that. That is going to come all the way down here into there. Belt there. Uh, that is going to split off and go into there. 60 line. No, no, Yave, where are you going? Sorry, 15 line, 15 line. And then a 15 line. And a 50, and a 15 line there. So instead of having the daisy chain set up where you've got incre like the, you get the gradual fill up of coal and then the last two are the ones that it's spreading it evenly between it's just going to take 120 coal in split that 60-60 in these splitters it's splitting it 30-30 and then in these splitters it's splitting it 15-15 so there's four of these it makes sense because we need eight lines With that should work perfectly. Which would. We need to unlock Mark II Logistics, which I cannot for the life of me believe I haven't done yet. Um, then the rest of it is pretty much ready to rock and roll. We may as well go and grab our miner. Um, just need the one. We've got the ability to triple and then double the output later on in the game, so we've got lots of power here. Or lots of scope for power, and it's just that small of a process and next to stuff. This is a pure node of coal that's just going to come uh, perfectly towards that. Get to that way, somewhere near. That's not bad. If I get the Mark 1 line in, oh, if only. <laughs> okay, in that case, then can we? Can we? Um, where does it take to to start? That's where it's perfectly in line, isn't it? And that's level, and that genuinely reaches to there. Okay, we'll tidy this up in time, uh, but for now that will do for what I need. Okay. 
And then we need to hook up where the power from upstairs is going to be coming from to go to downstairs. Which is probably going to be on an exterior wall somewhere. So if we can have... Uh, I'm trying to think about where the power switches are for these things. These ones are all on the... Ooh, no, they're on the side. So we're probably just going to want on the roof again, right? Um, I don't know what happened to the lighting there. That's weird. So what if we took the power directly above where it was? Is it somewhere near? Oh, can we come out by one? There. That is perfectly up. And it does take it back up so slightly, but that's okay. It was either one or the other. That's absolutely fine. Okay. Uh, so it's actually perfectly in the middle of the square. Kind of ready. I guess I'm just going to have to come down here to do these. Otherwise, that one's going to go there. In the middle of that square. This one is going to go into the middle of that square. These can then hook up together. Perfect. Out of the way. Nice and easy. That's a smart tidy. You are going to be there. Get up to you, which is going to be there. To you, which is going to be in that one. We're going to go to there. We're going to go to there. And we're going to hook it up at the back. From there. Can we do it? Absolutely not. Miles away from each other. Oh, yeah, we probably can't go over the pipes, can we? I don't know what the situation is with how high those pipes are, actually. Oh, would a power cable work between there? Yeah, I'm just going to put this in for testing. Oh, it kind of touches. It doesn't touch, though. It doesn't actually touch. I still don't know if I like that. I'd rather just come behind the pipes, actually. Oh, yeah, wait. What, what an idiot. I can just do these two. Hmm. There we go. Right, get rid of that one. Problem solved. Sweet. So we'll just hook up the power in the central area. Like so. Ah, oh, happy days. Okay. Then the power that's coming out, where is the lineup for that? That is over there. Ah, uh, yeah, we can make that work. Let me just jump up here. Oops. There you get there yeah, properly. Okay. Uh, oh, wait, no, what an idiot. I need to go ahead and see where the wall at the bottom would be. Just zoop this along to here and get rid of those. Let's just zoop that along to here. Get rid of all this. Oops. And that one. Okay. So the wall for these would technically be there. Technically falls halfway on that a bit. range. What if it was up there? Where does it fall? It falls to the bottom of that. Uh, that's kind of okay. Not really the end of the world. That's where the wall goes anyway. We can just get rid of that for two seconds. Let's get rid of that. It's actually quite nice that it does go to the bottom of that because. We won't be able to add doors down here, per se, but we, we'll be able to board the bottom of the foundations nicely. Okay, fine. Fine, 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 fine. Um, this is then going to go up to there temporarily. Uh, and effectively, that power is going to need to go... Uh, I always like my power to be on third. Uh, so let's default that to there. Uh, that's technically going to go through there. So that would come down to here. We're then going to need to drop down a level. Number five. Where are we at? Uh, we can just take it to there. Okay. Take that onto the roof. Oh, we're going to go down. 
that onto the roof straight away. And then it's just a case of getting over to there uh, tidily. That can go there, and then that can just hook up into that one, and that one into that one. Nice. I'm not a fan of having lines that aren't straight. So can we take this? Over to there, and then that down to there. Very nice. Very, very nice. Okay, so that should... Oh, shit. Uh, that should then go and connect up that. Okay, so that now should be a fully connected system. The only thing we haven't connected is the coal mine. Uh, coal miner, rather. That should now be saying exactly what we're going to be taking. That's 120 megawatts. It's going to be less than that, though, because each one of those water extractors is running at 50% um, efficiency. Should be significantly less than that. Uh, the only other thing we need to do here is put these walls in. Oh, bugger. Hang on a minute. No, that can't go there. Oh, it won't be going there anyway, will it? It won't be going there anyway. Um, let's just jump down here for a second, because technically the wall's going to be going from there down to there. And it'll be on the roof, so it'll actually be going in on that one at that level which is one and a half above where it should be, meaning that this oh, is pretty much, pretty much level. The level of satisfying on this. Just slide through that cool stuff. Uh, and for now, I guess that's just going to have to be a bay lift. Ooh, we don't like that. They lift going that way. That's absolutely fine. Cool. Um, we can get this set up. And we can get four of them on the go for now. Uh, we do just need to grab power. Um, let's zoop that across to here along with these. Oh, that's actually right. Yeah, let me take that across there. Lovely. And then these two just to finish off the gaps. Nice. And all we want to do here, then, is take that to there. Uh, we need to find out how far we can go down this wall. Uh, can we reach that wall? Yeah, we actually can. Nice and easy. So we want that to go here. That to go there. I always like it when you've got a nice corner connection like that. Was it quite cool, in my opinion? It's going to go to there. This is going to travel all the way over to here. And then that is going to hook up to... Or a minor. Like so. That should now be connected to the system. 125 megawatts. Perfect. I'll be outputting 120. <clears throat> it can only transfer a certain amount at the moment. Oh, wait. Uh, can we actually drop that down straight into the conveyor? The vertical conveyor. Yes, nice. Seamless connections. Oh, I missed. Cool. All right, for now then, we just need to go and sort out upgrading to Mark II Logistics. Um, and then once we've done that, we can actually look at getting the coal power plant up and running and operational, most importantly. a lot of decoration to do here. I'm not too concerned with how all this looks right now. That can go up to there. 
and from there that can come down there for now cool oh that is super close isn't it okay that's kind of fine yeah so i might like bring this higher we'll see that's the decoration stages of the game we're not even at that yet so that's okay all right then let's go ahead and see what we can do about logistics mark 2 down we go I'm gonna multitask here So close. Oh, I love that you can see it. <coughs> Pardon me. Okay. Everything is on a complete standstill at the moment. Something I will do either way is on the way back up, I'll go ahead and take power connections all the way up to it. Um, we have definitely got enough resources to do that as well. Right, Logistics Mark 2 then. How do we get there? Oh, of course we need reinforcing plates. Uh, concrete. Rods, plates. I don't know how many of these I've got. Oh, that's plates. Ooh, okay. Not bad. Uh, I know that we don't have any more concrete. What else do we need? Reinforced plates? What is that, screws? Oh, we'll have loads of those. Oh, yes. That means we can make the plates. Reinforced plates. Yes. Okay, right. Let's get 30 of them. Happy days. Fantastic. Oh, we've been streaming for coming up seven hours. That is absolutely unbelievable. I don't think I've ever streamed for so long. And it's only five to seven. Goodness me. We've got a lot done today. The fact that we've managed, managed to get a coal power plant set up uh, in one day is nice. I'm quite happy with that, to be fair. And in quite a relatively difficult to reach area as well. Like, it's not exactly advertised as easy to reach. Um, that's the plates done. Uh, we just need the rods. Yes. Let's go. Milestone reached. Improved versions of conveyor belts and conveyor lifts are now accessible. To encourage additional nice. verticality, conveyor poles now have a stackable variant. This is kind of what I need. If we can get one ticket. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, oh he's done it. Oh, he's done it. Oh, yeah, wrecked. Right. That is a game changer. That is an absolute game changer. Um, we don't need those. Uh, we don't need that or that either, actually. Oh, what a game changer. Okay, 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 cool. Good, because I couldn't be bothered to sort that out. Uh, we do need an amount of reinforced iron plates. I might just craft them whilst we're up there. Uh, we're going to need more plates in general. So let me grab those. I think that should then let me craft more when I'm up there. 125, yeah, we're not going to need that many, so that's perfect. Um, okay. We've now got the ability to make ceiling mounts which is very nice uh, it's almost a pain because I've almost I've just gone and set up everything to be correct the alternative is we try to get I don't know let's, let's just let's just I don't have power <laughs> hang on a minute let's go and let's just go and get this thing operational let's let's go let's grab ourselves some coal power geez um, this is going to look messy until we get it properly sorted out with expanded power infrastructure, etc. Oh, really? It just can't reach? Oh, screw that. It's reaching. Okay. Uh, we then want to go here. Taking this all the way up to the power plant. In wherever the biome is called. 
Uh, can we keep it on the outside, actually? Just look tidier. I want it to clip anything. Run it to there. Yep, nice. And then we can just run it back at the side. Yellow slug, chilling out. Happy days. Yeah, see, it looks—it it just looks tidy when it's on the side. Nice, nice and tidy. Uh, where's the power pole? There. Uh, I can just smack that, uh, like here. Whee! And eventually, when we get the—I can't remember what it's called. The zip line, is it called? Um, we'll be able to get up and down this thing way quick. I get to show you guys my mad zip line skills. Oh, you know where I'm taking this to? I can go there for now. This is going to go up here. Uh, to there. And then that is just going to connect perfectly up to that. Oh, yes. Lovely jubbly. Okay. Um, in fact, for now, we don't want to do that. Because we don't want to be powering everything um, just yet. We haven't actually figured out pumps, so we don't even know if the water is going to get up here. So that's going to be a fun one. Uh, right, this thing is going to cost 10... 37. Uh, I'll drop down there. 37. Plus 6. Plus 5. 37 is 48. So I need 48 reinforced plates. And then we'll have tier 2 there, and then everything will be able to get up and running. Oh, holy moly, what a process. And then we might be able to complete tier 2 in the hub. That'd be nice. That'd be very nice. Forty-eight. Oh, the pods are turning in forty-five seconds. So there's that. Eighteen more to go. Oh, stiff neck. Forty. Forty-one. Two. Five more. Come on. Nearly there. And one last one. Dunzoed. Okay. Perfect. She's ready. She's ready to be switched on. Oh, wait. Do we want to do this now? The, the thought of putting it on the wall. The wall isn't the ceiling. It's just not the same. Uh, yeah, let's put it on the wall now. Uh, on, the, on the ceiling there. Screw it. We may as well. This one and this one. That one. That one. That one. One of these. And then I can just want to select the belts. 
and the bean is walking through. Of course it is. And you. Okay. Bugger off, you little bugger. Oh, yeah, that works. Sweet, thank you very much. Okay. Let's make life easy. Let's take the floor up to the level that we want to be at. Okay. Uh, which is technically that. Okay. Technically gonna go there. Let's just zoop this along to there very quickly. May as well get these in now. But can we zoop this along as well? Now we would just have a foundation to build on. Nice, okay. And this one is gonna come to here. That one to there. Yeah. 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 Nice. Last one. There. That one. Okay. Then... I want to keep it as far over to the left as possible. So, the first... Uh, thing, I guess. We are going to want to have... We're going to want to line everything up on these squares, right? Um... If it's connected to the wall like that, to my knowledge, I don't think you can see it through the other side of the wall. No, it can't. Perfect. If that's there, that's ideal. Okay. And... That, I... Oh yeah, holy moly, we're going to want that to... change how it arrives in. That's now going to go to there, and that's... Ooh, perfect. Okay. It still works out really nicely. Okay, cool. Well, that's still fine. Then... That's going to split off in several different places now. Similar to how we've just had it. Or, for the sake of keeping it tidy, do we want it to have the daisy chain method? Probably do, right? For the sake of keeping it tidy. Because then it's just going to be a splitter on the wall like this every now and then. Which is super mega tidier. Hmm. Yeah, it's so much tidier, isn't it? Okay, let's do that. It'll take a little bit longer to get the system up and running properly. But it will be fine. Okay, so floor, conveyor, that is going to want to be supported on the halfway point of all of them. Make it look realistic. To a certain extent, then that up here. Nice. Yeah. And here as well. Okay. Well, then I'm probably going to take it where they're being supported here. Oh, wait. Oh, you're kidding. I'm an absolute idiot. These are definitely going to be coming down too. I need to be lining everything up to these. My bad. Okay. Does that come down a nice amount of that? Oh, it does. Okay, that's kind of perfect. Okay, we want to redo these. That's fine. I'm okay with that. Nice. Yep. 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 Kind of nice actually because it keeps it higher. I'm okay with that. And then that's there. These are then just going to be going straight into these. Like so. I'm also incredibly curious, can these be placed over these? Oh, they can, but they don't fit right. That is a shame. It actually just looks like a support though, doesn't it? 
Yeah, we're not going to do it there. Doesn't look very nice. Uh, that one to there. This one to here. And this one to here. Okay. Uh, all of these are going to have to move. Times. So that's actually going to have to raise up slightly. That's okay. <coughs> Pardon me, guys. Um, so, if that is going to be there, hang on a minute, so we want one, two, three, four is there, one, two, three, four is there, oh, so the middle point is genuinely the line, oh, there is somebody looking over me. Nice and close to that point there. Uh, I guess this is then the next middle point. Then this. Okay. Uh, this one is actually going to need the extra one here as well, uh, thinking about it, because that is just going to be the last one there. So then if I take all of these along here, in theory, what I'll be able to do uh, that is going to need to be here. It's going to need to be uh, so what is that? That's one, two, three, four, five, six. So then one, two, three, four, five, six. It's just in there. Oh, not there. Can we take that from there to there? Oh yes. Ooh. Happy days. Okay. For now, let's just make that a mark one. Okay. And then six. I can't snap it. Ah, oh, you're killing me. I can get pretty damn close though. Where am I going here? Right here. There. there. I want these to be as perfect as possible. There. There. Never going to notice if it's a pixel out. Okay, perfect. And uh, then... Oh, the power cable. Oh, the power cable. Oh, see, behind them, it's gorgeous. But behind this, above the splitters, not so much. I might just have to raise that at this point. Uh, I guess. Uh, let's take that to there. That should hopefully... Match up with... Bum. Happy days. And that is going to go into that. That into that. That into that. Okay. Rid of all of my foundations. Oh, it's tidy. It's smart, it's neat, and it's tidy. And we can jump in it. Okay, right. 
Okay, perfect. It all looks supported nicely as well, which is really nice. Everything looks central, nothing looks wonky. Sweet. So the only other thing we've got to sort out then, so there's 120 coming in off of that, so 120 coming in off that. 15 have gone. So at this point, I need iron plates. That's what I need. We're nearly there. Very nearly there. Ooh. Okay, 10, that'll do. Um, so 30 shooting off of this one, which means there's 90 traveling on this one. Then... Oh, so many more iron plates. Another 10. Ah, lovely. Lovely refreshing drink. And there we go. Nice. Uh, so we've got 30 going off this one, so that means 90 on this one. Another 30 coming off these two. That's... Thirty off there, so there's ninety on this belt, which means there's sixty on this belt. Actually, that doesn't need to be there. Sweet. We've got fifteen, thirty, forty-five needs to come into this belt here, which means sixty needs to come into this belt, which means seventy-five needs to come into that belt. Yeah. So we've done that spot on. Okay. So the only thing that we need to do now is kickstart the system, and then it'll be entirely self-sustaining. In theory, I'm, I'm just really curious if we can I think long term. I'll go ahead and hide all of that. But now we just need the functionality of it. So let's get our coffee cup out and let's do some thinking. We need a lot of mega wattage to get started. I think two should do us nicely to begin with. Anything for you, anyone for you, anyone for you, 20 for you, you, the, the, the. That's saying max consumption 65. 120. The system is kickstarted. Oh, oh, it's exciting. Can have a look. Okay, these are all picking up. So instead of using 20 megawatts, I think they normally use. We pump it right up. Yeah, 20 megawatts. We're only going to use 8 megawatts, but they're going to retain half functionality and productivity. We should now be looking. Coal's coming in. Uh, if we just go up to there like that. These are going to start splitting off. There's a bean in the bloody way. Oh, the tell you what, he's going to knock me off this ladder as well, isn't he? It's off. Oh, that'll do. Okay. 
Back up the ladder we go. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, it's beautiful. And in theory, we should start seeing some smoky smoking going on. Oh, wait, no, we haven't actually sorted headlift. <gasps> we haven't sorted headlift. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's not storing, though. Oh, that's full up. I bet it's not getting up this point here. If all we need is two pumps to get this working. Definitely that way. the pipes. Okay, there we go. And then one there. Like so. We need to hook these up to power. Hey, right, right, right. that's got water in it. That's looking good. Okay, okay. Oh, they're filling. Ew. Still not getting water in them? Oh, no, we are getting water in them. And the first four are connected, and the last four are connected, so if we're getting smoke in both, then the pumps are working. Power is looking questionable at the moment. Production and capacity lines will now match and consumption won't. Mm -hmm. It'll be worth getting some indicators uh, on to go. I think we're very much self-sustaining. It's just a ropey little setup that we've got going on. This pump doesn't seem to be wanting to do much uh, at the moment. Um, oh, it's 100%. Oh, bollocks. We should be at 50%. I've not set these to go to 50%. Or have I? Oh, no, I reset that one, didn't I? Yeah, that's my bad. Okay, no, they're all okay now. That's dropped power usage humongously. 73 megawatts of power, technically. That's a nice gray line to see. 375 megawatts total, but we're not. We should be getting more. Recommended max headlift 20 meters. So that's at 10.8. This one's at 11.6. But it has been placed slightly higher, actually. Max flow rate 300 cubic meters. Yeah, it's not taking as much water as the other two. So are we possibly worth. What's the crack? Where's the... I want to know where the problem is. Huh. 
pipe is full. I mean, like, seriously full. Fire rate is very minimal in this section. Press the network. Start again. There we go. Now everything is kicking off. Flush this network as well. Everything should now kick in. That is the messiest paragraph I've seen in a while. How much does it take to run a pump? Oh, four megawatts? Oh, that's literally nothing. Don't think they're in the right place. I'm not convinced they're in the right place. I think what I might do... Can we just very quickly flush networks again? very quickly. I just need to see what fills and what doesn't. Because if that fills, then the pump can just go on that pipe. If that doesn't fill, then the pump needs to go somewhere else. I ah, see that's filling fast as well. Okay. See, that's pumping. Oh, that's not. Wait. No, it is. It's got water in it. Oh, shoot. Okay, we're about to lose. Not power. So that's now saying it's not getting water. That's how I read that paragraph. That's running on the biomass burners. So let's get a pump in. So let's grab. Pumps. Oh, what? I'm stuck. Oh, I'm stuck. Okay, let's try that again. Okay, let's have it on a flatter run. I'm gonna pump it that way. I don't think that's a great place to have it. We could have it there. It's just not the most ideal place to have it. Here's the water's getting into this section. Flow rate 300. Where's it emptying? Oh, okay. Oh, I'm stuck in the water. Oh, there we go. Okay, that's now getting water. 100%. That's ideal.
Do I get an each one? Okay, them two pumps working, everything should be perfect. Fine. Meaning, probably means we're just waiting on the coal. Yeah, it's backed up to there at the moment. We're probably just waiting for this one to back up. And then that'll be done. We're getting four we're getting four or fifty megawatts at the moment. Everything looks okay down here. So I'm pretty sure it's just a coal thing. Full of coal. We should be getting somewhere near full of water. Yeah, water is looking absolutely fine. Water is full, coal is full. Water is full, coal is full. Water is full, coal is full. The coal is getting full, no water. Fascinating. That's full of water, that needs fuel. Okay. And... We are literally just waiting for water to come into here. What? That's not getting water. What pipe is that? There's water there. There's no water there. Why is that then? This one seems to be doing absolutely fine. Water there. Water there. There we go. <coughs> there we are, problem solved. Who does that? It's reconnecting the pipe. We're disconnecting and reconnecting the pipe. So we're just going to wait for these ones. These ones are inevitably going to run out. Oh. No, we don't need these anymore. These can go. Okay, so this should now just be a self-sustaining system as soon as... Oh, these last two are going to be splitting coal all the time, actually. So that should just be staying at 600, but no problems. 14, 13, 14, 13, 14. Yeah, that's perfect. This system is now working, and it's only cost us 61 megawatts to do it. A tenth of what it normally takes. That is a consistent paragraph. Yeah, boy. It is. Nice. We used to fix it properly detected. User has been temporarily locked out. Court sent to HR. Recommended solutions. Anger management. Terrible discharge therapy. Or accidental exposure to dangerous substances. <laughs> Yeah, fair enough. Tweet! Six hundred megawatts. Done! Happy frickin' days. Oh my god. Coal power plant up and running. Excellent. Absolutely fantastic. Right then, let's go ahead and tick that off the list. Complete tier two in hub. Ah, oh, <laughs> regular job. I am as burners. Au revoir. Thank you kindly. Happy days. Nice. So the decoration side of things, guys, is going to be done way later in time. I'm in no rush to get it done right now. This is operational. And we've just broke the system. That was mighty close, wasn't it? 
hooked up one wire and then it just crashed. I think it should have done that. There might be a wobble because of water levels, possibly, but I don't know. Should be okay. Either way, things are now up and running. The old base is back online. 153.6 megawatts of consumption. Things are about to get productive around here. Let's go ahead. Complete tier two in the hub. Oh, happy days. Oh, I can't wait to get this bloody zip line. Oh, jeez. Fantastic. What progress. What absolute progress we have made. Oh. <coughs> Pardon me. So, everything's up and running. Lovely job. Let's go and see what we need to complete here too. And we should be good to rock and roll. This should not be running, I don't think. We're going to have to run anyway. The tier two is literally just the jump pads and it's just some rotors. Uh, so that, 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 and that, that's done. Rotors, we need 50, ro oh, we need 50 rotors. Jeez, that's quite a lot. Small amount of screws and a small amount of rotors. Ah, oh, don't need these anymore. Goodbye. This can disconnect, this can disconnect, one of these can disconnect. Uh, that can just hook up to literally anything else. Right there. Lovely job. Uh, let's just make sure that's not on. Oh, it's not. Happy days. And... Um, I guess we don't need these either. Don't need biomass, no point in having all that set up there. Okay. Three. Screws in here as well. Oh, thousands of screws now. Oh yes, happy days, happy days, happy days. This is the stage of the game that I enjoy the most. Okay, we literally just need 50 of these puppies and we'll be set. Oh, just stand up for a quick second and stretch my legs one last time. Seven hours and 40 minutes later, we have got ourselves a coal power plant. And finished tier two. Thirty to go. Twenty, sorry, not thirty. <laughs> so good, so good. Very happy, very happy with the progress that, uh, that that we've made today. To be fair, very good. Excellent progress. Jump pads is. I mean, it'll unlock jump pads. I'll never use them unless I think it's actually a necessity to get on board with it. Perfect, and then chuck them into there, and job done. Nice. Milestone reached. Tier two complete. Buildings aimed at factory traversal Excellent. Can now be accessed in the build menu. Caution right. is recommended during use of these products. Save. New save. Um. Coal. And. Tier two. Complete. Let me go uh, coal power. Coal power. A. And tier 2 complete. Nice. Wait. Where's it gone?
What? Save game. Roll power. And tier two complete. Now the and sign should be. Save. Let's save game. Game has an invalid partner. Oh, it is the and sign. Okay. Coal power and and tier two complete. Save. Nice. Okay. So we can look back now and we can know. Seven hours and 29 minutes, 32 seconds, we had completed coal power and tier two. And if we ever need to reboot back to this part of the game, then we absolutely can. We're going on a very vast journey together. Lovely job. Right then, guys. Uh, probably going to go ahead and leave it there for today's stream. Uh, the next stream is, of course, going to be on Thursday now. Um... And on Thursday, it's probably going to be another nice long one as well. It's probably going to be all about setting up basic stuff on a much more permanent basis. Uh, close to, not necessarily close to one another, uh, but close to where possibly we could be looking at having a main central hub uh, located. Possibly, I don't know yet. I tend to wing things like this. I just enjoy games and play them as, as they're intended, I guess. Uh, so guys, thank you very much for hanging out. It's been an absolute pleasure having you here today. Um, we're probably going to come back. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be as long on Thursday. I don't know how, I'm, how, I'm, how busy I am on Thursday. Uh, if we do have a nice long one, um, I'm probably going to go ahead and schedule breaks as opposed to just take them when I feel like it. Uh, that way I'm actually not at PC for too long um, instead of hours at a time sort of thing. But yeah, guys, thank you very much for coming back uh, for another live stream here on Inception Gaming. Uh, rusty eight outros as always um, so you know that you've always got that to look forward to for the next live stream as well um, hopefully we'll go ahead and do the daily clap emotes tomorrow and we'll I don't know, may, might see something amazing who knows, but otherwise check that out, it's in the description down below, uh, it's just a little thing that I do every single day that you can uh, sort of be a part of um, as we try to figure out if there's a pattern to the emote on the clap for satisfactory, uh, which is just this by the way, uh, it's just that one there we go. There's a chance that that can be an emote, and I'm doing a playlist on that. So you can go ahead and look at that on the channel. But guys, if you're watching this as a video and you've made it this far, thank you very much. You guys are absolutely legendary. Uh, mythic, even. Um, so thank you very much for um, sticking around uh, and enjoying it. So obviously, if you've, if you've made it this far, you've obviously enjoyed it to some level of degree. So uh, I really appreciate that as well. Uh, guys, don't forget to like, rate, and subscribe, and all of that bollocks. And I will see you guys in the next live stream. Other oh, pods come back just in time. Look at that. Perfect stuff. Guys, thank you very much. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day wherever you are in the world. And goodbye. <laughs>